Continue. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been making it from 1 to 44 in, I think that was four hours now, so far. That is quite quick for a druid, to be honest. And now we'll see that in the next four to five hours, I kind of, like, I at least level 17. Level 80 would be better, but I, I don't know how realistic that is or me just, just wanting it. By the way, now that we actually have the aspect of, well... The, the shockwave aspect here, as you see, like the overworld just feels like they're like so easy than, than before because you're just going in and you're just you're just essentially <laughs> killing the whole room, right? You just overwhelm the whole everything. It is so beautiful. Like th things are things are so nice. I randomly picked it up on an item. So we're talking about here. Pulverize creates a shockwave and that together with your strength. You know, Pulverize is now also Earth Scale and Cast Pulverize Tectonic Spikes. So we get the Tectonic Spikes plus everything, and that, well, allows me now to to do very fun things where I just overwhelm everything in, 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 in existence. And which is, which is really like, you know? You're just you're just suddenly ready to do overworld content and not not only like a little bit of overworld content like we, we can just normally do this now and just walk into everything and kill things. I mean we're still taking damage because we're not a we're not a necro, right? Who can who can just do things smart on range. But hell I'll I'll be damned, you know? You just pull everything together and then and then just poop on it. Hey bomb, get to see there. How are you doing? Has me like really happy about Druid. Like at this point, especially with the like you, you notice how we're doing like very high damaging like overpowers up to like twelve thousand plus and so on. That feels already plenty good. And now we also have like the the triple overpower happening with everything. I mean we don't have the blood boil going on right now, which feels like a bummer. <laughs> My favorite one when that triggers and you're just boom. everything done <laughs> you might be struggling to to get the essence you know every every now and then you you feel like oh man it's taking ages to get the spirit for this but once you actually do then you know do your overpower once you do your your slam uh everything is just like oh yeah you know <laughs> boom it, it just feels so final you know where where you go from oh and nothing nothing wants to die to well like listen listen up lads we found we found a solution to the problem <laughs> we're just gonna find like a way to lose less HP if that makes sense because I I feel like we're well the game is by the way pretty pretty quiet I feel like you know Druid is is very very easily losing HP. Okay, now we can finally put on everything. Uh, let me see. Because we, we reached the, the level point that we've been waiting for for such a long time now. To to be able to put everything on. But apart from this, this is a 46 item. Which is crazy. You know? Uh, love it. Is the Druid good to level as Pulverized? Yes. Once you understand how Pulverized Druid works. Once you vibe in with Pulverized Druid. Uh, it's actually going really good and fast on the Pulverized Druid department. Uh, let me quickly pull up my my Diablo 4 build so I know which one we're going to go for. Ah, we should actually post this in the YouTube video description, by the way. Um, so for the people asking, but I'll have to replace that through my own version of it. Use Necro Grandfather Sword for anything. Yes, for Bone Spear Necro. If you're playing Bone Spear Necro. And for Blood Necro as well. So both both possible scenarios where you can actually use it for. Well, let's hire our damage here. And you cannot just use it. It, it just works very well. That's what I'm saying. Like, you draw it field sometimes like, you know, you're, you're in between all of these. But you're essentially not making Spirit unless you actually make Spirit. No, not, not like the other classes that just create their resources by getting hid or that create their resources by using other abilities. You're just really like, if you don't hit things, 
you don't make spirit. And that's something that bothered me about the Druid greatly. Until I, I finally understood how or vibed in how to how to play the Druid, you know? Get to this point here where you're just like, okay, now you know what? I understand what you want for me. I understand how you want to be played. And then, and then you're getting there, you know, really fast, really good for skills additional. Oh, hello, everyone. What's up? <laughs> I really don't want to stand in your poison voice. You're being annoying. Oh, blood, blood vampires, blood vampires. See how this is gonna go now. Because that rogue is gonna be plenty annoying. Like, I wanna point you at the necro too, you know, like together, so I can slam both of you. I've actually not fought Bloodseekers yet in, in this world tier. So that's my first time fighting Bloodseekers in the overworld alone. Oh, which brings me, by the way, to I should drink a potion. I don't have potions anymore. Need to craft them. Now that's 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 a lengthy one, honestly. Blood, blood seekers should be avoided, I guess, for now. Like the general consensus, like you you just you just destroy normal elites, everything. Um, but when you get to when you get to this, you know, like you're you're kind of feeling where druid can be a bit slow. Okay, I need to kill safe villagers. We can do that. We can save a bunch of villagers. Leave the villager alone. Save him. Save him. Wait, what, 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 like, I want to say, what, what is coming here? Some random weird shadow wolf. But I have to say that compared to um, Druid, Necker is just leveling plenty faster. But that has a simple reason. And the reason is actually that um, Necro has a way to create a resource almost infinitely where Druid struggles with. Druid, Druids have a hard time replicating the resource production that a Necro has. And that gives the Necro like an uncanny advantage that Druid struggles with. Because I, I have like, like a couple of skills with Necro that truly just allow me to stay on top of the game at all at any point. And the more enemies there are there, the more resource you're actually creating. And that's kind of like something that, you know, Druid can't replicate that. Simple. I mean, then, then again, Druid has like this cool shockwave that really just goes through, throughout the whole screen, which is <laughs> nasty. But it takes time to set it up, to be honest. So I can see where a lot of people like dislike Druid for leveling, you know, because because it, take, it takes it takes getting used to. Like, we're just fighting, like, standard rebel, and you want to just go through them like there's no tomorrow, right? I'm fine. I found my liking for Druid now. And you just you just feel powerful. What, what can I say, right? You just, you just feel powerful. Slamming on the ground and just getting everything killed. I'd be not stuck with a Necroman. You're the only one I wish. Uh, what do you mean, Hellskin? 
Different class Necro, good to see. I mean, we're still playing Necro. We're actually leveling a second Necro. So for the people that missed our plans, we have currently the Druid happening. But we are also leveling a second Necromancer. I can't actually show you. Like, he doesn't want to let me lock out. But we're leveling a second Necro for the reason that I want two Necros. One for Blood Scales, one for Shadow. And then we can fluently swap between these two builds to just give you more builds. But on top of the Necro, we're also starting to essentially level up the... Um, we're starting to, to level up our Druid now that we then also have the Druid going on. Because I think that's going to be interesting for all of you to have Necro and Druid. We have a clan. We have a clan. It's called the Ponyhof PWN. Uh, if you want to join that, you're more than welcome. Uh, we have always spots for everyone. Everyone is welcome. We don't we don't have any like special special like you need to be active. And if you do not contribute to the company store, you're useless to us. Nah, just just exist. You know, if if you exist, that's cool. As a bunch of like like of these knights that are like Jesus. And then you're all frost that has me in shambles. God, holy. Holy, like seriously. I was here to free the villager. Where's the villager? Did you kill him in the meantime? I mean, despite, despite, right, uh, like being into all of these, despite this being like harsh, kind of, when you get to still consider where you're level 46 inside of like world tier three, where everything is higher level than us, and we're, we're killing this, we're not dying, especially not dying, right? And we're actually winning. That's what I, that's what I like feel so good about the Druid. Like despite here being in, a, in the absolute underdog, despite like, not not seemingly should be surviving this right you are just surviving this i find that very funny oh what plus 500 damage pardon me what did what did i miss <laughs> pardon pardon me what did i miss why am I getting plus 500 damage? That's another chest that is way higher level than what I have. Which gives me also like damage and werebear skills. I don't like it. No pants, nothing. I mean, I'm looking, not looking for any aspects right now. Right? This is all just gets trashed. Oh, playing a druid. Well, I hope you like it, Lethal Deuce. I mean, we're, we're, we already have all the items set up for the druid. I mean, I have the Banished Lord's Talisman, right? Oh, uh, I, I get everything. So as soon as I hit level 80, I can actually make this like instantly hit for millions of damage. And this is where you're also going to get the first druid videos. So I'm essentially going to make sure that this druid hits level 80. And as soon as this druid hits level 80, I'm going to show you like the true power of what a level 80 pulverized druid can essentially already throw out. Um, that's like my, my little plan here. Okay, I need to save two more villagers. Then I'm happy. It's important to do all the strongholds. No, strongholds are, for me, always done when I sli slip from world tier to world tier. So right now, for example, I got into this world tier with level 39. With level 39, you're not high level enough to do strongholds. Simple. You're, you're just not. Okay, look at the amount of elites here. And we just walk into this, right? Not caring. Not, not like we, we're not gonna die. And we just win. You know? <laughs> Alright, like... Yeah, sure. Some, some like, essence production shenanigans, shamambo bambos. But you, you see where I'm saying, like, it just, it just feels good to play. You know, Druid is just... Just feels right. I mean, there's nothing to laugh about. This is quite quite some dudes here. That was a very big. Oh.
<laughs> that that shockwave blasta is just it's just something. Oh, being able to just throw the whole planet over my shoulder. Crazy. Uh, with the Bloodlands, I just found the Grandfather's Sword. How would you use it? Uh, it's a bit tricky because you'll be having to sacrifice some stuff and you'll have to attack for maximum crit. I wouldn't advise using the Grandfather with Bloodlands. I'm just saying it's possible to use the Grandfather with Bloodlands, okay? But only because something is possible doesn't mean that it's the wisest choice to make, you know? Keep that in mind. Possible doesn't mean you should. Just literally means that it's possible. Oh, uh, no better amulets. Everything gets trashed. It wasn't there like a Legion event happening. Legion event in four minutes. I think I'm going to go for that in four minutes. I uh, would like to summon the boss. <laughs> no PVP hand in. And Legion events are still just free XP right now with all the multipliers, right? Uh, it's just 200 derails and first you bring one to give it a shot. Like Bone Spear is usually the best one for that, you know? Re realistically, you want you want you want to play Bone Spear. Not while I'm in town. Other things are possible, but you know. You'll have the Paragon points for Spirit on Kill. There is Spirit on Kill. Tell me, tell me more, tell me more. I'm all yours. <laughs> A fine balance there. Come on, let me make here. Potions. I cannot do that here. An umbral ring. If you take blood hole for an uh, instant twenty mana, pulverize smash. Uh, I do not have an umbral ring right now, but yes, umbral is great. TBX, and I'm actually looking for umbral. So if I no. find rings with umbral on, I will probably take it. Well, what we could do right now is we could actually just dig for it straight away at the purveyor of curiosities. Um. We're already here. I'm just quickly dig for an umbral ring. Because you're right, umbral is actually quite fantastic. Uh, oh, I, ha I had only so few. I thought I had more. I cannot do that here. Oh, our obol's not shared between characters. I think my my other character has obol's maxed out. Or did I use my obol's yesterday? Oh, I used my obol's yesterday trying to get pulverized. I remember. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You can get Umbro on Codex by this weaker. Well, that doesn't change the fact that you can get Umbro from Codex. So even a weak Umbro is a good Umbro. You know? I need more time. No, what your poison? Your poison was really annoying, lads. Really annoying. So right now, the the most important one is having pulverize and the yurzen. Uh, the problem with the pulverize is that you can't get the pulverize uh, from the from the codex. So that's that's a little bit of a bummer because you know, yeah, yikes. As much as you want to get it there, right? Did you used to play PUBG back in the day? Yes, a lot. Also, what game is it? Diablo 4. Hello, cat. Good to see you there. So you take Bloodhole nonetheless. Uh, I don't have slot for Bloodhole. We do this for for Unstoppable later. For T-Bold's Will. You know, so I can wield T-Bold's Will. Uh, then we get the uh, Grizzly Rage to... You know, again, unstoppable, crazy rage around, fortify everything. Um, 
for bonus damage, bonus damage reduction, maximum damage, you know? Um, yeah, you know, kind of that. Don't, don't say like where I could put Howling. I mean, we could probably put Howling for the leveling. Like if you think about debilitating deb deb Roar, if you put that away. But on the other hand, you kind of want to push Fortify always to the max straight away. Because if you push uh, Fortify to the max straight away, uh, you're you're just dealing with damage because, you know, Fortify is uh, damage or overpower. Kind of like how overpower works. I can't wait actually for the Druid Paragon board because I've really not dabbled with the Druid Paragon board ever. I don't I don't know anything about it. So it's gonna be really fun learning that. You're new to games like Diablo, well it's good to see that you're giving the game a chance though, regardless. I think ARPGs are a fun genre. Well, not, I, I, like, let me say that again. I think ARPGs can be fun, but the genre itself is like, like it's so varied and every ARPG feels different, vastly. When it can be that you like Diablo, but that you think other ARPGs are absolutely horrible and vice versa. It's not like, you know, when, when you when you play shooters where you're like, oh yeah, I play shooters, I like shooters, so I'll, I'll try out all the other shooters too, you know, kind of like that, or Battle Royale players that try out all the different Battle Royales. I think in ARPGs, like, you kind of find the one you like and then you stick with it. Both aspect aspects on gloves. I think it's better to roll it on focus because it can roll on focus too. Should usually be the better chance, but I actually have to check the oval gambling tool. Level I'm running Wind Shear, Pulverize, Petrify, Debilating Roar, Trample, and Bloodhound. Definitely sounds good too. I'm just used to this rotation here right now because this is also the rotation I'll play in the end game. I'm not saying it's final because, you know, it's always like something something up for change when I feel like, you know, making, making alterations. Uh, almost 48. The levels are going smooth, Chan. We're definitely going to get world tier four in like the next two hours. Should be, should be, th should be a thing. Also, if anyone wants to join for the level journey, by the way, and, and grab some 10% bonus XP, feel free to be free to get here. More bonus XP multipliers is more bonus XP multipliers. Ooh. What's up? I never knew that the pulverized aspect thing, it could be so much fun. <laughs> Bomb. Need more time. You just defeated Uber Lilith. Was it was a huge win for you. I, I still feel like Uber Lilith should actually drop something. I mean, she's she's end of the day just meant there to be beaten. She's not like you know she's she's just a challenge. But it feels kind of so sad that like you know like. You get nothing for it. You know, you go through all this trouble to beat her. And all you got is this lousy t-shirt. By the way, Chad, I, I figured out I'm officially getting old. Because this morning, I was watching a TikTok about a vacuum cleaner. Which can also, like, mop the floors. You know, some, some vacuum cleaner mopping thingy together. And I was like, honey, look at this TikTok. We need to buy this vacuum cleaner. I have officially, I've officially got an old Chan. Freaking Dyson, no, I don't buy Dyson products overpriced. I mean, they work, but um, like I'm not willing to pay the price for that, simple as it is, because there's other equivalent products that work also very well. So no, no Dysons for me, no. But you get a t-shirt, yeah, that's the thing, right? You kill Mommy Lilith and all you get was a lousy t-shirt. I'm sorry you didn't get it. Are Legion events worth doing anymore? I mean, you get the 15% XP multiplier plus the team enemies nearby multiplier plus the 25% or 35% multiplier. That's still showing 25%. Uh, so the question is, why why would you believe them not to be worth it? Especially at the end of every Legion event, there's a chance that malignant monsters appear to give you materials for Varshan. 
uh, that you can go then for Varshan Psionic. So, but what's mainly worth it is like the the 15% XP multiplier. I mean, I've just already made a level from this, and I'm about to make like a second level. So yes, it is definitely worth it. Um, and like, I, I I won't hear different. I won't hear you slander my Legion events. But it always comes down to how fast they're being done. So if you have like a bunch of people that are speeding up nicely, then you're good. If you have like a stuttery experience where it's just gonna be like, oh, like what the fuck? How long? How long is this going to take to go through? Then obviously no. And if you die a lot, also not. I mean, like like it's comes all down to your personal performance too. Because if you manage to stay alive, no matter what, the XP is just insane. Especially when you go into World Tier Four, and that's my goal. I want to be World Tier Four as soon as possible. I can then just hang out in Legion events. You know? I love the things I learned after 30 videos. Ah, oh, Crimson, honestly, TikTok is a is a like treasure trove of knowledge if you're looking for the right things. I know a lot of people complain that TikTok is only showing them certain content of like girls wiggling their butts and dancing and titties and whatsoever. But the reality is, and, and I know people don't want to hear this, if your front page is only showing you this kind of stuff, it's because you're watching that kind of stuff, you know? It's, it's, it's literally because you're watching this, it's because you're paying attention to this. It's not, it's not because the algorithm is evil, you know? It actually learns what you pay attention to. Uh, that being said, for me, like the amount of parenting, householding, ADHD, organization, technology, and other shenanigans I've seen on TikTok, woodworking and what's so on is is crazy like i am i am very thankful for tiktok uh, but i also don't doom scroll so i i have like very selective knowledge there what if my front page only shows you i mean that that's a quality front page what can i say can't, can't be slandering myself quality front page All my TikToks are adorable enemies and household stuff. Exactly, Crimson. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like that, that I'm, my mostly mostly my stuff is woodworking. Then every now and then there's a lady in a bikini woodworking. Like you can't you can't actually turn that away. Um, but but it's mo it's mostly it's mostly like there's so much woodworking on my TikTok because I, I I don't do any woodworking myself. My wife does, so I watch these videos and then I send them to her. Like here, you know, here, here is, here's another project idea. Here's another project idea. Don't we want to do this? And she, she just, she just like, you know, all fire and flame. Only comedy, IT and food, quality TikTok there or like in. Uh, how many minutes? Seven more minutes until I can do some, I could do another, I get to see that I don't do too many, um, strongholds. I need some over. Again, don't don't do all the strongholds. You you literally need strongholds later on for for the uh, what's your form? Is the Necker best for you? Yes, Necker is my my one love, but I am obviously also playing other classes right now because you know chat chat asked me to to experiment with other classes. So here we go. Wait, didn't I already slay the Temple of Rod? Oh, it's because I am in someone else's world tier. That's why I can do the. Temple of Rod again. Oh, that is so cool. I've actually already done the Temple of Rod, you know? But since we're in someone else's world tier, is it like because we, we, we just swapped over into... Oops. I'm not sure why we died there, if I'm honest with you. We swapped over into their, um, you know? What level should I be attempt the first capstone dungeon? So I did the capstone dungeon with 39. Um, on my pulverized druid with my necro i did it on 35 realistically for the safest and smoothest playthrough you should do it around 40 but again do it as early as it is possible for you okay if you can do it earlier than that then be my guest and please do it uh it comes all down to what what you are personal cap off with your build and I'll say, for example, Shadow Summoner, um, Shadow, Shadow Summoner Necro can do it extremely early because Shadow Summoner Necro has 
some of the most incredible single target damage going out there left, right, and center against uh, enemies. Pretty good. Pull everyone together. Oh, did I just one bam him? I did, didn't I, Chad? I did, didn't I? I delete him and his friends. I need all of you. I need all of you. Come on. I'm here now. Little shitters. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they seem like are we getting it shadow damage over time crit or no crit uh, i say people say crit and no crit oh he he's invisible so shadow damage over time can crit but xfeld's corroded signet can crit so when you're looking at my build where i uh do for go for crit with damage over time the reason i do that is oh wow that was all his hp gone with one hit that's because I am playing a certain build that actually utilizes that together with the, you know, Ixfeld's Corroded Signet. We gotta always understand the full... Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Lanta Christ. That's what we're talking about. I see, see where I'm falling like in love with the Druid? It is slow. It is sluggish. But when, when it hits, it hits. You know? After playing super fast Sork and Rogue, this one looks terribly slow. It does, Sherlock. It does. I mean, the trick is to treat to to really teach everything single-handed as what it is, you know, to not to not like um, to not have like this this feeling that everything needs to be working the same, because it, it will never, not ever, n nothing will ever work the same. Nothing will ever be equally fast. When I've been playing Necro before this, and Necro, which is the slowest moving character in the game, is faster than Druid. But but that that also being said, I'm just a really freaking good necromancer player um but yeah ne necro is like faster than druid um and and, and necro is technically slow right uh, think about it but yeah uh druid is like a bulldozer yes definitely and honestly it's super fun to play I, I do really like this. Uh, there's still the problem with the spirit production, so I'll say this up front for Druid players. If you if you're not digging the 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 way how spirit is how spirit is produced as a Druid, then you're just simply not going to enjoy Druid, right? Like that, you actually have to produce spirit continuously, and you can't just you know you can't just stand there and wait for your spirit to be full. Because your spirit will never be full then. You know, you'll just sit around and, and just, just wait, essentially. Roar! Bam! <laughs> Oh wow, perfection. Woo! And done. There comes a time whenever Druid build you play, your attacks become self-sustaining. Yeah, I can't wait to see like the pinnacle of what Druid can do, because this is obviously not the pinnacle of Druid. This is like the, the leveling. But again, the leveling goes smooth and fast. The dense the dungeon, the better it performs. Yes, I, I just have to figure out the survivability of druids, and I think this is where I'm going to have a lot of fun min maxing, because realistically, the dru the the necro has one advantage that necro, despite playing it on overpower blood surge, is still somewhat of a ranged character, where druid is like. Well, Druid, Druid is like in your face melee, right? Especially when you're throwing Grizzly Rage. So you get to build it, you get to attack it a bit different. I mean, you also do have more defensive skills, which helps, right? But yeah. 
But not for the ugly aesthetics. I'm pretty sure more people will play Druid. Do you think that plays a role? Do you know in question? And I, I couldn't care less about the aesthetics of, of the class. I mean, I, that being said, I play Necro, which is the best looking class in the game. So, so that's that. Sorry, I won't, I won't argue about this, but Necro just looks fantastic. Necro just basically looks amazing. Oh, ho, ho, just, uh, yeah. You're standing, you're standing there. Don't worry. Don't worry, boys. We can, we can just get, a, we can just get you all killed. Oh, that was a 30,000 trample. I like to see that. Wub. <laughs> Wub. Eaten. Ah, beautiful. Good. You're all mine. To play Necro first, but I think I'm liking Barb much more. Honestly, I tried to like Barb. I re I really tried. Like I, I wish I wish I was actually enjoying Barb. I I was I was uh, playing it a little bit, but ain't just in. Like after after Necro, it's hard to enjoy anything but Necro, to be honest, because Necro is just love, Necro is life. That's in nine minutes. We're gonna go to the next Legion event, and then we should be like fifty. Should almost be fifty-two, Chan. The Shockwave later game hits enemies on the other side of the screen. I like to hear that. I mean, right now I really just want to get level fifty because level fifty you instantly get your twenty plus Paragon points, and then boom, level right. But Life Druid is really tanky in endgame. Yeah, I've seen this, and I'm not sure if I like that play style. I, I, I know that Druid plays very well with, um, with like, the uh, damage reduction while injured. But I, I, I generally do not want to play with damage reduction while injured. That being said, like, they're... Um, I, I just don't want to. It, it, it speaks against everything of me. Like, I need to see my life bar full. I, I don't want to run around with, like, 35% HP the whole time. Just, just to be, just to be tanky, you know? Why can I, why can I not just have full HP? You little rascal. Oh, a Necromancer player. That's that's something like I've disliked seeing. I, I know it's a viable playstyle. I just dislike seeing that, right? Especially like if, if you're playing overpower, you can't run around injured. Because overpower is all about a life plus fortify is damage, right? That's that's how overpower damage is being calculated. In case you didn't know this, by the way. Um so if you're actually not running around with full HP and full fortify. Uh, did I say fortify or overpower? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fortify plus life. So yeah, uh, if you're not running around fully, fully like healthy, then then you're you're a doofus copter. Free him. Well done, level fifty, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Now we can finally check the Paragon board. Oh, so he, he's someone, he's someone. I'm helping, I'm helping. Here, this is me, I'm helping. Look at me, Necro. Look at, I'm helping. I did it. Oh, I'm so useful. Okay, uh, let me see. We're starting with bop, bop, bop. I mean, that's the standard pass, right? Just get the damage and the max life. I would start with the outmatch glyph. Outmatch would be for increased physical damage to non elites and bosses. Well, I don't have any glyphs yet. So we'll probably just go for damage, damage, damage. And life. 
because right now the the bonus life you can take and the bonus damage you can take is essentially the thing that makes you instantly the the stronger no it's like, it's like actually the the amount of damage boost you get due to this is is quite nasty simply due to the fact that you also just get more life right wish i had one more point for this Mm, you can try Dolman Stone. No, we're gonna we're gonna focus on uh, Pulverize first, like because si simply I know I know how Pulverize works, and if I'm just like taking all my knowledge from Necro now over to Druid, and I'm trying to theory craft a Druid build, then that that's like what makes most sense for me, you know. So so I can I can literally like full brain power this down. Whereas if I was trying to be like a bit smarter again and then, you know, like go go for something I have like no clue to build, then it's going to end up in a disaster, right? Uh, so the event is supposed to give 35% XP, but... Oh, someone's doing the boss. Someone's doing the boss. Oh, faster, 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 faster. Whenever it blinks white, someone's doing the boss, Chan. Because you didn't know this. <laughs> Thank you. Did you just teleport in the very moment where I'm just about to just eat your booty? Not cool. Okay, how many more, like, how many more do you want to? That's another Paragon point I'd like to see in. My inventory's full straight away. Gotta, gotta love this event, right? How, how quick everything just gets full. Oh, there's one left. Holy macaroni. Almost 51. I need to I need to teleport to Cat Burdu. Because I'm full. So yeah, it's supposed to give 35, it's 25, but I don't know, maybe it's 35. What blinks white? The green head has like this, the, the like the the white circle around it that goes like and you know, oh, the event wants to talk to me. Okay, let's disenchant everything yellow, anyways. Just like I need to I need to just check if The things get on it that I need. Like, you know, if I get some pulverize bonus, I need to make sure that I'm not accidentally disenchanting that. Oh, why did I take my bloodless scream out of this? Why did I take my bloodless scream out of this? Thank you very much. No, I'm no, I'm actually tanky, right? Need some more dexterity to to boost my tankiness. There we go. Not while I'm in town. Done, done, and done. Uh, I need to save villagers. Good, can do that. Thank you, Headhunter, for the 26 months of support. Wicked thing for the 57 centuries of subscriptions. Chat. If you did bring your Prime sub, don't forget to use it somewhere on Twitch. Right now, here, actually, not somewhere here. Okay. Will you be making Druid builds for YouTube? Yes, I'll definitely be making Druid builds for YouTube. I mean, like, the, my, my stream is... My stream is my, my, my video production machine, right? Like, this is, this is where I create the content that you'll then see on YouTube end of the day. Else, there would be no reason to, to stream. Like, as, as a guide maker, as someone who likes to make guides, like, if my stream doesn't make, you know, lay the groundwork for the future guides, then why, why even bother turning it on? So that's that's where this is going to be leading definitely to to droid guides for you. Need to ride really quick to the Legion of End. Oh, I should teleport. <laughs> I was like, I should ride there. You know what? I should teleport up to actually. Oh, come on now. 
you're gonna make it hard for me to get to the legion event i will murder every single one of you and your friends Jambi, thank you for the 19 months of subscription as well. Thank you, Shun. Oh. If Humanity on, because Druid has a lot of max life, it's uh, really hard to stage. Yeah, yeah, we have we have Humanity on. I'm not sure if it's activated right now. I try to constantly have Humanity activated. We also have Blood Boil on, but yes, we try to have Humomancy activated at any stage of the game. There's just so much bonus. This is like insane bonus damage, right? Fuck. Didn't get the bonus XP. Might as well not do it. Play so let's show you the Gathering Legion is only worth it if you get the 15% bonus XP. Right now, is Humanity working? Humanity is not working right now because we don't have the, the things. Are we enjoying your journey? Oh, Alon. Alon. When I gotta say, like, the journey is obviously better that we're getting so much experience. I mean, we started yesterday. I am four hours deep and we're already level 50. So that's not the fastest possible because again, my, my Necro is actually way faster leveling and I can't wait to, to play the Necro again too with a new bonus XP weekend right now and just have him like fly to level 100. But <clears throat> I think with the with the speed we're putting down today, we're, I mean, we're playing like for, for around an hour now. Um, I think 70 is possible at least today, and that would be like level 70 in two days, which is kind of like good, right? Or we're like both hours. So I think my thing, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> I mean, main goal is obviously to get now world tier four as soon as possible. We, we could just have someone kill the capstone for me. But I, I think that would be boring to watch, right? I mean, if I just let someone now pull me through the capstone, where's, you know, what's what's the hold up there? Like, I'd rather want to show you a build that can do it, you know? It's maybe maybe stupid of me. Like, I should probably just let myself get pulled through. But I want to I wanna show you, like, the, the real actual journey, you know? By the way, what's the what's the main stat of Druid to, to scale? I mean, on the Necro, it's in, but what's the main set of Druid? Willpower, right? Yeah. Never looked actually at it, you know? <laughs> it's stupid of me, to be honest. But playing it, I never looked at it. Oof. Question is this click to move only? Yes, uh, that is in the settings. You go under options and then controls, and then you have here combine move interact skill or core skill and then uh, move interact, for example. That's what I use, you know? I have move interact on left click, so I can move interact on left click. And then I have my, my other basic skill bound to five. So I'm essentially using right click for auto attacks, which is really convenient. Like you would just hold down right mouse button. And then on two, I use my main core skill to like, like, you know, pulverize to just go pulverize, boom. Because you're not using that constantly. And then my utility skills are one, two, three, four, five, or one, one, three, four, five. And that system I like try to keep up on every character. One thing I'm missing with Druid is pulling together. I have to say. Is that why you're playing the Druid Ring, chat? Are you, are you playing the Druid Ring because of that? Rignot, thank you for the 19 months of Subber Dubbers. Rignot, very appreciated. Cheers to you. Yeah, because I, I, I like feel like this is the only thing Druid like right now struggles with. I mean, Necro has like obviously the Corpse Tendrils, so they're really good like pushing everything together. Then again, do I really need to pull things together when my when my attack goes like through the whole dungeon like this, right? It's a, so I'll just have to point myself in a direction like a gun, and then it just goes. Whoa! Our summon scaling. Summons are scaling off your stats, but summons are scaling weird, and uh, don't even try to scale summons. 
I'm ready for the druid builds. The first one is definitely going to be pulverized, but I want to get this to 80 to give it end game gear to give you an essentially like an end game build. You know, because like most people are not looking for leveling builds right now. You're looking for a mid to end game build. So, so that's what we're aiming for. And I think I'm going to give you like a, a druid like leveling plus plus early end game build that uh, it goes strong. But I want to like before I give you a guide, I want to get level 80. So that's my goal for today. Because if we may manage to get level 80, I can put on all my uniques that I got from Duriel. And if I can put all my uniques from Duriel, I can essentially put on the Banished Lord's Talisman, the T-Bolt's Will, the Godslayer Crown. And I can show you, I could probably kill Lilith on level 80. with the items I have. So that's kind of like the plan. Right? Hey, Traff, good to see you there, bro. You can use Godsire on this build. I know! But I kind of like the Druid Ring. That's 51, ladies and gentlemen. We need 55 at least to do to try the Capstone Dungeon. But I don't think I can probably do it at 55, I'm going to be honest with you. Because with my with my Druid, I could do the Capstone Dungeon at 55. Uh, with my Necro, I could do the Capstone Dungeon at 55. I am not sure if the Druid can do it. I'm not saying Druid is weaker than Necro, but just Necro scale is really powerful. And I'm honestly not sure if, if the Druid could be handling Elias. Anyone, anyone get like uh, inside for me? How, how how good Druid is for the for the Capstone Dungeon? How are you feeling about it? Oh, there's... I'm gonna get 80 no time as soon as you do Nightmare Dungeons. I'm not doing Nightmare Dungeons before uh, World Tier 4. Because before World Tier 4, it's just a waste of time. You did your capstone with 49. The capstone to World Tier 4 or World Tier 3? Because World Tier 3 capstone has fallen. I'm talking about World Tier 4 capstone. I'm not ready yet. A 56 with pulverize. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. That's that's quality advice. Or are you lying to me and you want me to suffer? <laughs> there's, there's two ways this is going, chat. This is either quality advice or you're lying to me and you want me to suffer. Uh, I haven't I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Never be sure. It's the internet, you know? People, people, people say things in the internet. Oh, you. Did get pulverized, but you get lucky with your gear. I mean, for me, the most important part was just getting the actual pulverized aspect, right? That, that's that's what you want because as soon as you have the pulverized aspect you finally start able to to like just clear whole, whole like levels right that's 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 truly where where the main appeal from pulverized comes from as soon as you're able to just like zoom your pulverized out and, and just hit everything in existence then 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 it starts feeling like okay th things start acting up together injured adventurer adventurer we saved you Run! Run, adventurer! I got this. I got this, bruv. Sir, no, don't run. I need your help. Adventurer, no! God, he just got eaten. <laughs> Every... <laughs> I got this, adventurer. I lied to you. I'm sorry. I, I, I had it at no point in time. My apologies. Um, always necker a rogue so d4 i change it out but it caps on 50 on my druid with no issues if you get decent gear you should be okay well then then uh let's let's aim for 56 then chat chat has convinced me to try on 56 and then probably hate life again i mean doing the capstone the first capstone at 39 was definitely possible but it was it was a challenge uh i also could have had better gear let's be fair and i didn't have the shockwave aspect so if i had the shockwave aspect it would have been a cake park walk 
A cake cake walk park. What event do we have here? Worst event in history. I just want to save like I just want to save humans from dying, but I cannot for the love of God find humans for like to save. The worst part about this. Shockwave makes a lot of shockwave is like the game changer, right? When it goes from like this is good to what the fuck. But you need to also like learn to use shockwave, right? You need to learn to position. Because this is something I, I learned about uh Druid. That like Necro, for example, I walk into a room, press a button, and everything dies. Right? That's Necro for you. Uh whereas with a druid, I kinda like gotta like, you know, walk around and then make sure that my shockwave hits for the perfect amount that, that it like has the good angle to to just do the most shebang I need time to do that. and you know just walk through and then and then send it essentially into them I need time to do that. ow i made a mistake mom Uh, where is prisoners? There is no prisoners, and I dislike this very much because I can't find any prisoners. I just, I'm a simple man. I just want to find some villagers who are in peril so I can save them. Is that so much to ask for, ladies and gentlemen? Just, just a few prisoners. Just, you know. Directly north? Yeah, I, I've been, I've been like, us, usually there's um, a center of like event where, where you can find the things like sometimes in the south, sometimes west, east, where, where most of these guys are. But sometimes it's also just weird. And you're like, literally like you're, you're spending more time running around trying to find the people than you're actually killing things in the, in the freaking event, which is always feels bad. I, I don't want to ride around here, right? I would just want to kill things left, right, and center. Did it 54 with pulverize? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for 56 for the main reason that I just want it to be a smooth experience. You know, this is for me, like, testing what most people should do. And let's be real, like, o only because, like, you're able to do it at 39 or 37. And then you can, like, you know... Only because you're able to do it doesn't mean that that's the the best experience that you will have, right? That's what I'm aiming for when I when I do level my characters to to see like what's the best course of actions. So I want to make good recommendations to you. Okay, you just did three on the beach. Okay, I'll be making sure to find three on the beach. Let me go on my horse. My horse is amazing. So why can't the druid ride a bear? I found one on the beach, but that that got murdered. I thought I thought I had it covered, but then then the thing just got murdered. <laughs> We're doing very good damage. Very good damage. Very happy. Spiders, 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 spiders. What's up? Oh wow, that was a that was a nice that was a nice overpower. That just just that that just went places. Mm-hmm. Did you like to see that? Oh, hello there. That was completely in the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, y'all, y'all. I need time to do that. When the when the pulverizers are just hitting a bow rhine. I wish there was cosmetics for the bear wolf. Definitely missed opportunity for the druid. 
Like, I do fully agree. Why is there no cosmetics for the bear forms to turn it into a, a tiger bear? A tiger, tiger, tiger? You know, why can't, why can't I be a panda bear? Why can I not be a, I don't know when. Why can I not be a mecha bear? Why can't I have a Batman costume? Give me a Batman costume as the bear. I'm a simple man. Just want a Batman costume. I think he's doing the event without picking up the souls, sir. If you, it would be smarter to not pick up the souls. Hmm. Polar bear, yep. I, I'm all with you. Bring it on, chat. Give me more bears. A gummy bear. I can't. <laughs> Why can't I be a gummy bear? Okay, I need to save one more villager, Chan. I just need one innocent human being that's stuck in a cage looking for someone to save him. And I would save him, but not for him. I would just save him for the experience. You know? Don't actually care for you, sir. I just want to save you for for the experience. Actually, not even the experience. You're, you're just like for the whispers, you know? I'm trying to save you so I can talk to a tree. And that tree has like um, heads dangling down from it. And that tree gives me things, you know? Tree's my friend. Not not my friend, but we have a deal. Where I, I bring it I bring it things and he, he gives me he gives me materials. I need time Just saying. That. A Winnie Pooh costume? I'm all yours. Take my money. Where, where do I insert my credit card? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Yas. Yas, Chan. This word feels good. A Paddington bear just going around. <laughs> uh, which build should I play in the mid game with the Necro? I would still go for the Blood Surge. I mean, my Blood Surge Necro is currently level 60, and I am planning to essentially just play it all the way to level 100 with the Blood Surge. Um, because it's just so efficient to level. There's, there's just no questions asked about that. Uh, the next board is going to be the Survival Instinct. Which gives me, wear breath form, you deal 1% increased damage up to 50 for every 1% of current life percent between you and the enemy. What? Oh, so so the less life my enemy has and the more life I have, the more damage I deal. Oh, huh. okay, I get it. I guess. Yeah. Pay attention to the TikTok chat. Yes, every now and then, sir. The vampiric power with the bat. I, I think I have it running or had it running for a while. Until I just simply didn't have the resources anymore to, you know, get that right now going. But you, usually, usually I try to. Oh, that is a good chest with four with four skulls. I mean, right now I try to put on equipment that has as many skulls as possible. I get like my skull vampiric powers going. Oh, uh, this collection of chest plates. at all the things I just got. Is that umbral? Checking for umbral. Okay, now we're going up. The next board. No, no, no. And I took my bloodless scream again. <laughs> bloodless scream should should so please stop doing that. I don't appreciate it. Okay, what do we got going? What do we get good? So that one is done. The PvP events haven't recharged. There's another Legion event coming in six. So we'll definitely want to do the Legion event. That's out of question. Uh, until then, we could do more Cap or Doom.
May I run games with you as I'm a druid? Uh, Draft, we're currently just leveling. So if you want to level alongside me, be my guest. You know, you just want to just want to run there. We have a build for the blood search. Yes, on YouTube, we have builds for the blood search leveling. We even we even level it live. So if you want to check out how well the blood search does leveling, like there there's like even a YouTube live stream VOD that shows you how how efficient. Wow, that that's nice. How efficient the leveling works as a as a blood searcher. I believe in show don't tell, you know, so if I can give you a proper video to really show you how things are working. There there you go. I need to drink a potion. These events are perfection for the druid. Yeah, this is it's just going very well for me. Just sitting in the middle. <laughs> literally, literally just existing. Mm-hmm. Feels a very good. Mm hmm. I just, I just genuinely enjoy the range that this skill has. Just like I'm, I'm standing on the complete opposite side, but you can just still decide to yeet it in there from, from all the. From all the distance, right? Mm hmm. Hello, Mr. Mage. Me a dream. Da -da -da -da. can't do anything better than any other class yeah, but who cares like like you have to understand that who cares even if druid is uh, would be objectively the worst one of all the classes who cares as long as you're having fun with druid just enjoy druid when the same goes for necro i mean te technically like necro is slower than anything else right i mean it can do quite some things super cool but like who cares as long as you're having fun playing your class you know? I mean, if you're if you're competing in a leaderboard right now, it's anyways the leaderboard just versus itself, right? There, there's no there's no leaderboard versus um. Uh, there's there's class leaderboards, you know. So druid versus druid. Aren't you skipping metamorphosis leveling? I'm not leveling metamorphosis. Yes. Yeah, must play ball lightning, can't possibly play anything else than ball lightning. Exactly. So so that that's like that's like the thing. Even if we get the gauntlet in season three, the gauntlet in, in season three, by myself gonna see there, uh, is going to be um class specific. So you're competing against other druids, right? If you're speed running a dungeon, you're speed running a dungeon against other druids. So the only ones you have to beat are other druids. And for that, there it gets interesting, you know, to then make the best druid build that's possible to beat the gauntlet the fastest. So yeah, GG, right? I mean, for me, it's always going to be Necro. People say Necro so slow, Necro can't do anything, and then you just zoom. I can't wait to complete Tear Open the Abattoir of Zir. 
So click campfire. No, you actually don't even have to click it. You just have to run next to it. That's more than enough. Most of the times. Uh, okay, we're going to go for protector. I mean, right now, I'm. that's the only one I have, right? Gives me bonus to rare nodes. So why, why would I not go for it, I guess? Let me go for survival. This is damage while in werebear form. Total armor while in wear. Oh, interesting. Huh. Damage while healthy. That's good. Damage reduction while fortify. Oh, this is werebear skill damage and overpower damage. What? That's 90% overpower damage. That's not okay. Jared, calm down. Seriously. I get the butcher three times in one day. I have to put in more option. No, you're just unlucky or lucky, you know? So like sometimes I have the butcher also I had him three times in a day and then I didn't see him again for a week. So like you're just, you're just lucky, unlucky, depending on what you're actually looking for. I mean, the butcher right now is actually good because the butcher is kind of like a damage test to see how, how well would you be doing in um, the abattoir of Zier? Because if you're able to survive the butcher, and if you're able to kill the butcher, both things. Uh yeah, you're kind of ready for the abattoir. And my my race and necro build is able to do both, survive and kill the butcher. Uh which has me kind of happy. So that's what you should be able to do, I guess. Right? Uh, Trav, if you want to, uh, if you want to be in the party, just invite yourself. You know, just just uh, re request request to join. I'll invite you. You want to be with Barb? See, that's good. Black Razor, but I think you can't rely on that in the Abattoir of Zero. That's like kind of like the problem, because the Abattoir of Zero is supposed to be like tankier, tankier, and tankier. So you might get to the point where you're fighting like ten butchers at the same time, right? And you're essentially waiting to like like get your people thingy already at the same time. We're not sure how much, like... Yeah, we're talking about tier 100 Butcher. Yes, 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 obviously. Not not just Butcher. We're talking about tier 100 Butcher. If you're able to beat him, that's that's a good indicator that you're ready for the Abattoir of Zir. Uh, that, that being said, you also have to consider that the Butcher itself is actually, like, a flawed concept. So if you're not able to kill him, that's also uh, something else because the Butcher is actually very aggressive. The Butcher can't get restrained, so you can actually not put CC on him, right? Uh, like there, there's like no bone prison or something works for example so so as much as also the butcher is like meant to meant to be a check uh, at the same time due to the nature of the butcher it's also not Do you feel any different with the leveling experience with the new blessing is it more experience gain or about the same no it's definitely more experience gain there's no question uh, that being said, Druid just generally leveled slow. I don't I don't really want to know how tedious Druid leveling is without the XP buff. Because right now it is fun and it's fast. But if I think about that, this is like with 25% bonus or the 35% bonus. I'm like, okay, that's that's crazy because like it's 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 fast with this. But without this, it would be horrendous. Right? Like, like, literally horrendous. Don't even want to talk about it. What song is the boost? Full week. So I will, I will level this druid to 100 and then, uh, well, first to level 80, uh, then to 100 and we will level another necro to 100. I think like our first stop is going to be level 80 because I want to just give you a simple end game build, right? And if I'm at level 80, actually able to clear a tier 100 dungeon at Uber Lilith, I would be happy. Uh, it's currently a bit, a bit greedy to think I could be able to do that. But on the other hand, it's not. Uh, we'll see if I'm able to, to get the gear together. I removed half of the offense to do more defense. That's smart. I mean, right now, Barb is definitely the class to play if you just want to take on every challenge, if you like Barb. So I tried to like Barb. I tried to play Barb. I tried to enjoy Barb, and I hated it. So despite Barb being strong, I can simply not play it. 
because I would just want to shoot myself at, at, at every, any second of the journey. You know? That, that's just how, how bored I was to death. I tell you, it's pain, but when you get to the point where you can one-shot everything in room constantly and then the later level zoom. I mean, right now, I don't think it's pain, to be honest. Like, Druid has been a very smooth experience. Uh, and I, I think that has a lot to do with psychological, uh, psychology of big numbers. Because if you figure out how overpower works, and as soon as you get, like, all your overpower cool stuff together, right? The vampire powers and all those things. And then you're just constantly walking around and you're just constantly dropping big numbers. And that, that, that just has you happy. I mean, you're, you're not a ball of lightning sword. You're not a barbarian, obviously. But but then, like, seeing, like, those 30, 60,000, like, hits. And you're just like, oh, you know, you know what? That's fun. <laughs> uh, oh, 5% more willpower. It was actually quite nice. You know, it's a high high roll on willpower usage. I appreciate that. We could go into the Helltide now, but I'm not sure if that's worth it, to be honest. I mean, like, Helltide in itself is worth it. Any, anyone wants to, wants to like, you know, just, just Helltide, I guess, in World Tier 3? The thing is that I see Barb is three shouts, rinse and repeat. Oh, he wanted to just start a Goa rune. Sorry, mate. I don't want to do a Goa runes with you. I mean, that guy is, by the way, level 64, and he's still in World Tier 3. I, I do not understand, if I'm honest with you. I don't know why you would be, like, doing World Tier 3 with level 64. That's when, that's when people are either scared of going up or just don't know how to progress. In, in either case, get better main. Ryan? I'm with, with 64, like with level 60, you're well tier 4, or I'm going to start yelling at you. Okay, Chad? If, you, if you're with level 60, not in world tier 4, you like your build is shit. Okay? I said it. I'm not taking it back. And I hope I'm actually with 60 now in world tier 4, or I'm going to be having problems. But if, if you're not, that's it. Then your build is shit, and you're terrible at the game. I, it's out. I'm not taking it back. On a hardcore, it's boring. Why is hardcore boring? Well, you know what? Cheat, death, elixir, town portal of escape, all that kind of stuff. Nah, I'm just not a hardcore player. Enjoy your hardcore if you want, but don't expect ever anyone else to enjoy it too. Like you should, you should generally never ask why not hardcore. Like that, that, that question does not inherently make sense. Because you're you're being the weirdo. We're not being the weirdos for not playing hardcore. You're being the weirdo for playing hardcore. You know? Oh, did I just steal steal half of his HP with one attack? I did. I did, Shan. Okay, I am I am genuinely surprised how how decent we're just surviving the hell time. Considering that everything is level 58. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. This is this is good. But it still has me a, a wee bit surprise of ruining. But the good kind of surprise. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> I once saw a level 80 Claw Druid in World Tier 3. A lot of people just really don't know how to progress. It, it's, it's really that. I mean, the amount of casual players, and I'm talking about real casual players. So I'm not talking about casual players that actually watch Twitch streams and that that are on TikTok or whatsoever and that, that watch YouTube videos as well. I, I'm talking about the real casual players, the, the people that literally just play the game and that's it. 
they they have they don't have a social media account they they don't they they have never watched a single streamer before you know they they they're not on youtube that, that literally just turn on their console on their tv 4k and just play this game without a care in their soul you know these casual players and the amount of them is actually quite high i think which is great but that's also how you then have level 80 players that are still in world tier 3 and they, they they're like oh, cool with it because why wouldn't you like, like let's why, why wouldn't you Yeah, the best kind of casual, exactly. Taraka, you weren't asking to be rude. That's cool. I mean, most people that ask about why not hardcore are hardcore elitists. Um, and they're always confused why why someone wouldn't play hardcore. Whereas, whereas the confusion behind that makes no sense, you know? So it's good it's good to see when you're just wondering and it's it's rare but i i i appreciate it i simply just don't enjoy hardcore that, that's my that's my reason i don't know why 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 are you not playing hardcore chat i mean for the non-hardcore players why are you not playing hardcore Do you want to share your reasoning i think for me it simply it simply boils down to a, i cannot just be asked <laughs> I think that that's what it simply boils down to me, right? I can't just simply be asked to to play hardcore, to care about hardcore. He finally has a little bit more HP, guys. I mean, this this is the capstone dungeon all over again. Chat, I'm getting capstone dungeon PTSD. Only that this time, I am the one in control. Sir, this is my this is my grand prize. Could you could you stop killing him? Are you doing anything, even, sir? Sir, you might have you might have as well just stayed away. You know you're, you're not doing anything, anyways. Are you not a barb? Are you not supposed to like be powerful? I don't see the powerful there. Sorry, I was making fun of you, Mr. Barbarian. I was, I was, Jack. I was. Mm. When you're struck as a werebear, you have a 40% chance to gain spirit. Why isn't that being used? That seems that seems like useful if you if you use like the permanent permanent werebear form thingy. Why wouldn't you be using the struck werebear essence thingy? I guess because you just one hit everything. Like okay, you might like just just from like right now here where it just doesn't make just make sense for me right now but if i think about it well i guess if you if you one hit everything like you won't need it and against the boss it's useless because that's just one hit is all it takes hmm. uh you're in the you're in the clan i mean if you're in the clan you should just uh, be able to just write something in the chat here we should be able to invite you umbral more useful yeah i would use umbral I mean, Umbral is currently what I'm planning to utilize. Most likely. The goal is to kill them before they hit you. Yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, right now, my, my endgame experience, I, I have seen how Druid plays in endgame, but I do not have mm -hmm, any personal endgame experience myself yet. That's also why I don't want to make a guide, because, like... I want to have at least a modicum of I have tried a higher nightmare dungeon before I'm kind of like, you know, like telling you how to how to play higher nightmare dungeons, essentially. Right. I need, time I, need I need the I need the guide makers first hand experience. Oh, 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 oh. beautiful, beautiful.
rush through, turn around, kill everything. And the best part about doing um, hell tides is right now that the chest just gives so much experience. I, mean, I, I don't think it's actually worth it, by the way, to go for living steel chest currently because I have enough. I would just go for normal chest of cinders. Why, why normal cinder chest? Because they just give more XP. Hello, Mr. Seth. What you doing, bruv? You're hanging out. Whenever your earth skills enemies... Uh, when damage from earth skills slows enemies. Wow, that, that, that helmet is actually great. Look at that. That's a percentage armor and everything. It's actually even a good helmet. Would you look at that, Chan? The moment you're actually getting a good item. I only need three more levels for the capstone dungeon, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We made a deal. Chat told me that if I get level 56, I need to do the capstone dungeon. So that's what we're working with right now. What's up, bruv? Euler, thank you for the 40 months. Euler and Primen, good to see both of you. Thank you for the 92, the 40 months. Rigna, thank you for the 19, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to the long-lasting subscribers that still enjoy the stream every now and then. Uh, Primen, what are you playing by now, by the way? Did they change any part of the endgame in D4? Yes, there is the uber bosses to farm now. That is still not true endgame, but it's at least somewhat a modicum of endgame. So we get something in that direction. But what we're missing is still true endgame, and that's going to be what the Abattoir of Zir is. Because the Abattoir of Zir is finally going to add something that is at least akin to true endgame. Something like Greater Rift to farm board. Used to watch you load back in the PUBG days. You recently popped on your YouTube feed and get back into D4 Season 2. Well, there we go, Dave. Thank you very much. That's kind of you. I mean, this is why I like covering multiple games right now. This is why I enjoy covering Diablo and other stuff. Because the amount of people that used to watch me in other games back now, uh, like, you know, back then, are now back. And then and then you play some, you know, Lies of P. Because my Lies of P videos are right now my most successful one in the past year, to be honest. And I'm really thirsting li for another game like Lies of P, if I'm honest. I can't wait for their sequel. I mean, as good as my content creation has gone with Lies of P now, I can obviously not wait for the sequel to, to make even more content. Okay, this, this event here, I'm not sure if that's good to do. I feel like I'm taking a little bit too long getting getting these things here destroyed. Level 58. Yeah, pulverize should one-shot everything, especially if you have the Banished Lord's Talisman, guys. Because I'm going to build an overpower crit druid. So that's my plan. You know, overpower crits. So I can constantly overpower and crit. That's at least what I want to go for. And what I hope to achieve with this build. And then I'm essentially going to be running around. It's like, overpower crit, overpower crit. <laughs> that's kind of like what I want to do. My goal is 20 million crits with every overpower, kind of. Uh, like 20, 20 million overpower crits. That's, that's like kind of my plan. And I think it's it's reasonable possible. You absolutely shitting thingy. Arr. That's, by the way, also what's going on in my brain all the time, right? While playing this. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh landslide wait gain one additional companion in addition your companion skills deal bonus damage cool unnecessary but isn't this what i need for um my companion build because i'm i'm planning to do a landslide companion build as well in case you wonder so my first first overpower then landslide companion build uh, these are the two builds that I currently plan to pull through. Oh, wow. 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 Give me all those cinders. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Slay the hell tight commander. Did you just, are you, are, are we good? There we go. Wow. 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 Whack him hard. Whack him hard. Walk. Walk. Whack. Whack. I feel like he's a little bit too tanky for my liking right now, just simply because we are. Oh, that that rogue is just. The rogue is just going places. Honestly, the way that rogue is playing, like throwing the knives and shooting with a bow, looks actually plenty fun. I've I have to say I, I've never like played rogue yet, at all, because I I just usually don't enjoy the concept of rogue in any game. Like, m might it be mobile? Might it be? Might it be ARPG? Might it be like CRPG? Whatever. Like the concept of rogue doesn't agree. That's not true. I'm sorry. I lied to you, Chad. I'm a I'm a filthy liar. Uh, I liked rogue and Baldur's Gate because they're Estarian, and then you you took his assassin. I don't know if you played Baldur's Gate three, Chad, but there was this guy called Estarian. He was a vampire. Uh, spoiler alert. Sorry. And like you could actually use him to assassinate everyone before you actually went into a battle. So rogue slash assassin essentially allowed you to just make every single encounter 400 times easier because you, you just literally decided to, to nuke people with one shot bow shots before you started fighting them. And that was kind of nice. So sorry, I lied to you. Uh, I didn't mean to. So I feel like leveling has become slow, slower just, just a second ago. Not sure what it is. I think leveling will feel faster again as soon as I get to world tier four. So just need to get like the, the last three, uh, well boss three minutes. Yeah. Well boss tier three should be relatively fast. Well boss tier one was a waste of time. Let's be real. I felt like so horrible. You're doing 556 million Duriel. That's amazing, honestly. The, the highest I do right now with my Necro is like 60 to 70 million. But I also have to say I do 5 to 10 million per dot damage tick. So so that's the thing. Like I can do I can do 50 million crits, but at the same time, while I do a 50 million crit, my dot damage just ticks for 5 million per, per dot per second on target. So it's kind of like I might not be able to to do like smexy crits, but I I at least whittle everything down. You know, I need a damage meter. Like I I really I'm really astounded that no one has made like a screen reader damage meter somehow. I'm pretty sure Blizzard would ban it for some reason. Like oh, damage damage meters are bad for the community. Damage meters create toxicity. You shouldn't have a damage meter in MMOs because damage meters make people be mean to other people because they're going to be like, you don't do enough DPS. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm playing this game alone versus myself and I really need to figure out how much damage I'm dealing, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is an ARPG. I am trying to min-max my builds. Give me a damage meter right now. That being said, damage meters make people toxic. Right? <laughs> damage damage meters do make people toxic in MMOs. Yes, they do. It's it's a fact. But like, screw this. This is not MMO. This is Diablo. I'm playing Diablo alone. You know, I'm playing this to make my own performance, my personal internet penisery. I want to make it as efficient as possible. Right? I want to show my I want to show my gigantic internet genitalia around the internet. I'm gonna be like, look at me. This is my DPS. Just for bragging rights. I don't want to be toxic to someone else, you know? Yeah, the damage meters with like dummies with no damage meters is useless. I mean, you can still like test some damage values. I mean, I did some damage test versus them, but efficiently the dummies are useless and we all know they are. I'm pretty sure they're just unable to code a good damage meter. I'm, I I will say this, and I hate that I'm saying it, but I'm just pretty sure they're just unable to make a working damage meter. It's just it's just what it is. I'm sorry, Blizzard. You might have a lot of talented programmers at hand, 
But I, I like at this point, I'll just assume you're you're just incompetent and you just can't do it. I like no offense to any Blizzard developer. Like, you know, love you. My respect to the work you're putting down. I'll just have to assume you're you're just incompetent to a degree. Sorry, what it is. So Traff, um, Traff, uh, give me, give me your, what was it called again? Give me, give me Activision, Traff, so we can add you. Like if you're, if you're not giving me your, your Battle.net ID, like, you know, i to add you. I wonder where barriers are for implementation. Like, you know what? This is, this is what I would like from a deaf dialogue. I, 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 it's, it's okay if something is too hard to make or, or if something is problematic to put in. Could you just tell us? You know, like, so we can't do loadouts right now because our, like, database system is weird and the overlay situation is complicated. And I'm like, okay, sure, like, whatever. It's, it's nice to see that you can't do your job, but at least, <laughs> at least you're telling me that you can't do your job. So I I don't mind if if I have to wait until season six. Just tell me what the problem is. You know, re remember when they told us that the reason why we can't have more storage is is simply that like they're they're just bad at doing storage. You know, like because because they're they're just they're like they <laughs> their their whole database system is scuffed. You know, they, they literally told us like our database system is scuffed and that's <laughs> that's why we can't do storage more. But we can give you one more tab. OK, yeah, sure. You know what? That's fine. Just tell us. And the same the same I would like like to know why we don't have a damage meter. Why don't we have, you know, why, why don't we have this and that? Like, just tell me. I'm I'm under I'm a very understanding person. I will say, OK, Blizzard. Cool. Two grandpas, three melted hearts, and three starless skies, one Dreambringer, and no Chaco. Okay, how many did you do, Mantas? Like that that like how much how much like are you are you a content creator? <laughs> you know, I, I, like I'll say this, chat, but the amount of Shakos people have been doing, uh, the, the amount of Duriels people have been doing, and I'm just like, sir, are you a content creator? <laughs> Are you good? Do you need to touch grass? You know? Do we have to talk? Do we need an intervention? I respect the dedication, but sir, are you are you like are you making TikTok videos? At least please anything. I need more time. Are you just grinding for the grind? Are you at least like are you getting laid? Like did you tell your wife that you found grandfather and she was like, "Oh my I puppy." Or is it just your personal depravity? It's okay. If it's just your personal depravity, that's fine too. We, we can... I accept that. It's, it's honest work, John. I need more time. Run 80 Duriel, so you your first Shaco. I respect it. Now, honestly, I respect anyone that's actually not making content and still grinding this much just for the grind. I respect that. I mean, for me, like, I'm, I'm grinding this much. I'm doing this much because I'm also, like, this is also my job, right? I'm also I'm also paying my bills with this. So so this is, like, this is, like, my, my me time. But my me time is also my me with you time at the same time. Because I don't have hobbies, guys, right? Apart from lifting next to next to actually making content. But um, this, is, this is, like, my me time. But this is my you time. But this is also my job. So I, I just like to combine everything in one. Uh... But yeah, like, like I, I respect the grind for the grind. It's it shows dedication. It shows a dedication I wouldn't have to be honest. If I was just grinding for the grind, I would not do like 500 duriels. That's for sure. I I would I would play too too many different games to be honest. Cause I'm like a variety gamer by nature. You know, I, I play more than one game. 
Octo Trap. Um, let me see. Can can I just uh, we add an Orbora? But Traff, I don't know if like you're like you're missing you're missing your your Activision thingies. I I need your numbers. Traff, the numbers. Where's your numbers? Need to give me your name plus the associated numbers. Hey, listen, you you sucker be, sucker sucker this. Okay, we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, just just give me that level fifty four. Oh god, I missed the world boss, didn't I? <laughs> I was like so focused on getting like the last easy squeezies out there that I just completely missed on the world boss. That's fine. I didn't want it anyways. I have the materials I need from the world boss. But I need a t uh, I need a world tier four. Wait, when is the next world boss happening? We need to be world tier four in three hours. I mean, like <laughs> I'm gonna be world tier four in like 30 minutes. But that that's my that's my like my point. Like the the world boss you want is the tier four world boss. Why? Because that one gives you a 925 weapon, right? 925 weapon is love. 925 weapon is life. There's nothing better than 925 weapons. Yeah, by the way, if you wonder what tool that was, that was Mobilitics. Uh, it's really... Really handy because you can have all the timers, but you can also just look up builds. So if you're looking for my builds for your Necro, you could just download yourself the Mobilitics tool and essentially overlay them as you're playing. So you don't have to like use a multi-monitor setup the whole time to get like the build going. Now you can you can just check that. Plenty plenty useful. It's also generally good for for Paragon board, just saying. You can just sit Blood Harvest and the gear will fall. Yes, I mean, Blood Harvest is insane. Just go into the Blood Harvest and hope that someone summons the uh, someone summons the boss and, and you're good, right? I feel like I should at least be, like, close to dying. But w one, thing, one thing I got to say about Druid, the standing power. You know, I, I might lose HP, right? But then I just activate my cool skills and drink a potion and bam, I'm back to being fortified and everything. Like, like, Druid just has, like, Druid just stands its man or bear or man bear or bear man. But yeah, you're, you're just, you're just surviving, right? Does this continue? Honest question, I, I don't know. Does this continue into, like, high nightmare dungeons? So I, I gotta say, it feels good. Okay, that's great. Give me more spirit. You're just druid, druid surviving everything. You know, give me, give me more. Ouroboros, there we go. Draft, did you give me your your numbers too? I love this shrine. Okay, you you almost got me there. That was multi-shot and poison. That is that is very sim thing. I have to say. Or Boris, I, I think I'm gonna like like only hamper you when you come into my world tier. You're not you're not gonna level fast. You like you gotta wait for me to be world tier four, then we can be hell tiding together. Right now I'm just holding you back. I'm happy to level with everyone, but but you know you're like you you in World Tier Three, you're just you're just losing out on 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 uh, on leveling speed. Also, is it is it normal that you just dislike one form of the Druid Chan? Because I I really I really do like. Um, Bear Druid, but I really don't like Wolf Druid. I don't know, but I think this is this it, like it started in it started in Diablo 2. In Diablo 2, when they released the Druid, I also just really did like only the Bear. I really like the Wolf ever.
You have your capstone team? No, I'll do capstone alone. It's very important that I do capstone alone. I have no interest in having someone help me with a capstone. Um, because I need to be able to, to get it done. You know? If I'm not able to get it done, then... No. Bad. Meister Hatzels with the 68 centuries of support. Meister Hatzels, welcome back as a prime supporter. Dankeschön, Hatzels. Also, chat, don't forget to check for those nasty prime subscription, those basis bugs. And again, the most important question, Black Friday is around the corner. You actually looking to, to get something? Chan, anyone? Well, they're all just boring. Events calendar for your wife, a Q soul. Uh, I, I got my I got my wife one of those jewelry events calendar thingies. She likes them a lot. Kind of stereotypical, but they're good. I don't want to open this box. I want to sell my stuff first before I open that. Storage for the PC? Yeah, I mean, storage for the PC is really something that I, I enjoy for, for Black Friday. That's that's usually so, so much bang for the bug, if we're honest with each other. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh, oh. Like, usually stupid if you not buy storage for your PC. You're, like, wasting money. Have you done a video on overpower yet how it works? I mean, like, overpower in itself is, like, a really simple mechanic. It just works with your life. Um, plus the fortify. And then times weapon damage and everything. You know, like, base weapon damage and then life fortify and then and then it just rolls down. That That's just rather simple in, in a concept stage. But it's not overpower that's hard to understand. It's more the like how do you how do you get overpowered to work? Because the three percent chance is obviously fixed, and that's where a lot of people struggle with. Because if the three percent chance is fixed, how how do you how do you get the the most possible? Well, that's four. I'll take that. You get the most possible damage out of your overpower, right? That one I need to keep now. Umbral ring. Then also never get another another like landslide yet. Mm. How much time is left? 17. Oh, that is 47. Is there another Legion event coming that I missed? It's just always like a Legion event, right? PC parts are so cheap right now. I just bought another 32 gigabytes of RAM for 120. And that is DDR5 RAM. I mean, it used to be so expensive, and and I was really, I was really happy. Now I have 64 in this PC, which you technically don't need, but honestly, for Photoshop and such, 64 just feels better. And for video editing in general, to just have your video editing go smooth, uh, that that's been that's been a wise choice, you know. Next Legion is in 11 minutes. Where is it? Am I just blind, not seeing it? Oh, no, it starts in 10 minutes. It's always like 10 minute cooldown. I was just, where is it? I'm so used to just having it on the map, but 10 minute cooldown, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 I don't think it shows. Like, I, I was, you know, you, you're so used to at this point always have a Legion on your map. Like, it's rare that you don't actually have one. Honestly, this Helltide was like really good for leveling. I've been definitely enjoying my time in the Helltine. I can't wait, though, to get World Tier 4, guys, because as soon as I get World Tier 4, 
I'm going to invite all of you to start doing, uh, to start doing cool, cool, um, Uber bosses with me. My question is, Chan, very important question. The stuff that drops from Grigoire the Gavanic Saint, is that level gated to 80? Or is it level gated to level 60? It should be 60, but I'm not sure how it's with the uniques. I, I'm not I'm not sure how it is with the uniques. Because I haven't like done it at that level. 60? Duriel also. Yeah, I don't I don't need Duriel because I, I, I do Duriel on my Necro because I have everything Duriel related, if that makes sense. Um I don't I don't want any of the druid Uber uniques. I know there's a Havarian, the the one that could be interesting for the Abattoir Zier. Uh, but I'm I'm not really intrigued in that. So yeah, it's just me. So uh, there we go. There we go. Sorry, sorry, Trav, it took me so long. My apologies. It was me just, just taking now. Uh, where's the, where's, where is the chest? Donde esta la biblioteca? Tempest Roar from Durium? Uh, yeah, but I don't need a Tempest Roar. I need, so, so the items that I really need right now, guys, is uh, T-Bolt's Will. I have T-Bolt's Will for this build. I need Godslayer Crown, but I have Godslayer Crown already. I have actually multiple Godslayer Crowns. So, so both of these items are are not needed. Um, then I need Insatiable Fury because I want to be a permanent wear bear. So that's the one item I actually need with the Insatiable Fury. Um, and that one is from Grigoire the Gavanic Saint, and I have a bunch of Living Steel actually for us, so we can do this together. I think I can summon like six, seven, or eight um, Grigoires to hopefully get that. Also, I need a bunch of Varshans because I want to try out the Druid Ring. I'm not sure if I'm going to play the Druid Ring, but I want to still try it out. Um, so, so yeah, that's me and the Druid Ring. Wait, the Helltide did flip, right? All the chests that I looted should be respawning on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, you should stack overpower, stack life, and stack damage to CC. I wouldn't stack damage to CC. I would rather stack core skill damage. That's actually better. Because damage to CC works a bit different additive and multiplier-wise than core skill damage. Core skill damage, in case they haven't changed it, um, used to always be like its own kind of multiplier bucket. The same goes with damage while healthy. So damage while healthy is extremely good. Uh, vulnerable damage is still good, but you want you want critical damage and you want um uh you want you want da -da 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 you want overpower damage like we want overpower crits by the way for this build, but you also want like core skill damage doesn't hurt to actually get because again core skill damage is is its own kind of multiplier in case you didn't know that uh, and again damage while healthy and damage while uh, fortify. Uh, works also very good. Thank you for the Elixir refresh um, call out. I appreciate that. Boogie man, let me let me quickly gift you a sub on the Twitch because you just saved me because I constantly forget about my Elixirs. So let me quickly open Twitch chat to gift the sub away to Mr. Boogie man. Why not the screaming ore veins? Honestly, I'm I'm looking at three chats at the same time while playing and trying to trying to somehow, you know, like uh do something efficiently. So the reason why I didn't take the screaming ore vein is mainly because I just didn't see it. <laughs> you know, mainly because I didn't look at my screen and probably didn't pay attention because I'm I'm more like so so I'm more I have six monitors here, four where I have chats on and everything. So that's that's what we're looking at most of the time. I'm, I'm just, I'm not like this. The game is just running, you know? <laughs> the game is just running, you know? It's, it's just existing on the side and that's about it. Come on now. Oh, 
By the way, I just noticed that quicksand aspect that I actually disenchanted was one I won't I should keep. Oh, it's Druid to play as a character. Well, I'm playing an overpowered Druid and it can feel a bit tedious because you're always like having to restore spirit and then you always feel like your spirit's starved. But as soon as you figure out how to use trample, like trample here essentially fills up your spirit completely and then you then you overpower and then you get your um then you get your shockwave aspect and things things just start feeling good as soon as you actually pick up yours in strength or like just uh enchanted from your codex of powers that's your first level of power where like these tiny uh, spikes happen below your pulverizes and these tiny spikes below your pulverizes just give you bonus damage and just make it feel good so so that's kind of nice to be honest And then you start having like fun overpowering around and then you know you should finally start like like just seeing elites vanish with one hit and that's that's always good i mean see, seeing a, seeing an enemy die just with one hit like all their life just go away uh brilliant beautiful fun And then you start seeing like 30, 40. I think the highest I've seen so far is 60k with my character on an overpower. And that that is that is nice. And right now we're trying to get level 56 that I can then finally do the capstone dungeon. Because I, I'm limiting myself. Or I, I could I could try it earlier, but I wanted to like do it with 56. I didn't want to like attempt it too soon. Uh, there is a multi-damage in Paragon board if you have CC damage. Interesting. See, like, that that's what I don't know about Druid yet. Everything. I don't know how the Druid Paragon board looks. And that's why I need to get this character to level 80 today, Chan. I mean, again, we have streamed now for two hours. We have another four hours at least. And I think in four hours... 70 is realistic, right? 80 might be a bit greedy, Chan. I, I don't know how fast leveling goes as soon as we're World Tier 4. Because World Tier 4 is like a significant boost in just like zooming speed. Um, but yeah, what, what do you think? Like 70 definitely in 4 hours, but could we go higher? Flicker Stab you'll love with your Pulverized Druid. I have Flicker Stab. But do you really need Flicker Step? Because that would like give you more Grizzly Rage. But but is it is it needed to have more Grizzly Rage? I mean, then again, like Grizzly Rage. Well, can you actually reset the Grizzly Rage cooldown while Grizzly Rage is running? That's the that's the more interesting question. I guess you can't you can't reset the cooldown while it's running, but. You can you can just get it down as you're as you're then just dashing through. Yeah, not not while it's running, right? It's it's not like you can because because when you have Bone Storm, while Bone Storm is running, it already resets the Bone Storm cooldown, right? So so that's like how how that that works with Bone Storm. But yeah, you have 25 seconds uptime, and then you would probably just reset it. But that would make that would make Flicker Step useless. Also, like, this doesn't do actually any damage. So, Flicker Step would be a wasted stand. Like, the, the thing is that Flicker Step gives you ultimate skill damage, but you're not having ultimate skill damage. I assume it, it wouldn't scale anything. Would it? Would, probably. Base assumption now. Don't know. Aw, oh, look at me now. Look at me now. See, this is where, where it feels good. I'm like farming this event right now alone, right? And I just position myself on one side of the event. And then with my pulverizers, I'm essentially able to just, just kill everything in the event. Actually does feel good, right? Oh, do, do, do. And then we walk here and do it again. And then we walk on the other side. <laughs> just, just just, rounding up everyone. Are you able to add me? I, I added you, Trav. I am not sure if the ad went through. And we can try again. Here, Driss. Down. 
Okay, where's another... It's one, 125, right? 125. B. It'll be the last chest we take, and then we're... And we're good with the hell tide. I wish they had an offline mode. I mean, I definitely wish they had an offline mode, especially for people that just have shitty internet. You know, not, not everyone just has decent internet. Uh, like, like especially when you have multiple people in the family and your brother's downloading his adult movies again while you're just trying to play this beautiful game. And, and he's like soaking like gigabytes, terabytes of adult movies. And you're just like, what the fuck, brother, man? I'm just trying to enjoy this Diablo gameplay. This is totally not based on a real story. Uh, I just it went into a wall and I got stuck. I need time to do that. Yeah, the ping is pretty rough when you're in Africa. That that's anyway stupid when you're just like when you get punished for living in a foreign country. That that's just that's just the most stupid thing. Like like you just literally don't live where the server is, and that's that's why you're gonna have to live with lag. You know? Was dumb like try, trying to literally play a game but you can't play a game as it's meant to be played just because you live somewhere uh -huh. especially a game where you don't care about the online component at all right oh I, I can't make it to that legion event right I'll try Starling is really good. Yeah, I heard Starling is good for gaming, but but for content creation still the latency is kind of like weird. So so yeah. We're gonna add a friend list yet. I mean I'm not sure why why the ad is not coming. I, I I'm adding you, sir. I'm pressing the button. My my personal my personal nuisance is, to be honest, that you're playing Diablo Orion and I'm entering a region and I'm essentially getting lag because the servers are bad and I I have to suffer through lag because too many people are there. So my my gaming experience doesn't get better through multiplayer. My gaming experience only gets worse through multiplayer. That's like, like you, we added multiplayer to Diablo 4 to, to technically improve the gameplay experience, right? To make it feel social to, to like, but, but right now, the only thing multiplayer has done is it has made the gaming experience worse. You put up with this because you love the game. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? Again, you put up with it because you like the game, but you're you're saying it in the right words. You're putting up with it. You're not you're not like, you know, it's it's you're you're not you don't wake up in the morning and you're like, "Let's play some multiplayer Diablo 4. This is what I have been looking forward to." Now, nah, you're just like, "Oh, please servers, could you work?" You know, <laughs> please. Like, hopefully we're not having login queues. 35% XP is active now. Yes. So that's right now what the multiplayer experience is. And that, that ain't it. I mean, again, I put up with it too, as you say. Like, the, this was literally the perfect way as you said it. Um, we all just put up with it because we enjoy the game. But not a sing I, I don't think not a single person would say that, you know, like, uh, sure. I mean, you can play with your friends. That's cool. But you could also do that with, like, local hosted server rooms. You know? That's like, that's like the thing. Yes, social aspect. Sure. Like, you can play with your friends. 
but you could play that in D2 as well with locally hosted server things. So you could just play with your friends. I mean, the, the only reason I see for multiplayer is because people people are not using like character trainers to boost their characters. People are not cheating themselves, all the uber uniques or whatsoever. So that's that's literally the only reason I see for permanent multiplayer. But again, that brings us kind of like to the point where it, it's not in to actually make the gameplay experience better, right? Right? Uh, best. What's best for Necro 80 to 100? A dot to build or Bone Spear? A uh, Blood Surge. I mean, right now to to level Blood Surge is the best. Overall content and go. I mean, literally farming Legion events as Blood Surge with a littlest wall. You're gonna be so fast. It's just insane. I mean, you're just gonna you're gonna just destroy the whole the whole like thingy. I mean, you you have infinite essence essentially with Blood Surge because you're gonna go around to use Iron Maiden the whole time, and yeah, you're you're unable to run out of resource while you're just doing copious amounts of killer damage. So yeah. Blood Surge. Rop. His love. I mean, Bone Spear is good, don't get me wrong, but it, I mean, it's also very boring to play. So, I mean, you could do this, but also like, like just, just using Iron Maiden is just brilliant. For leveling in general. I like the Blood Surge build. Honestly, the Blood Surge is just, it's not only my favorite leveling build, it's also for dungeon pushing the most fun. But I have to make a more efficient version that improves some single target damage. So because I, I want to make a perfect version for single target damage. Also, did I just miss a sub? I'm not sure if I just missed a sub chat. Sorry. Where are the D4 servers anyways? I think in Germany, they're probably somewhere around Frankfurt. I mean, usually German servers end up in Frankfurt or, or like European servers, Amsterdam, Paris kind of like thingy. I mean, if we're, if we're going after Activision and my Activision is Blizzard, uh, Activision servers are in Frankfurt. Activision servers are in Paris, London, um, Amsterdam. Uh, I think we used to have Berlin servers, but I think everything went over to Frankfurt at this point. Yeah. So. Sorry, Traff, that, that the friend request is not going through. I don't know what's causing that. Um, I think it's, it's weird. Bucharest? Yeah, it didn't like it wasn't wasn't Bucharest for Romanian servers? No, no, please, please don't leave me geographical knowledge. I usually stink at that kind of thing. Ooh. My, my, honestly, like if I, if I have one weak spot when it comes down to like overall knowledge, as we call it in Germany, Allgemeinwissen. How do you how do you call that in English? So we have this word in Germany. It's called, it's called like Allgemeinwissen and it, it literally means overall knowledge. Like things you just, just know, you know, <laughs> like a little bit of history, you know, a little bit of like ge ge geography, like, you know, the, the basic math, like all that kind of stuff. It, it's general knowledge in English. Would you just go with general knowledge? Yeah, it makes sense. Being a spy. <laughs> So yeah, when it comes down to my general knowledge, I think geography is my weak spot. Was it for you, Chad? Like everything else, I'm kind of like good at. Yeah, but, but you know, geography is... I'm winging it mostly when it comes down to that. Okay, 56 is just around the corner. I noticed Diablo 4 has a lot of streams from Germany. 
I mean, there's generally a lot of German streamers, but you all always see a lot of German streamers in like lower plate niches because uh, we we Germans love to dominate these smaller niches on the platform. To be honest. Germany number one likes to do that. Common sense and general knowledge are different. Yes. But common sense never hurts. The same as general knowledge just, just like never hurts to have. You have a Druid Mage Rogue on 100. What Necro is best? Depends on what you want to do. I mean, again, leveling, you kind of level the fastest with Blood Surge. I've kind of, like, done that. You know, I've kind of, like, shown it that that is that way. Um, If you're looking to, like, for late game, there's multiple Necros. I mean, there's the Giga Dot. There is the Bloodlands build for, for just nuking bosses. Uh, there's Bone Spear, which is always good. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, you get a Flathara of different builds to play. There is also going to be a... Uh... A uh, bone spirit build that I'm planning to do in the future. That could be very interesting for dungeons. Could be to me for Greg. Hey, we're not going to waste Greek resources on world tier three. Come on now, brother. That's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. We're tearing this up. Do 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 do. Tearing this up. Boop 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 boop. Your thorns built? No, Giga thorns built. I want to stop the th till the thorns build. I will just not do a thorns build. It's just like I don't hate myself that much. I don't know how. Again, like I, I will say it, guys. The what was it? The general manager and class designer for necromancer is playing mostly thorn builds i'm kind of like that's cool i i do respect it and i i like nice job sir <sighs> but could you could you like play something something different to to at least like you know be taken serious it's not that we're not taking you serious but i i just like literally yeah you know <laughs> if you're your main class designer is playing like the worst concept possible. That is that is merely just just the absolute meme concept. I mean, I'm saying that that thorns can't do anything. Thorns is not not powerful, but it's just like it's it's still and it will always stay like just just the weakest of all necro builds in existence. I mean, even even my frost necro is stronger, and that was technically meant to be the absolute meme build, and it turned out to be an absolute meta build. Or let's call it rather an off-meta build. But regardless of that, you know, a build that I meant to be a meme turned out to be powerful beyond belief. Why did you move that there? I don't like that. Okay, we're almost 56, ladies and gentlemen. Just about to get there. Need to kill, need to save villagers. Eaten. I just want to find a new weapon, but I think like 668 is the max I'll get here. Unless I w was going for the well boss, I guess I could have gotten a higher weapon. Wow, you just all died so massively fast. It's not even funny. Like seriously, what is like like the the um what's it called again? This is like hemomancy in action right now. So why why are we absolutely destroying some? So much that that's hemomancy. Just going next level puke on everyone. Boom. I think hemomancy is generally like overtuned for for uh 
for like overwhelmed content. That's why you should always make sure to have it running because it just makes like everything like I can just go in here, do my do my standard attack, right? And then Hemomancy kills them all. It was just it was just Hemo that wasn't that wasn't even me. Right? Basically Hemo and then then I just do that. It just works so good hand in hand. Silly. Hemomancy. Uh, have you found Trampled Earth Aspect yet? Uh, I have the Yurzen, um, the Yurzen Horror you can get from the um, Codex of Powers. And I have the Shockwave Band uh, I found that. So I essentially have the two aspects you need for leveling. And since I have them, obviously everything has been smooth beyond belief, right? Buttery smooth. And that's also what I want to take with me into the capstone dungeon. I don't think I'll take any other thing with me. Just these two to then see that we can beat Elias. I think I think it should be enough. I, I just don't see what I what I would need more. Um, that is another nine minutes. <laughs> wow, that was that was great. There's a good landslide trample aspect. Yeah, but is it in the Codex of Powers? Because I'm, I'm just like trying what, what you can reasonably achieve. Like I, uh, you, you can't obviously count on getting the aspects while leveling. I mean, it's, it's nice if you pick up the aspects, right? But let's be real. Can you, can you count on getting the aspects? No, you can't. You get, you gotta, you gotta be lucky and, and get them or not. You are dead, lady. You are so dead. How much fun is it just that this thing just has all this range going on, Chan? How brilliant is that, huh? I mean, all the range. Look at all these elites and you're just like, you. we don't care. Elite me, mommy. Bomb. More. Need more elites. Yes, if ancient effigy of trampled earth. Trample now summons six landslide pillars going around. Cool. Makes sense. I, I probably, I probably got the aspect already and just accidentally like put it away. If I'm, if I'm honest with you, there, there's a, there's a world where we've probably seen it. And then we just um, just put it away because why wouldn't we? So that's what we do. Oh, that's more damage finally. For all this time. Mm. Oh, we we level. We 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 made the level chat. I have 20 World Tier 4 Greeks skills to give you and two for the community. Okay, that that's like we get we get things to do. Let me let me get to World Tier 4, sir. Give me give me a second. Let me let me quickly get to, to World Tier 4. When I kind of want to sl slay the the what was it? What do I I need to slay more Blood Reavers, which are Blood Reavers again? Because if I get the last Blood Reaver slayed to Reno, then I can go for. <laughs> okay, this is this is a bunch of elites. Should probably reasonably I should die. Unreasonably I just win. Oh, re re reasonably we should die. Yeah, I, j I just want to kill the last ghouls and then we're we're happy. Then we go for the capstone dungeon. We should be able to just blast through it. I just I just can't see a problem coming, honestly. We should be we should be just able to absolutely obliterate that. Hey, come on, more more ghouls, more ghouls. Where where are those ghouls at? Where are those ghouls at? 
There's an overpower aspect in the codex as well. I haven't seen it. Gonna get a check in. With level 80, it's just nightmare dungeon spamming. Honestly, no. Uh, with level 80, I still did mostly overworld content. I mean, my, my nightmare dungeon spamming started with with my necro as I was able to do... Um, as I was able to do... Come on, brain, say it. Tier 100, that's when I started with nightmare dungeon spamming. So I, I was like kind of able to clear tier 100s with like level 90 on my necro. And as soon as that was possible, then I, I just I just began on, on nightmare spamming. Because it's just it's just better to do it this way. Because then then you're just like, well, well, what's worth like what's the help of doing like tier 20 dungeons? What's what's the help of doing tier 40 dungeons? I mean, if you can do tier 80s, for example, that's that's where the real deal starts, because that's when you start to get like good XP, right? By the way, shout out chat to like uh, 500 people here on Twitch. Also over 100 people on the YouTube. Don't forget to actually like on the YouTube. That helps to push the stream. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but if you do like a YouTube stream, uh, it does actually help to push it in the algorithm. That that thing doesn't work on Twitch. I know like you can't you can't do anything on Twitch. Then just be here and, and be cool. So thank you for that. <clears throat> thank you for being here and being cool. We do appreciate it. Collection of two-handed weapons. Hopefully, I get a better one. Anything better? No. Robbery. Oh, here. Pul pulverize creates a shockwave. Finally, I get another pulverize aspect. That's good. Let me... Let me just start joining that out. Same goes here. Companion bonus aspect. Uh, wind shear. I wanted no. I didn't want to wind shear. Whenever you have fortify, your earth skills gain two ranks. Yeah, that that's what I actually wanted, right? That that one is being used. Like that whenever you have fortify, your earth skills gain ranks. That that one is isn't that being used? I feel like that's that's not bad, but 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 I might be wrong. You know, <clears throat> I might literally just be wrong. Okay, so we got a 680 weapon that is also 75. Wow, wow. Look at the overpower damage, guys. This one has 69% overpower damage. And at the same time, it is a, a two-handed mace that anyways has like all the overpower damage in the world. That's that's quite nice. I kind of like that. Uh, no, no complaints, to be honest. Okay, so our rings or everything is upgraded. We get all of this kind of stuff. What do you say there was, you said there was something in the Codex of Powers that we might want to use? Overpower skill was in there. How many you got? Companion, damage, werebear. Stun enemies, boulder, damaging, nova, grizzly rage, core skill damage. Well, we could probably just uh, enchant grizzly rage on a weapon, I guess. Doesn't make sense to not do it. So we're just going. Okay, now we're getting... I want the exploit glyph, but I don't have exploit yet. I could put tracker in. Tracker was... Poison target damage. That was willpower. That's... Well, that's for every... Dominate. Dominate doesn't really work because I don't have much intelligence around here. Kind of sad. You know? Okay, now Capstone Dungeon. Fallen Temple. Can we do it? We're taking we're taking bets again, chat. What do you think? Can we do? You left a glyph? I that's a big yikes that I left a glyph. I'm sorry. Didn't didn't mean to.
Okay. Before we go anywhere, I need to upgrade my potion. Shockwave's on glove. I have Shockwave on ring already. Don't worry. We, we got Shockwave already. Okay, before we start the Capstone Dungeon though, right? Let me quickly run upstairs to just grab anything from the kitchen. So so I'm not like ravenous as we're trying to, to beat this dungeon. Uh, let me also activate my last vampiric powers. Like, uh, I guess we could activate right now. <laughs> Zangwin Brace. Yeah. We could probably activate Undying of Anticipation as well. Level some more vampiric powers. I mean, I have the most important vampiric power already level three, right? That's what you want. You just want Blood Boy level three. Everything else is kind of like bonus uh, and unnecessary. Also, why I'm not really paying attention to leveling these uh, proper. And I guess leveling Undying makes sense to, to try to get that or uh, Zangren Brace. But we could also try to... Tear on, but unnecessary. We just get undying max level tier right now. Others don't matter. Yeah, that's undying. Okay. Well, let's check what kind of potion are we taking. We got lucky hit potion, but that's unnecessary. Dodge potion. I could probably make a crushing elixir, right? Crushing, yeah, overpower damage. I mean, how, how much overpower damage do we have? Bonus? Already at 700%. That's kind of nice, not going to lie. Okay, crushing elixir chat, and we're going into the fallen temple. Before we start that, quickly running upstairs, then we straight up go, okay? I'll be right there.
Okay, Ruby on weapon for more overpower. Come on now, brother. Let's let's all take a chill pill. We we need to we need to not completely overdo it, okay? There there's limits. There's a time and a space. This is not the time nor the space. Now let's hurry our sorry bayons over there. And as soon as we're well tier four, the fun can begin. I want to see how truly fast we're leveling, right? I need more time. Mm -mm. I'm a wee bit scared of Elias because he's always annoying. And he, he's he used to one-hit things, right? I'm not sure if he's going to be one-hitting my druid. Okay, I got pasta from yesterday. Right. We made pasta with ham in the oven. So you have to imagine pasta, ham, zucchini, um, cream sauce, low fat, and cheese, low fat. And then you put that in the oven for 40 minutes. Mm hmm. Always cheese. Could probably replace the cheese on top through cream cheese. It's actually a good idea. I'll think about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was when everything just dies. Problem is always the one-shotting Animus heroes. Yep. Do a great. I mean, right now, I feel like I'm just generally taking a little bit too much damage for my liking. You know? <laughs> that's actually that's actually a bit mean here to just corner camp them um I, I have to say my my necro did take less damage what is why does druid take so much damage How's my how's my necro more tanky than a druid? Explain this to me, Chan. Is a druid meant to be the tanky one? Oh my, so squishy. Yeah, Nicker is just insane leveling. Weber feels slow and clumsy. Well, that's why it fits so good to overpower because you slow and clumsy around and then you go. Ooh, ooh. That's why I enjoy it, right? Because Druid doesn't get healed from blood. True. True. Um, I, I'm, I'll, I'll accept that. <clears throat> Out of my way. <laughs> Randomly overpowering people left, right, and center. I mean, it feels good when you when you just like obliterate everyone in in your pass with your skill feels, feels good oh. it started i started the boss encounter chat without starting it can i, can I go in there please Ready. 
Please, sir or ma'am, out of my way. Oh no, not you. Can you please not freeze me? Done, done, and done. Honestly, start was good. Start was good. Let's see how the the animus carriers are. Because this is how the danger begins, right? Uh, I mean... Whoa, okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. You came to the wrong birthday party. You lost shit. You should have brought more of your friends, yeah? My birthday party. Get pooped on. Ah, the joys of the joys of uh, being overpower. Honestly, oh ho ho ho! Those were some. Those were some nasty overpowers. I, I won't be. I won't be told different, Chan. Or some nasty overpowers. Not sure if we. Oh, yeah. I want to say. Not sure if we want to kill these guys. What item drops from tier 90 to 100? From tier 53 on, you can get 925 items. So there is still no need to farm tier 100. The only reason to farm tier 100 is for more glyph XP. So right now, the best dungeon to kind of farm would be 80 to 90 probably. Because 80 to 90 are extremely easy. And like, like, like in comparison to just like how much more difficult tier 100s are, Cause you gotta see that you gotta see that reasonable that well, what kill me that tier 100s are just like 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 more difficult exponentially like right okay that guy's fire enchanted we don't like it chad fire enchanted with all the hobos around him Why is Blood Boy a good, a free overpower, and do you create free things, and that's cool? I mean, Blood Boy gives you a free overpower, but the strong thing about Blood Boy is not the free overpower. It's also the the tiny blood orbs you create that that explode, but again, also not the strongest thing. The strongest thing is that overpower charges are stacking, which means that if blood boil is stacked up, then a blood boil overpower will happen. But if also your landslide is stacked up, that will not take the landslide overpower away, uh, the pulverize. That means I can pulverize overpower into blood boil overpower into my other overpower stack. So you can literally have three overpower stacks on your character at any given time that the next three attacks consecutive in a row will be overpower. See, like, like this, right? There was an overpower and then overpower stack. And that's the best part about overpower right now, that there's like no limit to your stacks you can have. Um, and you can just like walk up to Lilith and essentially have like three overpowers saved up to then just go overpower, overpower, overpower. Okay, where's the last... Where's the last Animus Carrion? He's never been in the middle for me. Are you just hiding here somewhere in the middle? 
plenty uncool, brother. Oh, Frost Enchanted. Yikes. Wait, not bad. Oh, wow. Yikes. He just, he just one boot me. You see Rob's Undying Hoda Bob pretty um, uh, OP. I mean, that's what the Melted Heart of Selig is for, sir. That's what Uber Uniques are there for, to create absolutely incredible builds. So if if there is a build now found out with an Uber Unique that's absolutely incredible, that's what it is. What are your resistances right now? Around 30, 40, 60. I mean, for World Tier 3, that's okay. I, I, won't, I won't care about making my resistances higher. I, I should be tanky enough. I mean, this dude can just one hit and that's it. I mean, I am I am level 56, sir, right? There there's no like I can I cannot get much tankier for this. I get like the only thing I can do is I can I can just damage my way through this and and try to get to Elias, right? So right now we get one overpower saved, and I think we have a second overpower saved. I will actually kill these two guys because else it gets annoying with the respawn. Because you want to get like literally spawn right in front of Elias. Okay, you need to die too, sir. Okay, done, done, and done, Chad. What are our predictions? Can we do it or can we not do it? We're eating pasta with ham. Okay, I'm, I'm not taking that much damage. I thought I would be taking more damage, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> yeah, like, in comparison, like, my, my, my Necro was partially dying to his attacks. I guess that's where the, the permanent fortify helps. Wow. I am so much more tanky than my than my necro for this right now. But I have a harder time killing the ads, that's for sure. Oh wow. Still 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 does the damage. I challenge you in PvP with my Ball of Lightning Sork on your stream. Uh, congrats. Bless you. Why did this viewer have to be called Timmy Chan? On top of that. Oh, 
Bob Lightning Sword is just broken. It's actually not that broken. I played my my full barrier, Dot, Necro. And I was in PvP against a ball of lightning sork and a barb. So they were they were pushing me, right? And I was essentially just AFK doing my thing. So I I threw on my dots and both died in a matter of seconds. And they couldn't they couldn't like out sustain my my dot damage because the dot damage just scales really nice in in PvP in general. So yeah, it was it was an interesting experience. But I didn't see coming that way, if I'm honest with you. But that that's that's what happened. It was really funny because they came back, you know? They were they were angry that they weren't able to kill me. So they, they came back for a second round. And they wanted to to again mingle and jingle. I'm losing too much HP and I'm using too many potions in between. Yeah. Just using too many. Yeah, I'm using too many potions in between. I'm also not allowed to get hit by that. So yeah. I'm 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 not sure what's wrong with you, Mr. Timmy. I hope you find help. I mean, like, you know, it's Mon it's it's Tuesday and you're challenging random people to a PvP duel in Diablo. I don't know on how many levels I can tell you that is weird. But yeah, uh, congratulations, Timmy, I guess, for the five minutes attention you garnered. Please go to the next stream. You know? <clears throat> what do you think is the best class for D4 right now? Necro, 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 Necro. Try Poisonous Werewolf. No, I don't want to play Poisonous Werewolf. I don't enjoy it. It's so boring to play. So, so the thing is that Overpower is fun for me to play. I understand how Overpower works. I, I like Overpower, right? Uh, whereas any kind of like the the poisonous werewolf or whatsoever, they they're just boring for me to play. Like there's there's zero joy when I play them. So yeah, that's that's me and and these builds. Where I simply don't play them because yeah, they they have zero joy for me. Oh, see, this one, I need to at least basically dodge, or I'm just going to take too much damage. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've figured that out now in the, in the, in the long run, that if I don't dodge that at least... Oh, great, great. What, where's, where's the, where's the, where are the pools? Where are the pools, Elias? What about Tornado, uh, Shottington? I haven't played Tornado yet. So again, my, my, my Druid build experience is quite, quite limited in, in all the different builds I've tried out, right? I haven't played Tornado yet. Don't know anything about Tornado. Bill is the best for Necro. I mean, Bone Spear is probably for max damage, but I don't know how well the damage is going to help you with the Abattoir of Zero because, you know, you always run into an Essence issue to a degree. Um, I, mean, I think Giga.Necro is the best. PvP challenges, who does that in Diablo? I mean, that's like asking someone to 1v1 you. Gem up. We could gem up to make this better for even more damage, and I'll probably gem up. Like, let's try one more try without gemming up, and then, and then we'll probably just have to actually gem up, okay? But let, let me be stubborn for one more try, if that's okay for you, John. Let me, let me be stubborn for one more try.
Don't like you and your fire thingies. You annoying purple. Ah! Look at my other tries, I did more damage. Maybe I'm just deceiving myself there. Oh, that, that was nice. No, no. Leave me alone. That's where blood search is just so much better at. No, what? What did I walk into? This was that was just just blood surge way better at. Okay, give me give me a second. Well, we'll go get our overpower thingies, Chad. Just for you, so you're happy. I have some overpower gems just flying around. It's fine. No, I don't actually have them flying around. I need to make them. Ending in a quest. Yeah, where's where's my where's my overpower? Oh god, I have to put flawless ones in. There you go, another forty percent overpower damage. Oh, there you go, another one hundred seventy-six more damage in general. But this one does not. My, that's the question right now. Is this item power so much? It it's probably so much better. Probably so much better. Should probably do it, but this is hundred and two willpower. I'm I I, I don't want to. I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy. Look at this. Yesterday, I downed the Butcher in a tier 96. That sounds absolutely good. That's what I want to hear, Avernith. Fire resistance. What Elias does is not fire. I, I we, have, we have tried this before, and we have tried to figure out what Elias' damage actually is. And I tried a lot of fire resistance. But it didn't help against his fire at all. It, it might just be that his fire is just not fire and it just seems like fire, but it's actually not fire. Yeah, exactly. It's soul fire. Okay, that was good. That was not good. It was not good. Ow. 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 He pooped on me. See that that one? It probably bleed just so you can't stack against it. Yeah, I mean like his 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 like blood thingy there is probably bleed. Well, the Necro Crits are just insane. Necro Crits are mental. That's why I'm saying, like, the, the Upper 12 Zero for Necro shouldn't be a problem. I just literally can't see how the Upper 12 Zero is supposedly going to turn out to be a problem for Necro. Uh, under the assumption that, like, you know, things are just going exactly how we imagine it to go. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. So, uh, Mr. Raider, thank you very much for the brand new subscription. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable. Good to see you there and welcome. The armor, you say, oh yeah, I, I, we could suck at armor. So we can do some things to make this better. But I think right now it's just merely down to me just doing the right rotation. And that's about it. Like, I, I don't like, I just need to dodge the attacks. I mean, we, we could make this easier, but again, we're learning resistance. <laughs> Again, we're learning resistant. We are trying to like uh, do it stubborn. But if I die and my armor actually breaks, I will put the things in, you know? 
So that's that's the plan currently. I mean, we might even we might even swap over to the weapon at some point. Okay, barrier that half half overpower already. Fortify men, not overpower. Okay, first and foremost, I was definitely out of that. Yeah. Second and most important, I was definitely out of that. Like, not even a question, sir. Hey, why, why are these stupid Sukkabi just such a such a nuisance for us, Chad? Oh no, this is bad. This is the phase where where things hit the where where shit hits the fan, right? Honestly, I've never had him alive this long. This is the longest. This is literally the longest he's ever been alive. I've never had him alive this long. That's crazy. Investmentor, howdy partner. How are you doing? Thank you very much for your support. Greetings. I mean, this is definitely the biggest struggle I've had against Elias with any class. I'm actually astounded at uh, like how much stronger Necker feels in comparison now. You know, for for me personally, where where I play mostly Necro, and I just know how much how much more powerful Necro actually is. You know, if you, if you just compare it, or let me let me be let me be lazy and just upgrade all of this just four times. Even though we're we're gonna sell all of this now, you know, <clears throat> how how every reasonable player would do it by just upgrading their gear, copious amount of time, just hiring your your everything, right? This is what people say when overpower single target problems. Yeah, but I don't think I have a single target problem. It's just like the, the nature of the build and everything. But I mean, if I if I would go now for level 60, everything would be fine because my damage would be up for the task. It's just for me like being stubborn and wanting to do it right now, right? Because the damage is good. It just literally comes down to managing also your your essence that you always have the the spirit when you need it because right now oh wow that was so bad because right now the biggest problem are obviously the um the sucker beam but if we in that phase like make sure that our spirit is full and we just kill them then yeah that that's great right I mean, we, we got this already, let's be fair. We know it's possible. We know that at level 58 or 60 would be easier. But 
Stubborn bastard. Stubborn. See, by the way, two overpowers uh, saved up now. So if I go for one overpower, two overpowers. Can we do this? No, we know he does always the blood, right? So we, we make sure to have our thing ready. Then we know he does that and we make sure that we don't have to use a potion. And he's gonna go for blood again. We round them all up and kill most of them so that we don't suffer from this. Go through that. Take overpower. You know, it's great if you're standing right there where these where these points are, that I can't actually attack you. Because you're now standing in the way. Do you not summon anything? Did that completely just break? Problem, 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 problem. Uh, did he not? Elias, you're okay there? Because he's, he's just broken two times, right? He's just, he's just summoned like two times. He forgot to summon something. Oh, great. And no animation. Love to see it. I mean, if no, no animation, no enemies, I guess. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, that was cool. See, these these are like, I know this was a struggle, right? I know this was like, we could have had it way easier. But these are the very last challenges you also have left in the game, right? That's, that's like it, because after after this, there's nothing more. Like, like right? You're, you're done then. There There's not, not anything. Yeah. So I guess if I make it difficult for myself, it's it's the final, it's the final challenge while leveling. So after that, it's just easy. I should have teabagging. Absolutely, I would be teabagging him the whole time. That's for sure. Yeah, killing with a struggle is more wording. Exactly. So how, how was that, Saturkin? You you wanted, you wanted me to Grigor Gavani Saint 400 times now? I mean, the first thing you should do when you get World Tier 4, by the way, the very first thing you should always do is... Straight up, straight up, go do, uh, Stronghold, because that's two free levels. Not really speedrun at the point, though, uh, Kibans. Uh, the speedrun part is more just seeing, like, how fast it's going, you know, in general. There's always faster, you know, I could just run Domheim tunnels, but I don't want to do that. Oh, that is uh, Waifu, I think.
tier 56 hell types won't be easy no like doing hell types right now would be stupid what you want to get you want to get level 60 because with level 60 you can put on ancestral gear and as soon as you put on ancestral gear you're insane that's just as simple as it goes right So right now, I'm just going into this stronghold. Because strongholds, in case you didn't know this, are level gated. So I can go into world tier 4 stronghold. And it will be perfectly made for my level. With the difference that it's in world tier 4. So it gives me huge amounts of XP. And little Timmy here taking like no damage at all. Jesus. It's harder than Elias. The mistakes of my past will be paid in your grave robber. Let our brothers Stop talking! He just kept on talking, Chan. Poor Timmy's waiting for you in the PvP zone. Yes. I mean, imagine poor Timothy, guys. He's still he's still waiting in the PvP zone for us to come. Because he challenged us here live on stream. And as you all know, like, random challenges from, from people, like, coming to your stream are something you should take very serious. Be because, you know, what, what, if, what if he beats you and then steals your wife? You know how it is. Boom. And we're almost 57. Okay, what is it? It's 11.33, Chad. Time's running. Two and a half hours for level 17. See how unreasonable that is. Just farming this down really nicely. And then we're going to get level... Then we're going to get level 50, 60 very fast. And as soon as we're level 60, the fun begins, Chan. With level 60, I can put on my uniques, which essentially allows us to just go crazy. One thing we have to consider is we actually have to go back to world tier 3 to finish the seasonal quest to get the Metamorphosis Heroic Power, right? Because this is, this is what you want. You want the Metamorphosis Vampiric Power as soon as I hit level 60. Because then I can use T-Bulb's Will with Metamorphosis on level 1. And that one will actually be insane, right? Metamorphosis level 1. You can do it in World Tier 4, assuming you can kill Zier. Yeah, see, that's why I can't do it in World Tier 4. Because with level 60, I, I don't I don't kill Zier. I tried that on my Necro, and even the Necro did have its struggles with it. I mean, World Tier 4 Zier with 60 is, is kind of is kind of greedy, right? What uh, level does Street get Spirit Boons? From level 15 on, I have them all maxed out already. I 
I got everything going on. Oh, he's he's stunned. No, stop it. I'm trying to do this. Leave me alone. Yes. No, I didn't. Let me just let me just shortcut this. Stop stop stopping me. I just want to summon all at the same time. Let me. Thank you very much. Cuz if I'm already doing like vast copious amounts of area damage, why would I why would I <clears throat> you know focus on just killing one? I can focus if I can kill everyone at the same time. So these elites are just staying alive for way too long. How is Necro so much stronger than Druid? Every <laughs> that's that's every single time we're coming back to the question, guys. How is Necro so much stronger than Druid? Come on, Sir Morheld. Let's have a little like uh, fight together here, right? With everyone. Okay, could you, they marry him? Could you just stop, stop just vanishing? Oh, everyone died. What happened? Every, everyone died. What happened? Did they do the update? Yep. And we, we, we're getting cool amounts of bonus XP, Chad. Oh, I need to... Need to leave this party to do that, right? Because they, they need to be here for the stronghold. <sighs> okay, we made it into World Tier 4, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I, I gotta do it again? Oh no, I gotta do it again. No. Because I wasn't a team. Pain. I, anyways, wanted to do it two times, so we're fine. I anyways wanted to do it twice. Grave robber. Let our brothers rest. Thank you, Sir Tristan. Bye, Sir Tristan. Five minutes wasted. Yep. I'll never get them back. You know how it is. That's horrible. <laughs> Sir Morholt just met his ultimate demise with a one hit ladies and gentlemen or lad he was ready to fight demons left right and center turns out no demon fighting for him oh wow we're we're just we're just hitting some nasty uh overpowers there not gonna lie like just right now they are just just like in comparison to the the first run Mm-hmm. Kind of silly that the whole team gonna be there and I can't essentially do it, you know, until the whole team catches up. Gonna find out what's the reason for that to still exist, to be honest. Uh, we're going up into the... Oh, what? What just happened? What? What? Okay. 
Hello, Dame Marion. Could everyone just meet up here for a second? Oh, well, that was nice. Well. And will we get the 35% for real? The 35% is a lie. They don't exist. You know it's true. Oh, come on now. Aha, done. No, oh, my goodness. Stop being against me. Start being for me. I don't, I don't know why I'm suddenly dealing this much more damage or was it because I was in the party with everyone, guys? Did my, did my enemies just scale that high because I was in a party with everyone? Really? Is that the reason? That makes no sense because strongholds are, they, they scale with who's there. But yeah, this is, this is in no way comparable to what was there before. Interesting. Is there a Legion event happening? What's the next Legion event? 21 minutes. That's always what you want to do. So chat, the plan is right now, we want to get 30 and then we're going to do a bunch of Uber, uh, 60, then we want to do a bunch of Uber bosses. Okay. Also, I'm not sure if we're from 60 on are going to be genuine leveling or if we're going to be just starting to to Nightmare Dungeon pull with the community. I got to decide what we want to do from there. And we could do a bunch of Beast of Eyes, which would be a tier 31 dungeon. Oh, this is this. This is just world tier four damage. Why? Why? Why are we not having any issues with this, Chad? Here, this is supposed to be like world tier four, like, like HP, right? And everything. We're just reasonably. I mean, they do a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong, right? But they also die. Helltide in one minute. I'm too low level for Helltide. Sandrakan, you would have to run in front of me and do the Helltide while I just pick up the cinders. There's no other, no other thing we could do. I'm rather happy how how well this is going here though. I was expecting this to be this to be more difficult to do, huh? Funny looking necro. Well, you know, luckily we choose to level also druid. Outside to me, Wilkes well, and Draken, if you want to do that, we can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, someone else wants to join. We're about to embark on the Helltide. I will be, I will be cheering you on while you murder everything. I guess we've reached that point. How does Ixfell's five to six times damage work? Uh, it's a lucky hit and all your damage over time has a chance to explode. That's essentially what works. So you have to trigger a lucky hit and then your, your dot damage explodes. And then that, that Ixfell's thingy, the damage that Ixfell's do, uh, can crit. And that's how, how your whole damage is coming together, essentially. Okay, where's Helltide? That is Helltide. 59 minutes. Okay. All 
I'm ready to carry all the cinders. So we managed to get world tier four chat the, the normal way without getting boosted in like, what was it now total? Six, six hours, seven hours. That's, that's good. It's not much faster to be honest, but it's, it's a wee bit faster than um it would be without the 35% XP. Uh, but I have to say that the Necro did this almost equivalently fast. So it's just like that with, with a 35% bonus XP, then, then you have Druid be almost as good as other classes. Huh? I'm not sure what to think about that. If I'm honest with you, Chan. I need to open big chest for more steel. For more steel. Do, 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 do. I, I just want that unique that turns me into a permanent werebear so I can be a cuddle teddy all the time, I guess. <laughs> just that one unique, Chad. So is that too much to ask for? Oh, I ha didn't have a potion popping the whole time, huh? Potion just run out. Oh, shit. Save me. Bran will get you in in a second. Druid is hurting this season. I mean, Druid has always been on the slower end of the of the leveling spectrum, so so that that's just what it is, right? But I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Little man, Bran, let me get you in. Here you go. Hope you get the Ann. I need time to do that. Just invite yourself, Thran. Invite Tove. For full Healy, I'm sorry. Get the four man team popping. Sadly, you can't get more than four in, right? You can't? Or, or could you get more in the overworld content? Tells you how much overworld content I do in a team. Never. Ready for my first chest. Let's go. So this is this is what you get now, right? You get the, all the cool equipment. And you really, 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 really want to get level 60 now to actually put that equipment on. Oh, rabbit squabs. Mind if I do? I get lucky and get that during a blood run in the 150 lures. Mm. There is so much shit dropping when you do the blood harvest event. It's amazing. I think I think in total, like with my 100 necro in the blood harvest event, I've picked up like four uniques. So they're definitely left, right and center dropping there as well. Let's go. We're team chow. We're team. We can do this. Look at my level. My level is amazing. Give it a lick. Do -do -do -do. Tastes like lemonade. We can jump down here. Did you get a chance to answer my question, Taz? Um, yes, we answered your question. You just have to go a little bit back. Ooh, there's a... Uh, there's a trembling hand. <laughs> Would you look at that? Right now, I haven't done a single Nightmare Dungeon, right? And this is really how I level. I used to, like, really be... You need to do Nightmare Dungeons. You need to do Nightmare Dungeons as soon as possible. If you're not doing Nightmare Dungeons right, you're doing it wrong. But honestly, I completely get away from that because like one, two, three, four, five, up to 20 Nightmare Dungeons are completely useless. There's no reason to ever touch a Nightmare Dungeon uh, below 21, to be honest. Like, like, especially right now with all the new things, right? Like w without without the new things, like it would still make sense to to touch them.
Oh god. I don't have the fire resistance to do this. Lads. Save a man. I don't I don't have the resistances yet to do this in World Tier 4. Not with the overall resistance malice you're getting, right? Because you're getting a giant resistance malice. In case you didn't know this, like that's actually how it works, by the way. That's why you're so squishy, because you could like that that world tier four. Oh god. I was sure I was down. Are Uber Unique's drops locked by class? Yes. Uber Unique drops are locked by class. I mean, there's there's only a few class specific Uber Uniques though. Uh, like Shaco Grandfather and so on. Oh, actually, Grandfather is a class class locked unique. But yeah, they're they're just like coming down to uh what class are you playing? Technically, what was it? Barbarian was the best one to go for grandfather better than Necro because Barbarian has overall one Uber unique le less. You know? Think about it. Everything dies faster than I can do anything. Look at me, chat. I can kill minions. Oh, shit. Look at me, chat. I can get killed by a course bow. Is Ixfels 5 to 6% or um, fixed damage? Uh, Ixfels is fixed damage. You can actually see it on Ixfels itself when you actually hover over the, the thing. The 5 to 6% on Ixfels is just for some reason weirdly shown on the all the build planners. Ixfels is 35,000 to, to some, somewhat, somewhat thousand damage. I think... What? 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 Killed me. There, there wasn't anything. I wasn't, I wasn't even looking at something. Like, seriously. What happened? Did I, did I stumble? Did I stutter? You know? Oh, look at me. Chat, 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 chat. Look at me. Look at me. Woo! Need time to do that. Random hell tight event. Eat that. Be jealous. I don't need it though. Because I'm like at first and foremost it's too low level, second and most important, not planning to play it. Right? Softcore, yeah. Wait. I must wait a moment. Have they fixed the XP bonus? It's still showing 25%, but allegedly it's fixed. Now, since we don't really have a real XP tracking whatsoever, you know, we, we assume that it's working, but can we prove it, Chan? Or do we just have to accept them saying that it works? Can we can we really trust them? Are they lying to us? Don't mind me. I'm just running around, gathering gathering cinders, so so I don't die. I mean, again, I, I don't know how they could screw the tooltip up because if it was to be 35%, why does even a 25% tooltip exist? So, so please chat, explain. This is what I don't understand. It was supposed to be 35%. The whole marketing material is 35% everywhere. There's like, I've never seen a marketing material for not 35%. So why, why does there even exist a 25% tooltip graphic? Maybe I'm missing something here. A crucial piece of information. You know what I mean? 
What is what is there even a graphic exist for? Okay, we're almost level 60, Chad. We're almost level 60. Then we can they can put on all the Uber uniques. When the fun begins. And we need to be 80 to put on everything. So 60 to put on the first ones, 80 for everything. But then we can finally farm our Werebear unique. Werebear unique. I gotta figure out which one could drop it again. Was it Varshan or Grigoire, Chad, for the Werebear unique? Oh, look, GG, level 100. Did someone just ding 100? Did I just miss something? Arshing under Vasilis. I need Insatiable Fury, not Vasilis. Uh, insatiable Fury. I'm an exclamation mark unique farm in the chat shows you what's going on. <laughs> 85 already makes me feel lazy. Honestly, we've been like yesterday evening. We played for four hours, even though I should have been sleeping. So, so I, I guess don't feel lazy next to, next to the insanity. That can drop from Grigoire and Beast of Ice. You know, Beast of Ice would probably be insane damage if I just go for Beast of Ice now with the community. I, I gotta see how much, how, how many, I think I have Beast of Ice materials too. Fly Swarm killed me in uh, World Tier. Ladies and gentlemen. Where we're going next? Uh, we're going up or left into the board? Wait, there's uh, the next board for... The left. Nice board. There's the next board. Oh. Screw it with the lads. They're killing everything here. I, need time to do that. I can do it myself. Oh, I can't do it myself. I could do it, but what happened is that they had a course bow. John. What was my problem there? They, they had a course bow. Ladies and gentlemen, so, so goddamn close. Don't die, Dave. Swelly, just want to show some appreciation. Swelly, you don't have to, to drop money for some appreciation. You could have just say thank you. I mean, I say thank you, sir. That That's 10, 10 bucks. That's a lot of money. Especially with, with the food prizes and everything nowadays. So thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. I do appreciate it truly and greatly. I think I have 100 blood and I don't know what to do with it. Jesus. What are you doing in your free time, Chan? But yeah, I'm playing Diablo, it seems. A lot of Diablo. Oh, I'm so going to die here. Why am I doing this to myself? This is when this is when Pony gets greedy and tries to do things himself instead of letting his his lads do it. You know, but with this level, by the way, you should definitely not be in the Helltide again. There's no there's no reason to be in the Helltide apart from being unreasonable. Like your Helltide starts with level 60.
Paragon point. Uh, we're going now to the other board over this. Because that's where the overpower comes from. And I'll finally be strong. My favorite part of the game, when slowly the Paragon points start coming together, right? And you're you're just like slowly vibing into your build. And like every Paragon point is unlocking like new nodes. And you're getting gradually stronger and stronger. That's my favorite part of the game, honestly. Archon, thank you for the 54 months on top of the $10 from Spally. Greetings everyone actually to being here on a Tuesday. I mean, having hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of years left, right, and center. Um... With all of you, it's just it's just great. So shout out to you, Chan. Happy to see so many like enjoying the the Diablo. Uh, I hope you're all excited for the Diablo 12 Zier. It is only another nine, 15 days, right? 15 days. So we're we're, we're so damn close to to finally seeing endgame content in this game. I hope that has you as pumped as as it does have me. I would be dead. No, I, I did count around like with these numbers a little bit less, you know, for for when when drops go away. But it's just it's just good to see that like I think right now season two is in a healthy position. Let's be real about that. See, like the game is just doing good. No, not like season one because let's be fair. Season one when you when you got your Barbara heart, it was over. That, that that was like season one for you. In season one, you get your Barbara heart and then you have beaten the season. Done. So, so that, that was just really that. This season, it's a bit more varied, at least. There's a bit more to do. There's, like, the bosses and the uber uniques to farm and whatsoever. Um, that's cool. But, yeah, like, if we're, if we're absolutely 100% honest, then you get the barber hard. Uh, with the barber hard, you could essentially do any content, no matter what build, in season one. And, and then you were, then we were done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not ready yet. Ah! Flee! Flee, pony hop! <laughs> I'm going back in. Didn't learn from my mistakes. Thank you, un unknown stranger. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I just wanted, honestly, I just wanted the chest. I was not counting on everyone be there. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can put on the Tempest Roar, which I really don't want. But hey, I, I got it now. Wee! Look at me! Look at me now! Look at me now! Tempest Roar. We teleport back to base for a second because I need to check for things now. So put out or die. Is loot transferable between characters like Destiny? No, there is a chest that is shared between your characters. Okay, let's see what do we have. Uh wow, that's 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 great. That's a lot of item power. Because that's the thing. Now now I'm level 60, right? So level 60 allows me to essentially put on almost 900 item power items. You know, the, the highest item power I can find, I can just slam it on now. Like, this weapon has 866 damage plus than the weapon that I had before. Need something for it? Let's see. No, I don't need... Oh, wait. Oh, that was my pulverize. My pulverize ring. Something for the cold and other people. 
you you selling you selling a better weapon? No. So let me let me check now. See, that's what I'm talking about. I have a trembling Lord's Talisman. I have a Banished Lord's Talisman, but that Banished Lord's Talisman is a level 80 drop. So in order to put on the Banished Lord's, I need to be 80. The same goes for my Mother's Embrace that would also have me be 80 and all that kind of stuff. So I like there, there's a bunch of cool items, but I need to be high level to do this. I mean, here is Distilled Fear. So we could do now a bunch of like, I think, I think I want to do this. So, uh, what, what is, what is, let me type in exclamation mark unique farm. Exclamation mark unique farm. Beast of eyes can drop insatiable fury, which I need. Yeah. So I'm going to craft beast of eyes and we do beast of eyes, right? Oh, what's this migrated over here? No, I stream everywhere. Oh, it's called multi stream on Twitch, on YouTube, on, on everywhere. Okay, here's six glacial fissures, Chad. The best part about the glacial fissure is it's a tier 31 nightmare dungeon, right? So what happens if a level 60 player goes into a tier 31 nightmare dungeon? He gets destroyed, yes. But what happens if he goes into a tier 31 nightmare dungeon that has a boss at the end and he has a dude of people with it? You know? Retaliation on weapon, no shockwave aspect is going to come on weapon. But I'm not putting anything on weapon right now because I just simply don't need anything on weapon. I must wait a moment. Ah. It's probably gonna one-hit me, right? Look at the XP. Did you just see my XP rise here, Chad? That's crazy. But like, like the, the XP is just, it's just going up. Like I can, I can just, I can just stare at my XP bar and see it, see it move forward. That's like the interesting part about this dungeon here. It has such a high enemy density. This might actually be the best farm you could subject yourself to ever. Because like there, it, like, have you ever actually went through this? Like in the amount of enemy density this one has? Like there, there's such a like a lead pack after lead pack after lead pack. It's it's quite scary if if we're honest with each other. Like I just I'm I just like we 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 haven't even started like half of the dungeon and I almost have like another another level. Look look at this. Look at how fast this is moving. That's crazy. And I got six of those. Chat. Oh shit 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 shit. I got six of those. I must wait a moment. Oh, this is almost another level. <laughs> uh, I know you love your necker, but I love to see some play something else. Be be ready, guys. We're gonna level a second necker to one hundred. We're gonna have the druid to one hundred. Uh, we might even level a rogue, so just be. I, I think like watching watching someone level can also be very entertaining, and probably watching me like slowly understand a class can also be entertaining. So we definitely are now putting out some some different classes for you, and and you'll essentially see me get smarter and learn more things. And like, okay, that was what, what one and a half levels now from this. Please don't kill me, Dad. I'm innocent. Oh, well, that's in. Insatiable Fury, go! Insatiable Fury! Do it! Ah, oh, that's a ring. Okay, which power do I level up Dominate first? What do you think of Cyclone Armor and Ravens? Uh, I don't know what Cyclone Armor does and uh, Ravens. Oh, you mean Cyclone Armor and Ravens, the abilities. They're cool. They're, there's some nice things you could do with them. Okay, here, chat. We got Mother's Embrace 925 roll. What? What? That's the that's that's one of the best Mother's Embraces I've ever found. Like, And you can actually use this. Mother's Embrace works really well in Druid because if Core Skills hits four or more enemies, your refund essence cost. So that works really well with, with Pulverize, to be honest. 
Uh, let's let's quickly put on some some new items that are just like look at that 923 chest, guys. A 923 chest now. Let's see. What what do I want on my chest? Oh no, actually I don't want a chest. That's my problem, right? No, I see. A 900 item power weapon. Cool. <laughs> Uh, 857 item power pants, 914 item power boots. Yeah. Oh, what, what do you want on your amulet? Oh, no, that's Banished Lord's Talisman, so that doesn't work as well. Okay, next one, Glacial, Glacial Fissure. Ring of Mendel, let's go, Thran. That's what you get for helping, you get cool things. That's my ult. Yes, this is my this is my ult. Uh, we're, by the way, guys, as I see how fast this goes, we should do the same for the other Necro. Okay, let's clear the whole dungeon before we get to the Beast of Eyes. That was just that was just brilliant. Now, on the way to the Beast of Eyes, let's clear the dungeon. Let's see. By the way, how much how much damage would I do now? Yeah, since my since my weapon is now nine hundred item power, right? Um. If you would let me currently in a tier 21 dungeon, I would I would just tear the tier 21 dungeon into pieces. That's the next level almost. He poked me. Mom, mom. He poked me. Ow. Ow. Stop hunting me. The amount of drops you're getting here is also crazy. I mean, I, I essentially get like a whole whole endgame gear just from just from going through the nightmare dungeon, right? Okay, almost another level, ladies and gentlemen. Another ring. Why have you chosen to forego codex aspects? What do you mean? Why why don't I have everything enchanted? What for? I mean, I'll, I'll be having in a second, I'll be having a full equipment. It's, it's just not necessary for any stage of the game. Insatiable Fury! Oh, it's it! It's it, chat! It's it! Give me a good roll. Okay, that's 40%, 10%, 10%. I need a better one. No, it's 123% overpower damage. Let's go. Woo! Okay, more though, more. Uh, by the way, San, I went for your Zion Horror. That was, that was one aspect I went for from the very beginning. Do I upgrade this to the max already, just to be... Need something okay, let's see, is there anything else that's better than what I have? The chests all don't matter, the weapons all don't matter as well, unless I find a better weapon. For the gloves, so what, what, do I, what do I want on my gloves now? I guess ranks to pulverize, right? So I fi finally need to start looking for gloves that actually... Oh, I got them. Attack speed, critical strike chance, lucky hit chance, ranks to pulverize. Wow, you're almost perfect. <laughs> well, well, uh, oh, nice. You know? Not, not bad. I mean, they have all stats, willpower, dot chance, and spirit cost reduction, which is actually perfect. And they have damage from earth skills, slows enemies. Wait, these are the perfect boots. What plus two of eight charges as well? They're the perfect boots. Why? Why do I? Why do I find an absolute S tier item? Like what? 
can't you can't just hand me like the, the, what <laughs> I, I mean that that's 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 like sure we'll take it you know no no offense but We must be on the boots. Yeah, I guess that would be nice, but I'm fine with not having it. Like, I can't have everything. Oh, well, that's another shockwave ring. Pulverize creates shockwaves that travels forward. Yeah, thank you. Almost 100% roll. Thank you. Love to see it. Uh, let me upgrade my mother's embrace because I'll, I'll probably use this for a while now. My ma main reason to upgrade mother's embrace because it already does plus uh, 800, 600 life. Look at me. I'm suddenly at 4,000 life. Okay, Glacial Fissure, the next one. I was not aware that the chest had 123% overpower damage plus. What? Okay, by the way, we set level 70, huh? But right now it looks like that level 80 that we're talking about doesn't even seem that impossible. Yeah, that was. I'm. I'm just. I'm just. Uh... Oh wow! You put on the druid ring, didn't you? You put on the druid ring, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, this is this is a nasty way to level. I, like, did I just get 100k overpower, Chan? Did I see that? Stupid. Once you get world tier four, things are getting out of out of out of touch, out of time. Advanced tooltip compare? No, I mostly don't do advanced tooltip compare because it's useless. So I know a lot of people like they still do this, but but most of the time it's just completely useless to compare items like like that. You know? Okay, that I'm I I am a little lucky bitch today, chat. And you know what? I take it. I take it and I'm fine. Like, like I, I'm allowed to be a lucky bitch every now and then. Yep, my, my overpowers are good. I like it. Is it possible to get Lilith from Obolts? No, sadly not. Okay, Blake, now I'll take it. I'll take it. Overpower on Glove? Yes, I, we could reroll Overpower on Glove. That would be worth it. Uh, I need the... What was the board called? I need the Ancestral Guidance Board. Oh, no! Team! A warrior has fallen in battle! The warrior has me have fallen in battle. Oh, shit. Okay, we're, we're almost like... After all of these, we're going to be 66 or 67. I mean, it's, it's going... It's going fast, man. It's going fast, man. Like, that 900 item power weapon is just a joke. By the way, I forget to upgrade my Dominate, I think, last turn. Gloves? What for gloves do Druids have? Okay, uh, Fist of Fate. Oh, that's Fist of Fate, but from... But the Druid version. Is the Druid version different than the... Than the... Different? Yeah, I was, I was confused for a second there. I am son. I mean, and this is not the only unique bosses we have ready, guys. We also have some some Zeers ready. Uh, we have some uh, like like if you if you look into my stash, John. So we also have some uh, Grigoire the Gavanic Saints. We get a bunch of Varshans. There's some Zeers. So we we got like here 16 living steel. That's another four. So we get a 20 living steel. And I think on my on my um. You have some Duriats as well. Yeah, Duriats I still do on my Necro. I don't think it makes sense to do Duriats um, on the Druid. Wow, that's a 921 stuff. What the toxic? I need a I need a mallet, right? We want to no. What what do we want? A uh a mace. Yes, I want a mace. 
Okay, uh, all stats, overpower damage. Wow, that's a lot of overpower damage. When I'll take it over those claws, even though it doesn't have ranks and pulverize right now. I cannot do that here. I need good rings. Overpower damage, physical damage. Yeah, that's great, actually. It's a good ring. So I'm, I'm still doing it on my Necro because I don't want any Uber Uniques on this character. Um, but yeah, it's that. Okay, how much overpower are we at right now? We're at a thousand overpower. Wow. Selig might be broken for the new Gauntlet thing. Yeah, I have Selig already, which makes me very happy. Okay, I don't think any one of us expected this quick of leveling, right? This is where the this is where the bonus item power and everything really comes in snugly smugly together and pushes us beyond belief. By the way, how did you like our recent thumbnails, Chad? The druid related thumbnails. Been we've been trying to you no, know, oh, that's an 80,000. I like it. I think if I have my overpower, if I have my things full, you have three and a half thousand on druid. Hmm. That was Shaco. I don't think Shaco pushes you overpower much, right? Over like like itself. I mean on, on Necro everything up to four thousand is possible. I'm not gonna say easy, but possible. Did I accidentally disenchant my ring that I just I just accidentally disenchanted the ring I had. Didn't I mark it? No, I, I have it in my equipment. Oh god Jesus, I thought I I thought I accidentally destroyed that. Like an absolute idiot. I'm just getting leveled without even noticing. <laughs> Can I say? I need a two handed maze. I wasn't aware that mazes from Druids give you like so much overpower. And like 105% overpower plus from just a weapon is something. Is a hammer a maze or is a hammer a hammer? Hammer's a maze, right? And that is 65. Jesus. How many more did I have? Dude, I have two more. I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm almost going to be 70, Chad. What? When stuff not maze, well, but, but I want overpower. No chat is saying stuff because of the damage to crowd controlled enemies, but I'm not sure. I mean, this has overpower damage with werebear skills, willpower, and ultimate skill damage. Ultimate skill damage being useless here. Oh, pens. Which pens are dropping? Storm's companion. Your wolf companions are infused with the power of the storm, dealing lightning damage and getting storm howl ability. Cool. A max roll. Almost a max roll. No, actually, it's a very good roll. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Why would I not want the maximum overpower damage? That's like crazy. I mean, I want the maximum item level anyways. Oh wait, don't don't forget to upgrade your glyph. When alone from this dungeon, I almost have one glyph max leveled. <laughs> Only th annoying thing now is that items you get from leveling now are useless. No, that's not annoying. That's fantastic. Because who, like, let's be honest, Chan. Waxing Gibbous. Who wants to look all the time at their equipment? I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I, I genuinely can't be asked to look at my equipment. I, I just I just want to I just want to play the game and level up right now. So if I if I can get a very good weapon currently, and then I don't ever have to look at my equipment ever again, then you know what? Count me count me lucky and very happy because I don't have to look at my equipment ever again.
Okay, two more fissures. That should bring us to 67, maybe 68. Thank you, by the way, for everyone helping. I hope you're getting good items. The game still needs loot filter. Oh, absolutely. I'm first. Let me do it. I, I can I can beat him. I don't even have spirit. Oh, well, that's 100k. If we got some elites, sir. They're behind me. Ah! Turn around. Please. They hate me. So why do we need the level 80 now? That, so I can put on the Banished Lord's Talisman. If I manage to get level 80 today, we could make an endgame build work, Chan. That, that would make me just beyond happy if we actually get to that point already. Straight up endgame build work. Oh, he pooped on me. Sorry, did not expect the guy to just land on my head and kill me ASAP. So you can get overpower, overpower and werebear form, correct? On one item. Do, do I do I see that the right way? That I can get both of these together? Because this one has overpower damage with werebear skills. But can I get like I can get that together? Wow. The rolls. Sixty six. Almost there, Chan. Almost there. Seventy was the goal for today, and we're just really moving. Are we find fun playing Druid? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is right now, obviously, the fast track for, for just getting, like, the uniques I need. When I need uh, Insatiable Fury, and that that's it. This was actually the only unique I needed because the rest I have in my backpack. When I mean, the only thing I could need is a better roll Insatiable Fury, I guess. Oh, chest armor. Talk, just talk about the devil, Chad. Okay, let's see. That is less overpower damage. But more physical damage in general. Uh, that is the perfect armor roll. But less damage reduction while fortified. So I guess my current one is better. I just hit level 50. Nightmare Dungeon Tier 3. The best to level 55. So I get my glyphs. No, Ozen. You get your glyphs also in the overworld. So if you just play the game, glyphs drop everywhere. Okay. Okay. Now let me quickly run for the toilet before we continue because I really need to pee pee. And I didn't want to pee pee in my panties. I don't really know what items to look for with Druid, I'm honest with you. Everything is a little bit. No, I, I just I just what means items? Like I don't know if if something is good, right? Like, is this a good glove? Is this a good piece of pants? Is this? Oh, that's maximum minion life. I'll take that. Also, you get a good feeling for it, but still, it's a lot where where I'm just guessing if if things are things are now decent or horrible. Okay, uh, now let me run to the toilet and then we can, then we can go. You're back, chat. Need, need a pee pee.
You have made a mistake in crossing me. Aid would be welcome. Hi. You were comparing a 5.5 five upgraded against a 1.5 upgraded. No, I wasn't comparing a 5.5 five upgraded versus a 1.1 one one upgraded. I was looking at the min rolls and the max rolls. That's the big difference. So when I was looking at the new Insatiable Fury, I was looking at if it was at a 20% roll or if it was a 100% roll. When it comes down to the values, Clay, that's what you look at. So if I already have the maximum amount of overpower damage and the one has the lower on overpower damage, even if I upgrade it five times, it's still lower, right? So yeah, that's that's how it goes. Makes sense. The pants you get rid of, you're good. I'm gonna be using T Ball's will. So uh pants don't matter. Because T Ball's will. Okay, that's going to be spending 75 spirit. You deal 30% increased damage. That's actually really cool, to be honest. Because if you have like three overpower saved up, that's going to be quite, quite the overpower slammer jammer that you can deal. Ha, huh, 114. Let's go. How many like skills in... Sixty-seven is possible. Ah, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen, level sixty-seven has been achieved. Almost two hundred k over power hit. Like to see it. So I guess what the plan is with with this, it's always to do overpower, like pulverize. Pull. No, no, no! Come, 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 come. More things to kill. And now, now we can go. Don't want to waste our, our good opportunities, right? So, Nukem, uh, you're currently getting 35% bonus XP, so it should be rather easy to, to get things max leveled, right? Ow! Show me show me where the bad guy hit you. Oh, no. You just smashed me to smithereens. Well, that's another, that's another ring. Oh, Hunter Zenith! 
Wait, isn't this gain, gain a bonus when you kill a shape shifting skill? A uh, worry next roll skill will heal you. This hunter's then is good, but that's a low roll. That's, that's, a, that's the lowest low roll, but I guess having is having. You know? Here he's sharing. We'll take it. Thank you, lads, for the for the very easy level level thing here. Okay. Oh, Zenos goes here. Now let me see. What do we have? Helmets don't matter because helmet is going to be God Slayer. Boots, we get the perfect roll. My boots, we literally have the perfect, the perfect boots right now. It was, this is like crazy to me. That is a better stuff. I mean, that's 921. That's 921. This damage over time over. This is near this. They had the over time. I cannot sell this that. Okay, that's good boots boots helmet uh now we get a decent ring also we kind of have to just re-roll this ring it has like overpower damage physical damage and damage to injured if i re-roll the damage to injured into max life that would be good right hmm. no strike damage and take that and I really do want max life. I don't have the money to waste. Just give me my roll. <laughs> Listen, Chan. I don't have money to waste. Just give me my roll I'm looking for. Come on now. Do I, do I look like I can afford this? Do I look like I can afford this? I can't. This is bad. Me no, me no able to afford this. Can we rip that one out? Okay, can I can I take this stuff? Ultimate skill damage, lightning, critical strike damage. That gets rerolled to all stats currently. Okay, that one stays. And I can right now again. Here, pulverize creates a shockwave. Yeah. Am I, am I good now, Chan? Am I good now? That seems like a decent weapon, Ryan. What should I build my neglected Necro into? I got eight spells, banish Lord's figure stab in my st in my stash for level eighty. Move face. Oh, you can make the Giga Dot Necro. I mean, you can start with Giga Dot without Litless and then upgrade into Litless in the long run. Okay, I am I am vastly powerful entity now. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is tank. So like, I still have to decide if I actually want to play the umbral, if I want to play double rings or not. If I want to play uh, the mother's embrace or not. I do like the mother's embrace. I see like I don't see where the umbral ring. So so like right, we can take the umbral ring to give us resource, guys. So the question is, what's better, using the umbral ring to get resource? Or using Mother's Embrace to not spend resource. Also, do, do do I get my resistances up or do I have to literally take care of resistances the old school way? I don't know. I hope I don't have to. Right now I need leveled. So how do I get levels the fastest currently? I don't want to hang out in a hell tide no more. There's a world boss coming. I'm probably here. And I should probably try to do a, a like a nightmare dungeon solo chat. Let me try to 
Well, can I can I do a tier thirty one alone? Uh, is that crazy? Not well, I'm in I feel like this is gonna this is gonna not not work. It's gonna definitely go bad. It's a level sixty seven. I mean, who knows, right? You're liking HP? Hmm. I mean, I get 5.5k. That's pretty good. And damage, damage is there. The, the problem is, I think, not the HP. It's more the resistances that I don't have. Mother's Embrace is just working so well. It's nasty. <laughs> oh, I don't have the tectonic aspect running right now. Chad, I'm nasty. Just saying. Like this this is this is nasty, right? So what what we're missing is the tectonic aspect where where we do the 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 Urzine horror thingy yeah for fat slow bear i mean first and foremost heavy boned i mean come on this is this is nasty chan what well good night there old prince Penelope, howdy. I mean, this is this is literally what happens when you get a 925 weapon, right? Oh, that, okay, that I accept that that was a little bit greedy of running in there, and and they were fire enchanted and everything. So obviously, this would go bad for me. How are we liking Mother's Embrace though, Chan? Because right now I'm getting like so much essence back on, on my hit of... Uh... Oh, what? What just what? <laughs> okay. It's fun because this is like very unoptimized, right? The Paragon board is shoddy. Um, the equipment is also not like, like end tier equipment that we could be getting. So it's all like, like a little bit stitched together, a little bit Frankenstein and Rooney. And we're, we're still doing this though. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Too many. Too, too, too many elites can't like I, I think the problem is the suppressor to be honest the problem is just the suppressor I'll ignore these and go to the next Umbral plus quicksand is better. I mean, we have quicksand, damage, earth skills, slow enemies hit by uh, 50%. So I think I, I know where you're saying Umbral plus quicksand would be better. But only if we would have a Umbral max. Or, oh my goodness, how many elites is that? The question is, could I play Umbral, quicksand, and... Uh, and mother said, oh God, Jesus Christ, I can't. That's, that's, that's many. That's many. 
So could we could we play the muzzle embrace together with umbral? Which aspect would I lose then? Then I would lose retaliation. Uh retaliation is good. Your core skills deal increased damage based on your amount of fortify. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of good. Like the 40% more damage based on fortify is kind of like something you actually want to have. Hmm. Go Ring of Starless Guys over Umbral. Yeah, yeah, because I have three just lying around. And I just I just enjoy using Mother's Embrace and being able to just finally yeet um overpowers in because, because usually you're not able to do this, right? Usually, usually you always reach the point. Where you can't actually yeet over powers in but right now we can just go like we can actually spam our we can spam our overpowers chat when's the last time we were able to do that of literally spam our overpowers yeah I know this is this is plenty nice. Ah, he explodes, I die. <laughs> this dungeon, this dungeon is quite perfect though for this build, right? Because you're you're just like it's it's literally always a corridor, and you're just always sending your abilities down a corridor. It's like there there they could could not be better. Oh god no. Oh what? What just happened? <laughs> there was 300k Chan. There was three. There was 300k. Well, I'll be damned. When I'm, I'm just, I'm just astounded, like how, how, how good this feels at this level already. Did they already fix the, um, the XP? Yes, it still shows the wrong tooltip because for some reason, and don't ask me why, they created a tooltip with 25%, even though it was advertised as 35%. So, so like, don't ask me why this tool. T oh shit, shit, shit. Oh no, 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 no! That was that's a mistake. That's a mistake. No, 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 no. I'm like trying to get him to to be oh what would just happen to be pulled into the other guys so I could I could just utilize my my more um oh wow that was a lot of overpower on him I'm, I'm trying to like he he's supposed to come here so I can like get all of these and then I can use my yes yes that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about get pooped on okay we ladies and gentlemen the xp fast track i could be reaching 80 today right holy well i'll be i'll be damned <laughs> So like we we essentially went like from here to like this is working to what the f break right okay now we still have to figure out perfect gloves I need gloves that have overrise on them correct <sighs> overrise and overpower 
is what we want. But what, what do we want on the amulet? Oh, Banish Lord Talisman again. Jesus. Like, I keep I keep repeating myself, right? Idiot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do another 31. I guess I, I wasn't I wasn't ready to drop a guide tomorrow, but I think if I consolidate my gains, you know, if I if I look at my gains uh, overnight and like try to understand what I all did and everything, I, I guess we could be dropping a proper guide tomorrow. Using the start necro, uh, Midori, I would use the next necro. We actually made a new necro in case you missed it. Uh, like a non-blood surge summoner. That's even faster with leveling. That's actually my, so in case you haven't seen this yet, I can show you really quickly. Uh, we actually have another, another level necro. Yes, I will level another necro. So this is my Dread, right? Level 68. But we also have another necro and this is here my level 61 necro and he's blood surge only. And he is incredibly powerful. Like, like it's, it's stupid how powerful you are. Okay, so what are we doing now, guys? Further, further nightmare dungeon pushing? Do we, do we do some more Uber bosses? Like, do I, do I need to do Varshans? I guess we'll do Varshans with the community in a bit too. Uh, what, what other carrion feels this shitty? Buried halls, yellow halls, vigil, vigil, renegades retreat, crusaders cathedral. Cathedra's Cathedral should be absolutely ass. Let's try. But I'm trying to find like dungeons that have a high pack density and everything standing together. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I am so smart. I have a, my brain is gigantic. Why? <laughs> Why? Give me a second. I mean, step one, we got to enchant your Zine horror, right? Step two is, do you think I really need a two-handed weapon for this build or could a one-handed weapon work? Because right now, a two-handed weapon gives me the big, biggest, bestest crit possible, right? My problem is with a two-handed weapon that I cannot use the amount of aspects that I would like to use. Because we do have your Zine horror going on, right? And I think you you should you do want to play yours in horror because it's too good. But my my thought is right now, like I would like to play um aspect of retaliation, right? But I don't want to let go of the mother's embrace. I love the mother's embrace too much. So with the two-handed weapon, you could essentially do more damage, but you would do less damage overall, but at least in well. It's it's a it's a hard like pick because Mother's Embrace is like useless and useless. Oh wow, Mother's Embrace is useless versus bosses. That's where I have like a hard time with mothers. <laughs> Out of my way, man's busy. Do I not have a potion running right now? So that that's like that's my that's my issue with Mother's Embrace. It's like really good for dungeon pushing here right now. But if I fight a boss, it's essentially useless. So by the way, how how are we keeping now our essence up so good? How how do I have infinite essence? Well, that's now the umbral aspect, and my earth skills are actually um slowing enemies. So and if my earth skills slow enemies, well what happens is that um, I get one essence back for the slow. Was that just a 900k crit or did I just see that? And then when I'm hitting four or more enemies, I'm actually getting my essence refunded, right? So that, that is working out extremely awesome. I tried the Mendel and Summoner build. It's fun. Final boss, but it's not Giga Dot. Yes, Giga Dot is just something right now we, we truly made a monster there <laughs> holy balls you know what i always thought druid was boring to play 
You know one you know who's boring? Me. I'm boring because I didn't play Druid before. I de I definitely made the right choice. I definitely made the right call of giving Druid a try. <laughs> oh one million! Chad! Yes! Yes! That's what I wanna see. I'm I'm clucking I'm clucking level level sixty-eight. Chan. Why why am I doing one million? What is this? You see me use a basic attack for all the time you didn't right because we're actually not we're just we're just regaining we're just regaining spirit over stunning taunting and and whatsoevering people you know we're, we're, we're just not having to use our basic skills essentially First, the first enemy that's actually there. Oh, get pooped on, like seriously. Thank you, <sighs> I'd be dead. I am son. Like that's that's something. Now we're getting more core skill damage, Chan. Also. With this, with this paragon, with this paragon thingy, we get more core skill damage. Holy, holy balls. And like, okay, think about this, guys. We have an umbral aspect that gives us one to four essence back. Name of the game, this is Diablo 4. But one to four essence, guys. We're getting one essence back right now. Okay, we have the we have the weakest version of this aspect possible. And we are essentially already endlessly essencing. This is this is where this is like crazy to me. Right, this this is the the weakest the weakest role we could possibly have. And yet it's uh it's doing this. How far does this wave go? <laughs> you know what? That's what the enemies are asking themselves too, my friend. I mean the way the wave just goes. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> Whatever, I guess, right? Like, it's, it's a big fucking whatever. So what else would it be? <laughs> okay, well, you know, I, I thought bosses could be an issue. Now, what's an issue? Lack of imagination for me. That's an issue. this <laughs> I just I just don't believe how how efficient this is at this level like what what is this I, I feel like you're not supposed to be this efficient it feels like kind of unfair 
So like, and, and now you might understand why I have such a hard time thinking about giving this ring away. Mother's Embrace seems just too good to, to genuinely put away, even though it's not good against bosses. So I feel like I should always have a Mother's Embrace with me until I fight a boss. And then as I fight a boss, maybe swap the Mother's Embrace out for a different ring. What, 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 do, you, what do you think? Could that could that be making sense, Chad? That looks warm. I, can fix it. I need to cleanse the divinity away. Wait a second. That, that could that could be that could be something, couldn't it? Okay, wait, we have to still check for glyphs. This one needs to be exploit usually, and this one needs to be outmatch. Do I have outmatch yet? Werebear, tracker, outmatch. So outmatch is really good. Outmatch gives you damage to non-elites and bosses, which kind of makes no, like, really? Non-elites and bosses? Okay. okay, I wanted to say, like, maybe Druid is not so good for the Abattoir of Zir, but seeing what I'm doing here right now and, like, kind of imagining what, what is possible, uh, you know what, like, hmm, <laughs> hmm. I'd have to revise my opinion. Ring of Unrelenting Fury could try this aspect. Killing an enemy or hitting a boss with a core scale refunds. 70% of its base fury cost can only happen once per skill. That's a barbarian thingy. I mean, thank you. Thank you, Xanderkin. It's a barbarian thingy. <laughs> Before we do anything, chat, the most important thing first now that I haven't actually done. How are we going to look? I feel like Barbarian is in a little bit in an unthankful position that you kind of have to choose like... I want the nails. Bro. <laughs> yes. Yes. Give me more. But I want to look. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Yes, the golden giant, Chan. Yes, yes. And we need something that looks that looks absolutely menacing for this now. Oh, actually, that that is exactly what you want. Like, yes, yes. That's that's me, Chan. That's me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Buried Halds. Flood, flood of Depth. Yes. Oh, I can't do Flood of Depth. Yes. No. Sanguine Chapel. Isn't Sanguine Chapel like super easy? I mean, let's do a tier 34 hot shot. <laughs> Sandra Kid, don't you worry. Whew. I, I really like that look. His desk got raised by a few inches. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no! What? Yes! Yes! Hi. Uh. I mean, is it, is it just like, do I just have to do harder Nightmare Dungeons? Is 34 too low level for me? I was assuming that I'm already pushing it by going for 34. You just have to do higher, is, is that is that it? 
Is that my problem? Am I doing too low Nightmare Dungeons? I'm a one button druid, by the way, Chad. I'm, I'm literally not using any other skill right now. Oh yeah, please, please let me, let me go here on this side. Because I'm like, I need to try to get like four enemies to shoot through, you know? So, so like if I, if I'm not shooting through four enemies, then I'm, uh, I'm not getting the most out of, oh, ow, poops, he poops on me. I had no idea Varshan actually had faces when my Barpy just died in two hits. There is a lot of things you miss out on when you're too powerful in this game. Yes. Uh, possible to do the world tier 4 dungeon with level 60. I did it with 56. Uh, with 60. Kelly. With 60, you need to do that dungeon. The latest you're supposed to do that dungeon is, is well, si yeah, 60. I mean, that that's supposed to, like, from, from my from my metric that I put down to dungeon per, 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 you know. I always forget that the actual ultimate gives me also bonus damage. Like, I kind of treat the ultimate only as, um, like, bonus unstoppable, right? But I don't treat it as, like, actually getting bonus damage. Yeah, with, with Pulverized Druid, I can go harder dungeons. I am, I am, like, just, I'm just blown away. What's the hardest dungeon you think we could do right now? I mean, I still, I still, like, I do enough damage, but I still die to environmental shenanigans, right? If there's too many units and if they have too fancy abilities, um, I might just die. But, like, for my damage output, I can, I can do things. Fifty. Okay, we can craft. Does, does someone does someone have a 50 he can open for me so I don't have to craft it? I can craft a 50 though. No problem. Man, I said 80 today. 80 today, Chan. I mean, if I if I continue farming like this, then 80 is like more than possible, huh? It was a joke, kind of. How does Pulverize create a wave? Uh, it is an aspect here. Pulverize creates a shockwave that travels forward. And if you put it on your 200... Uh, if you put it on your two-handed weapon, that's 200% damage. Right? And the shockwave that goes forward, as far as I understand this one here, um, can does overpower. So what you're essentially doing is you're making a shockwave that does 200% damage, that does 200% damage of your overpower damage. And that's also how this damage actually comes together, why we're doing so much damage, because we're essentially like using this aspect together with the wave then to to like create this, this crazy amount of overpower damage. Well, as you see, the wave just keeps on going. You know? And the very intricate detail about this build is right now, you're using a Ring of the Umbral, which gives you essence or spirit on crowd control, okay? But at the same time as you're getting spirit on crowd control, which is now the interesting part, uh, all your earth skills you're using, and well, Pulverize in this case is an earth skill, uh, crowd control the enemy. So damage from Earth Skill slows enemies. And whenever you slow an enemy, you get Essence. And whenever I hit four or more enemies, I get 30% Essence back. So if I hit 10 enemies, I instantly get 10 Essence back for doing things. Then I instantly get 30% of my 33 back. So another 10, uh, which brings me to 20 Essence per skill that I actually just get back. And that's the low roll. If I had a four roll right now, I would essentially just not run out of spirit ever. You know, so so this is like the this is even the the, the weak version of this. But we're not done here. This is this is like this we're not done. What also happens is that pulverize is now also an earth skill. Earth skill. And after casting pulverize, tectonic spikes continuously deal damage below. These 
tectonic spikes uh, should also be able to overpower, I guess. But yeah, that's where things are coming together, you know? Oh wow, I finally have to attack. You heard me. Dot work without X files? Yes, absolutely. But as long, if you don't have X files yet, you would tag Giga Dot into damage over time uh, instead of the crit damage because the crit damage wouldn't do so good, right? So Shockwave is not from the Codex of Powers, exactly. Exactly. Shockwave is uh, not uh, from the Codex of Powers. And kill? What, what do you want from me? I'm currently zooming. I'm just flying alone. What do you want from me? Your score, core skill, and this one here. This is the... See, this skill. Now, imagine all the damage we're doing, chat. Okay? All the damage we're doing. And then times 40%. Ah, I had you in my dungeon. Well, th thank you. Thank you, sir. Cannot do that here. Need to try to buy a better umbral. Companion, companion, injured, poisoning. Oh shit. Oh, that makes me wonder. I need I still need better gloves, right, Chan? Yeah, I still need better gloves. Come back if you need work. What if it's sending me a message? Give me a second. Level 50 Suppressor, 47 Drifting Shade, 50 Poison. Uh, give me the um, Drifting Shade one. 47 Drifting Shade. We'll try that one out. Uh, give me... Nah, Poison. Give me the Poison. Poison. Give it to me. No, okay. I'll, I'll take the... I'll take this. Oh, right, it's Carrion Fields. No, Carrion Fields is horrible. No, Carrion Fields is okay. Wait. Tank is built to level with on hardcore with a Necro Blood Surge. Still Blood Surge. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with level 70, a tier 47 dungeon should work out, right? Oh, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I just need a better umbral. That, that we're just dealing 900k damage just has me has me still in shambles. How how are we dealing a million crits right now? I guess 200 percent um 200 percent bonus damage helps, right? Let's kill these just for experience right now. God damn it. 
they're just getting pooped on chat. I mean, seriously. Well, I am very happy that chat forced me to literally try out a different class because I, I'm, I'm sometimes it takes a while until I try something new out, right? But that this is just this is just straight up brilliant. A well boss in 13 minutes. Yeah, we definitely have to go for that. Thank you for reminding me. So would you would you consider playing Druid yourself after seeing this, Chad? Considering that getting the pieces together is quite simple. Damn. It's just kind of sad how how weak Druid is to level until you get here. But I have to say, I think I made a mistake on the Druid leveling because we could have equipped the Umbral Aspect from the very beginning on. So that, that got to be sure, right? We could have equipped the Umbral Aspect from the very beginning on. Um, that, that's something where we definitely made a mistake that we just didn't simply equip it from the very beginning on. Uh, using horror, you can get also from the thingy. Can you get, can you get the slow? You know? Also from the, from the Codex of Powers. I don't know that. Ah, uh, you are here. I'm wondering why no one is taking damage. And I was just like trying to figure out where the dude is that's preventing them all from taking damage okay please sirs and mams everyone calm down stop the fuck fucking around I need time to do that. <laughs> I was just fun funneling them into the into their death okay we got another two hours chat I was actually not planning to play Diablo this much today. But I will have to admit that I'm just having way too much fun. Right now. I want to see how high we can push this currently. I mean, this is a... This is a tier 47 dungeon right now, correct? That means next stop is tier 50, right? No, 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 no. I need to start doing my abilities though, Chan. Because the thing is, I, I'm just not making them vulnerable the whole time. <sighs> I'm, I'm just not getting over it. I'm, I'm genuinely, like, I'm just genuinely shook. And I'm just not getting over it. What a, what a difference, like, just, just an aspect of one item made. From, from like, from, like, clunky to play to, to what the hell. Okay, let's say two, two aspects, okay? I mean, I still had fun leveling it. That's that's the most important point, right? So I did have big fun leveling this, but now that I have reached like the OP turning point, like I have even more fun, but I enjoyed the base already. Like, so I enjoyed the weak version because I knew what, what essentially could be possible. I just simply didn't expect to be, be it like this, you know? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I knew what was possible. I knew what could happen, like how, how good this could go, but in no, in no way did I expect this. If I'm honest with you. Which aspect? So the aspect was the quicksand aspect for so slowing. Then you need Yours in Horror, but Yours in Horror you can get from the Codex of Powers. That is for transforming Pulverize into an Earth skill. And then you need the Shockwave plus the Umbral. And that kind of is like the base set of this. 
that truly transformed this into the powerhouse it is right now. You want to know an interesting part against this boss, guys? His, um... His bones that he makes there, they count as minions. So if I have to hit four or more targets to get Essence refunded, like, like, like back there, you know? If I want to get Essence refunded for my... For my mother's embrace. That's counting here. No, this counts as four or more enemies. Okay, the boss takes a little bit longer. But not 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 like worrisome longer, right? I mean this took a little bit longer now, but not to the point where you like. Okay, we need exploit as well. Uh, you don't have T-Bolts or Metamorphosis yet either, right? Should get even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, one thing we don't have yet, Chad. Chad, one thing we don't have yet. Listen. Listen. Well, boss, thank you. We do not have T-Bolts will yet on, but we also don't have Metamorphosis Vampiric Power on... Oh, that that is... We don't have the uh, Metamorphosis Vampiric Power that we're essentially planning to play. Umbral. 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 Umbral? So there is, there's still like so much, so much headroom. I don't think I can find better boots, Chan. This is spirit cost reduction, dodge chance, willpower, and all stats. I guess I could reroll the dodge chance into movement speed potentially, but I don't think I need that. I could reroll that into resistance. You get Umbral in your codex? I have Umbral for my codex, but it's the lowest low roll Umbral, obviously. Lose no rule. Is pulverize the best druid build? No, I think storm claw. Storm claw is actually better, but I just don't enjoy that playstyle. It's it's right now for me personally down to just a simple playstyle decision. I really I really like the the essence refund kind of shenanigans. Uh, but if you have like storm claw and you can essentially run around with infinite essence and mostly have like your basic attacks do your damage and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that that's like no matter no matter how fancy I get my essence refunding roll in right if you get a build that doesn't really rely much on essence that that's always going to be better okay overworld is just a joke or what now and I didn't expect to with level 70 to break the game efficiently Why did no one tell me? Chad, why did you keep this from me all the time? Like I feel like this has been just waiting for me to play. And you've been you've been just literally keeping this secret. You've been like keeping this hidden from me. Why why did why did no one of you ever tell me that that like I should do this? It's like exactly my playstyle. I mentioned Druid lots of time now, you weren't loud enough. Well, Druid just went from a class that I don't pay any attention to, to my second most fun class to play. Still prefer Necro more. It's just brutal. It's just, it's just brutal. I want to farm a... What was it called again? I want to farm a Helltide with this. Like, considering, like, my, my Essence reproduction that I currently have running. And as you can see, like, I'm, I'm essentially, I have unlimited spirit. 
more or less. And if I run out, I just press that button. Right? But now I'm just walking around here and they're, they're like... And if the bosses come... I mean, seriously, what is this, Chan? What, what, what is this? Why don't you get Spear of Lakanda? I'm not playing Spear of Lakanda in this. That's not the plan. So, the, like, this is this is actually this is the build already. Uh, the thing I'm missing is T-Bolt's Will, Godslayer Helmet, and the Banished Lord's Talisman to to higher my damage ceiling, and that's why I want to get like level 80 really quick right now, so I can put on all these items because then we can I can already show you like the absolute end game ceiling of this build, right? One thing Druid has over Barbie is the fact that it sends the shockwave. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, right now I have to say this is really nice. If you have an enemy that does elemental damage, you just essentially nuke him. My question rather is, how do you get your resistances up as a Druid, Chad? How do I get my resistances higher? Do I, do I literally have to start getting the stats on items? That's what I have to start doing, or... What are we looking at here right now? Hello. I still need better gloves. That's the only thing that's kind of missing. So double resistance boots. Yeah, because my resistances are ass right now, right? We can see this. I mean, I got a lightning resistance amulet. I got a shadow resistance here. So we get like lightning and shadow is kind of like nice. And then we get an all resistance amulet as well that we can upgrade. Yeah, change gems and your jewelry probably. I mean, I'm good with 10,000 armor currently because I'm essentially right at the armor cap, which is kind of crazy. I mean, total armor while in werebear form, that is so stupid. Why can I get so much bonus armor in werebear form that, that has to has to be in shambles? Uh, is there a lot of resistance you pick up with a druid in the paragon board, maybe? That's my question. Yep. Turn on board and assume that. Okay, now I just need to find out which is the best weapon. I mean, right now we get willpower, all stats, and ultimate skill damage. But the problem is ultimate skill damage doesn't scale anything for me. So that stat is completely useless. But we got 126 willpower as well, which is kind of nice because that increases my overpower damage even more. Okay, triple rest boots. Yeah, I do like these boots, guys. This is all stats, willpower, and spirit reduction. I can reroll the dodge chance into... I can reroll the dodge chance, I guess. Do something else. That would be fine. Oh, I got four exquisite blood for this. By the way, I see where people have been saying now that the druid ring is not viable for this. Yes, I'm with you. I just simply don't see how I could play the Druid Ring. 925. Uh, that is overpower damage. But is that a one-handed weapon? Damage to close, damage to distant enemies. There's a multiplier. I'm not sure if we're playing that. And I'm also not sure how good this Paragon board is because that's where this is where I will have to deep dive for this build still because I don't trust uh, your earth skills deal 10 times increased critical strike damage and increase by 20% of your damage versus crowd control bonus up to 40% uh, I see that's why you want damage versus CC okay Damage while injured also in Druid, not on Overpowered Druid. Overpowered Druid is literally, like, not able to do that because you are, matter of fact, 
needing to have maximum HP for overpower. Wait, I have all vampiric powers leveled up? Chat, I have all vampiric powers fully upgraded already. What the fuck? I mean, I'm still missing the vampiric power. Wow. That's, that's nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess let's keep uh, pushing. When, when is the Helltide? Starts in 27 minutes. So we're going to start a Helltide in 27 minutes, Chad. Uh, I need a the highest dungeon I can do. No, I, I want to do a 50 plus. I mean, we did that 47 like there was no tomorrow, right? Y you need to be healthy, you know? So the thing is, you can't be injured because if you're injured, you're losing your damage. Because overpower is your life times fortify into your damage, Okay. Uh, 51 to 16. Let's see. Oh, nice. Lights watch. Let's see where this is going, Chan. How fast can you finish the seasonal quest? Oh, super quick. Seasonal quest line is easy. Like you don't, you don't really have to do anything. I should probably just do the seasonal quest line right now. Correct, chat? Should we do it quickly? But I kind of want to do it on world tier four. So I want to kill, I want to kill Lord Zero on world tier four. That would be better, right? Okay, tier fifty-five at level seventy-one. <laughs> That's roughly up with the power level of what my Necro would do. You know. Depending on what Necro build I go for, that's that's a reasonable power level. Oh, ow. Ow. I got I got two two hurty. Monster bleat resist. Monster crowd control. Oh, monster crowd control resist. No! I'm cool. I need you crowd controlled for my Yeah, okay, the, the 55, I feel that enemies are just more sturdy in here. So they're they're harder to kill. Not not impossible to kill, right? But just just you notice that they're they're a bit tougher. Okay, that range is just not okay. <laughs> that range is just illegal, and I won't be told different, Chan. Okay, let me jump through them so I can I can hit through more enemies. Again, like the, the more enemies I hit through, the the better my, my essence regain is. Oh! <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. Remember to use the ultimate and defense skills for more damage. I, I need to remember to actually use my defense skills for defense. Because I often just randomly use them. And not when it's appropriate. Gosh darn it. Oh, did you just fully heal? Let me let me get a little bit more friends together here. He's sending me, Chan. Who's sending me? Problem is his lightning thing is just heal him up. Uh Dominate. Oh, <laughs> 
triple overpower saved up from blood boil from my ability and from my passive right that's the best part about druid if you can't if you can't beat something just just come back when you have the triple saved up right Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Please die. 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 Stop it. No. Die. Stop. Stop it. Stay there. No, stop attacking me. Stay in your stupid chest. Wait. And yes, this is cheat code, guys. When when you when you get a chest that is bugged like this, you you just you just. I mean, it's it's just so much experience, right? You need Vasilis. Um, no space. So like my 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 this this and this are fixed. I can I cannot change anything anymore. The only thing I could change is using a one-handed weapon instead of a two-handed weapon for one more aspect. That's the only thing I could do. And I'm not sure if that would be more damage. I'm not digging your your suppressor there. Yeah, out of my out of my way. Absolutely annoying. Stupid God damn it, docs. I have to say 55 is 55 is where I feel like that there there is there's a wall, you know? Mm, core skill damage, really? Oh wow, I did not expect to die that quick. Okay, 55 was something. I I'll accept it. You know? That means for farming, like, 47 was just better because it was just faster, I guess. I mean, like, it's good that we can do it, right? Anyone my level that wants to run with me through these dungeons, Chad? Anyone around level 70 that wants to join me? I guess I guess we could get another 5% XP, huh? To have or not to have? I'm just I need elemental resistances. I need I need I need all the elemental resistances. I just I just suffer from elemental damage. We're like tanky enough for everything, just the elemental kills us right now. When I could have also used my barrier. Okay, let's be let's be real. I could have also used my barrier. But I just died so fast that I didn't even have time to press that button. even uh is flickering step still buggy uh flicker step only reduces the um cooldown of your ultimate skill here's not broken gears heard so flicker step does not reduce your your normal cooldowns just in case you thought that was happening 
the misconception that a lot of people have. Great, great. I'm, I'm, I can't open the door because... Thank, thank you, Mob, for opening the door. I was trying to open that door. So, Flicker Step says ultimate skill cooldown. Um, and it also only works on on skills that actually, like, for example, on Grizzly Rage, it doesn't work as long as Grizzly Rage is active. So I can't reduce the Grizzly Rage cooldown, right? Kyle, we already did, like, how, how many bits of ice did we already do, Kyle, today? A couple. Don't want to don't want to steal your beast of eyes away. I mean, I, I guess I could need a higher roll in Sadiable Fury, but I almost have a perfect roll, so there's there's not there's not really much to improve at that point. I pooped on. Oh, another another fire enchanted. Dude, this this is what I really like about this druid. That worst case scenario, I can just go on the other side of the room, right? And then and then use my damage from back here to to still hurt him. And take care to destroy whatever it is that that is like what he's doing to me. Oh, that is lightning. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. 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 Stop it. No. <laughs> I was hoping to get it from there. Wow. This this one is atrocious. I mean, it's just normal Stormrain's Wrath, but for monster burning damage. Okay, I guess it's the monster burning damage. It's making me go crazy. Like, you're, you're supposed to not, not go in any damage over five seconds dungeon right now, Chan. Just as a disclaimer, do not go in any damage over five seconds dungeon currently, because damage over five seconds is heavily, heavily borked. It scales way too high and doesn't seem to work the way it is supposed to work. That was painful. It was painful. Is there a faster way to level up when period powers and spending? Well, so what you do is you like I level everything up. You click and then escape. You click and then escape. You click and then escape. So you essentially click escape spamming. That works so good. Click escape. Click escape. Click escape. Click escape. And you're just pop 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 pop. You're going through. That's the best thing I can tell you right now. What type of build are you using? Uh, we're using a overpower pulverize build. That's going for a lot of essence restoration. So I can essentially endlessly pulverize because usually you can't endlessly pulverize, right? The, the thing we're doing here by, by just keep on pulverizing, that's, that's usually not possible. Like you, you, after, after three pulverizes, you're out of, uh, essence. Um, and we are just keep pulverizing. The best part about the build is that we have the Paragon node that after spending 75 essence. Okay, guys. After spending 75 essence and we get, we get, uh, how much bonus damage? 
30% multiplicative bonus damage on everything we deal. And that's that's the funny part, right? So that was 75 essence, and I still have more. Right? All these all these follow-up overpowers, all the follow-up attacks, they actually get boosted vastly. So the more attacks we keep essentially attacking, the more the more things we keep thanging. The more damage we keep damaging. I don't know, what was, it, what was it, 30? But yeah. The reason you're not using Earth Spike, I prefer Wind Shear. That's, that, that's the reason I prefer Wind Shear. Personal preference. Oh, that's great. I love these shrines. I mean, as you notice, we're kind of not running out of essence, and that means that as long as we keep spending essence, we're we're essentially able to keep uh, like having our multiplicative bonus damage going on. And if we're now considering that the Abattoir of Zero is coming, and the Abattoir of Zero is an even more complicated dungeon, then it's actually fantastic what we're doing because we're completely we're completely like refunding our essence on at least four enemies hit, but if the Abattoir of Zero has more enemies that are sturdier, then we're essentially just getting to the point where we're perfectly unbeatable. Right? is just brilliant i can't wait i can't wait to show this to you chat the full breakdown and everything especially since i leveled this right azok thank you for the 35 centuries azok thanks for being the first sub in an hour or so appreciate it thank you very much for supporting the channel hope you're all doing well chat if you did bring a bonus prime gaming subscription do not forget to use it somewhere here right now thank you I'll take it. I'll take good care of it. Don't worry. Could you please stop doing lightning damage to me? Thank you. That would be very appreciated. Little shitters. You would think this gets boring, right, Sean? It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. You, you would think that after a while of just going around and overpowering everything, it, it gets boring. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't. Oh, wait. It, it, it doesn't. I'm going to I'm going to tech into resistances now. Definitely tech into resistances. Not a single tempest roar. Well, you don't want to hear that I found a tempest roar in the random in the random overworld micro. I'm so sorry, Swelch, Borko. Thank you very much for the subs. How are you doing, lads? If you get a chance to try out a tornado build, we will start a tornado build too, okay? We we'll, we will. We will definitely start a tornado build. But first, as well, and Burke Koma, welcome as the brand, two brand new subs. Thank you soon. Also, a happy Tuesday to all of you, Chad. I hope you have an exciting week ahead. I am very happy for my daughters because they have a birthday invitation. And it's actually my three-year-old's first birthday invitation. So it's going to be her first children's birthday she's officially invited to. Uh, because usually Ella always, like, my four-year-old gets invited, but she hasn't, like, like her, her friends haven't done, like, birthday parties yet. So, so Arya has been, like, always sitting out because, like, I can't just send her to birthday parties, right? So you can imagine she's excited because she finally can go with her older sister to, to a children's birthday party. Ow, 
Oh, what the toxic. Absolute shitter. Do they eat a lot of cake? They actually don't eat a lot of cake. There are no cake monsters, if I'm honest with you. They, they eat everything else, though, you know? One thing I have noticed, though, is I have to say, like, Ella was yesterday invited to a friend over to play, right? And I don't, it's, it's a, it's such a German thing because so my, my wife is, my wife is from, from Kazakhstan, but she's German, like Germans understand, right? But they still have like the Eastern European mindset, AKA if someone comes to your house, that person gets fed, right? Like the, the good old Eastern European mindset, someone, someone comes to your house, he gets fed no matter what. And, and now my, my daughter was at a friend's house yesterday, four year old, right? And they picked her up from kindergarten and, and like they, they didn't they didn't have a proper meal. So she gets picked up from, from 2 p.m. on from kindergarten to go play until 5.30. But you would assume that when they get picked up, right, together with the other daughter and that they would actually have a proper meal there at, at the other house, but they didn't. They didn't have a proper meal there. Like Ella came home and she was like, I'm hungry. Like, yeah, like, I see that, you know? Like, it's, 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 such a, it's such a typical German thing to not feed the children correctly. God damn it, Germans. I'm German myself. But how, how are you feeling about that? Have you experienced the same, guys? Have people been cheaping out? Yeah, every, every kid that comes to my house, this one, I, I told my wife I'd rather invite every child to me because I know, I know we're just taking care of the children, right? I, I, oh God, Jesus Christ, he's just nuking me. I know we're, we're just properly taking care. Of, we're, we're just making sure everyone gets fed. We're making sure everyone is happy, you know? And I just can't rely on other parents to do that, as it seems. It's like the minimal thing when you have children over, right? You feed them. Oh, Jesus. Holy Christ. Why am I dying to this so hard right now? I didn't die the first time. Druid? Yes, Druid. We're Druiding. I, I guess I, I'm not ready for his... Wait, do I have Shadow Resistance Potion? Ha! Shadow Resistance, Chan. We got this handled. He thinks he gets me. He doesn't. <laughs> he thought he had us, John. The only thing he's going to have is like shit in his. <laughs> well, okay, he killed me. Speed builds on this season are way too easy to play because of the healing vampire power. I mean, the healing vampire power helps tremendously to get you healed, but it only heals that much. And enemies also do tremendous amounts of damage. So, I mean, the healing vampire power is good, but what means too easy to play? This, this is what the season is there for, right? For, for very fast zooming. This is why you play season over... A shred. Strength in willpower. Lucky hit willpower all stats. Yeah. This is why you why you end of the day play season to to get to play all these OP things, right? Well, I guess at 47 so far, we have we've had the perfect the perfect level for a dungeon. I mean the first 47 we cleared was the perfect difficulty. So I guess 47 it is until we get to 80 and then on 80, we'll just go insane. Exactly. The whole point of the season is for them to break the game and, and make it possible for us to just like enjoy this. Oh, Helltide starts in four minutes, Chad. Helltide starts in four minutes that I can finally then try this in a Helltide. Can't wait. I mean, I already know it's going to be fantastic in a Helltide, but still. One thing I didn't think about, chat, but the debilitating roar is also crowd control. 
So that one gives me Umbral Essence back as well. Come on. Would you please walk up to me so I could just keep nuking you? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Everything destroyed. <laughs> speed run. I mean, Druid itself has a slow movement speed, but you can still speed through dungeons, huh? Okay, at least a little bit more elemental resistance chat because we've been suffering in the elemental resistance department. I hope you're happy. We've been we've been beefing up a little bit, so we so we're not that squishy. Stop making fun of me. Oh, deserted underpass. Fulminate. I still feel like you should have every glyph, Chad. I, I I literally don't know why we have to find every glyph again. It seems so weird to me. Just give me every glyph. What is, what is this like RNG until I have every glyph I need? Good dungeon. Now let's see how she feels now. Should have waited for the ad phase. I'm still like amazed by how much stagger we're dealing you know you're, you're just literally like perma staggering the opponent what the hell are you using the max roll guide no i have a different one from d4 builds but i'm already going to change quite some things about it when it's not it's not a bad guide that I I've, I've found uh, for to get an initial feeling for this, but I already have like a few tweaks and twerks and twiddle dds. So I would like to improve on it. Um, G4 builds is this one I've been using so far. There you go. But I'm already planning to improve it. Okay. Oh, doorbell, beer back. How do you guys get your uniques? I mean, I have... This is my second character, so I already have a bunch of uniques. Step number one. Uh, <laughs> step number two. Uh, like... 
do, do the bosses. I mean, Nightmare Dungeons for Distilled Fear. Uh, you know, Legion Events for Lord Zir. Helltides for Grigor the Gavanic Saint. Everything is just waiting for you. You just have to do it. No, I want to group up for health XP. Sure, sure, sure. I cannot do that here. That friend. Okay, how does Helltide feel now? Exactly how I imagine it would. Oh no, I shouldn't have gone over to your world state. It was a mistake. No, 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 all good, all good. This, this worked out. I think there's barely any minions spawning here in this one. Yep, this is how how I imagine this hell tie would go, John. Us essentially just one hitting everything. This is this is this is what I wanted. It's just like so it feels like that the attack is just unfair. If I'm honest with you. Because they're just all standing there, just one attack is gonna just, just zoom them all, right? We all know that. I'm not gonna waste my time with the Helltide Assassin. It's just like not okay on which range you're doing this. <laughs> oh, I can, I can just stand on Narnia and, and we're just fire that at them. <laughs> Did you held that in six minutes? I saw, I saw, don't worry. Hey, remember when we, when we joined the world tier? John? Remember when we joined the world tier and everything was like complicated? That was an hour ago. I mean, the crazy part is how we're like literally just just low level i mean we're just 73 but it already just feels this good and you know that you're only going to get stronger from this point on significantly stronger because we have like we have like no glyphs on level 15 yet so so that's a significant strength boost then you know that will just come you have like you have no gloves right I mean, your weapon is max level, so that's where nothing's going to come anymore. Uh, you got T-Bolt's Will. That's another 40% multiplier to everything ideal. You have the Godslayer Crown, which is another 60% multiplier to all the damage ideal. Uh, then you have the Banished Lord's Talisman, which is another 120% multiplier to every damage ideal. Plus the core skill damage ranks. That's just when I when I just generally think about like where 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 the... Where the ceiling is, where I can still go with this, uh, yeah. I need more time. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And what, 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 why is everyone hyping like Swark and and Barbarian and everything so much? 
when I just see what druid can do. I I've been missing the druid hype. Why is there no druid hype, Chan? Have I just been watching the wrong videos? Has there been druid hype the whole time? Did, did I did I just miss it? I'm gonna fo follow some more druid content creators. It seems. Yeah, but I just I just simply didn't like I didn't notice any hype. You know, you, usually it's kind of like you you get you kind of you kind of like people keep talking, right? People keep people, people be being happy, but. No, no one, no one like told me that. Oh, my druid build is so good. All right, Penny, listen. I've been playing druid the whole time, and it just feels absolutely amazing. Like no one told me that. They're like, yeah, druid is okay, bro. I mean, you can you can play druid, it's fine. The druids are really silent. Rex been calling pulverized cheating. Rex is playing upheaval barb. Who's cheating? Okay, I need, I need to go. I need to go to that Legion of N. Okay, I'm 73. The goal is still to get 80 in the next two hours, John. What do you think? Six levels in two hours? Reasonable? Unreasonable? What the fuck, pony? I mean, alone opening these, alone opening this deal. Oh no, this is not a flip hell tide though. Oh, I was hoping for this to be a flip hell tide. Unhappiness galore. I need more time. Wait, this thing needs intelligence to to work. That glyph needs intelligence to work. There's no one telling me that. Core skills deal an additional 20% damage for each active companion. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now I now I finally understand what people were trying to tell me that uh like like the companions feel like quite quite decent you know i'm not ready yet dude can you can you work sometimes it's so weird when when it's not working Oh, but instance, I get 5% extra XP. I don't have an instance with me. I'm sorry. I barely have potions with me. I mean, I'm happy I remember that at least. I cannot remember being at this Helltide in quite a while. And in this um, Legion of End in a while. I, I like that Sorg. So much more aesthetically pleasing than uh, the Fireball Sorg. Um, Lightning Ball Sorg. <laughs> I never knew Druid had this much range. John. Where does Druid get this much range from? I run Companion Tornado. That skill basically gives you 180% damage permanently. Yeah, I can see that. So this, that's by the way, the second, um, the second druid I want to make. That would be the, the companion, uh, companion landslide fun, fun druid, hurricane, whatsoever, shenanigan, shabambo bambo. And right now we're looking for a max roll umbral. That's our, that's our next stop. I don't need any help, so whoever comes with me, it's okay. I got this covered. You know? 
I'm I'm the I'm the level the level 70 druid. I got this. They're so slow, a uh, reasonably slow. I like the thing is, since I play Necro, for me there is no speed. Like nothing nothing feels slow. Because I I play Necro. Everything everything is everything is fast compared to Necro. I mean they even had to buff Necro's movement speed. Like let's be fair, in case you didn't know this guys. They they had to literally buff Necro's movement speed because it was too slow. Okay. I'm not ready yet. The base movement speed was not it. Werewolf is crazy. I just don't enjoy playing werewolf. I tried. I truly tried. I fell asleep. my problem with werewolf right now not not that it's bad or anything or, or it just feels terrible it's just like i tried i fell asleep i couldn't i just like the feel of pressing a button and seeing gigantic overpower numbers i'm a very simple man chan Oh, I lost you, Twitch chat. Uh, no, I lost you, YouTube chat. Sorry. What's the build? Uh, the build is Overpowered Druid. Made on crowd control and essence regeneration. Which, even without crazy uniques, is already extremely strong. But then when you get the crazy uniques, it goes like super, super shamambo bambo. That's where you're then, like, sending Jimmy, Timmy, and Dave back to, back to hell. 74, by the way, chat. Come on. The race is on. Hmm. I'm only trying to activate the, the glyph. I need time to do that. The overpower bloodlands build and you can't die. Yes. Yes. You choose you choose correct there. The overpower bloodlands build is unkillable. The same goes for the overpower blood surge build, to be honest. Uh both are some of my proudest creations. And now now I all also have druid builds for you. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add a third class into the repertoire, Chad. It depends on how this week is going. Um like it, it really it really comes down to like I'm gonna make some druid videos and see how people like it if I do other classes. Because right now I'm just I'm just literally known for for necro stuff and I'm not known for other things. I mean my expertise is still my expertise, my presentation style is my presentation style. And I think I have a very good presentation style, if I'm honest, Chan. A humble, humble, humble self pat on the shoulder. I think my videos have a have a good, easy, condensed information way for you. So I, I can't wait to, you know, break everything down to everyone. The character outline makes it look so weird. I find it rather beautiful, sir. Well, this morning we were, we were starting at 44 guys. So we started the stream six hours ago. And the past six hours, we've gone from 44 to this level. But the most progress we have made since we are essentially in World Tier 4. Shouldn't the chest be here somewhere? Am I blind? Shouldn't the chest be here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Raffle copter. Oh god, Nasumi. Hi. <laughs> Name is Pony Hoff. Came here to just smash everything. Everything. I'm almost 100 with my barb and still not sure if I'm going to try another class during XP boost. 
uh like the xp boost is is truly a blessing i mean i will make my second necro so this is like the crazy part right i'm i'm generally considering rather making a second necro to to show you more necro builds over another class and i'm not sure if that is the wise course to take um content creation wise but i truly want to just like i i i, I just want to give you even more necro builds right because i'm not done yet i i still i think i still have two absolute bangers in the pipeline that will that will just be like you you'll just literally lose your face it will fall on the ground and you're going to be like how is this even possible how, how does this man do it he doesn't miss you know that that kind of build we get 18 ranks on pulverize. Can you break it down? I mean, right now we are at aid. Uh, another plus four makes sense to me. That is from uh, the gloves. Then another plus two or three you get from the amulet. So that would be 15 or so. And then I guess you Shaco on top. Humble, humble is my second name and beautiful. Like, like very beautiful and humble. Though so humble even more than beautiful. But, you know, it's, it goes hand in hand kind of. The H in Ponyhof stands for humble. And there is actually an H in Ponyhof. <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. Lucky that that worked out. Honest, it's it's just it's just even better than blood surge i don't want to say it because blood surge is just very efficient i, I think well the, so one thing the blood surge has on top is that if you play the litless wall blood surge build that that it definitely has on top all well, that intelligence is not taken no not ready yet. it's half after the famous uh david hasoff no half means farm so a pony half actually means pony farm. That means either you're all ponies, you know, magnificent stallions and female stallions. I don't know what a female stallion is, to be honest. A horse. <laughs> um, or you're the knights of the round stable because we're we're a farm. So we're round stable, you know. You, you, you can choose what you prefer. And that's why also the subscribers are getting cabbages on, on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, with followers to to feed everyone. A mare is a female stallion. See, there you go. My my equinestrian knowledge. It's not is not very much. If that was even the word. go i mean we're, we're just swimming in those cinders i like it very very efficient build dungeon wise and overworld wise that's rare find and before you ask yes this can also kill uber lilith i wouldn't attempt her right now because i'm missing like a little bit of burst damage but we have actually like like i know like i think on level 80 i can actually kill her I hate to say this, but with the equipment I have and with everything going on, I think on level 80, we should just absolutely obliterate her. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I need time to do that. You know, that's why I want to have level 80. We can do this. I and mean, I got another one hour and 40 minutes. So it's going to be I mean, actually rough. But my progress is slow. Not as fast as I want it to be. Does killing uber bosses give good experience? I don't remember, Sean. How's the experience for killing uber bosses? Is it worth it? Not ready yet. You know? Not really worth it, Ryan. Yeah, I'm right, right now I just really want that level A team. So I'm thinking about how how do I do five levels in the next in the next hour? I guess the only way would be doing high high nightmare dungeons, as you just say there. 
Well, I guess I could do high nightmare dungeon if someone runs in front of me and I just do the damage from the back. I mean, I do millions of damage, so like I got the damage. I just don't have the survival for a high nightmare dungeon. Yeah, we can do that, Nova, if you want to. You can find this build. Oh, uh, there you go. This is currently the existing link, but this is not my version. So the existing link is essentially the outdated version where I took the base idea for this. Uh, shout out to, I think it was from Goblin Inc. But I've already been working on improving the build. Well, I mean, improving is, is a technical technicality because improving is like, you know, improving for me, just smoothening the gameplay, making it more fun to play, you know? So when I say improving, I mean, just changing it so it fits better to what I like to do. Does Polarized Druid feel good in Nightmare 100 dungeon bosses? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. The thing about bosses is, again, you can ch you can charge up three pulverizes with this druid. Okay? Three overpower pulverizes. And with my defensive skills, I can instantly get fortified. So what happens is you start the fight against the enemy and you're instantly able to do three overpowers, maximum damage overpowers. And if one of them crits, uh, then, then it, it anyways goes crazy. Because we're already doing millions of overpower crates, which is which is frankly spoken still crazy. I'm actually surprised at how efficient this is right now. I already posted the build. I mean, in case you missed the link in the chat, but I will make a video already for tomorrow. So the, so the plan is to, to make the video tomorrow. Afura, good to see you there, partner. Come on, lads. You struggling or, or what's happening here? I already have now let me open that chest of protection and if like nova if you got all your chests then for like by all means we can we can start nightmare dungeoneering uh, if you don't have a wall what aspect do you use you can use a shield with disobedience or you can use an aspect of decay on a focus for more damage then you get more damage less survivability uh choose your poison a little bit How do you get an aura around your character? It's just a simple character highlight that I have around my charm. Should pop incense? Should definitely pop incense. If we're already going Nightmare Dungeons now, I should definitely pop incense. Can I put some here? There's some incense I got ready. Okay, let's see. No. No, 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 no. Mm. Would you say Grizzly Rage is better for this build than Petrify? I mean, I use Grizzly Rage because it just boosts my overpower damage in total, and that's the plan. And it allows me to fortify even more, right? So I am constantly fortified. Uh, whereas Petrify... 
Only affects critical strike damage. Yes, yes. yes. And Crazy Rage affects all your damage. So that's kind of like the thought process behind it. You know? Uh, what level would you recommend boss running for uniques? As soon as you're possible. Like, I mean, world tier four and as soon as you're possible to do it. Because you're you're just like, not not everyone is possible to do it, right? Not everyone can, can pull it through. Okay, let's see. I'm going to be staying safe and sound. Why are you so fast? I am so slow. Oh, no, no, no. See, I merely exist and I'm already fortified from killing. He <laughs> Fortify is love. Fortify is life. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't sure if it's gonna kill me, but there we go. It's gonna kill me. So we have 10,000 armor, right? This is a tier 90 dungeon, FY. Uh, but I was like, you know, I'm probably I'm probably gonna survive. This this shouldn't kill me, right? This shouldn't kill me. This shouldn't kill me. Pfft, then Okay, so essentially hold back. Still do damage. Don't get touched by a single thing or you die. Bra, bra, bra. What? Oh, <laughs> that tiny butterfly slipped past, John. A tiny butterfly slipped past. Ate my soul. Okay, we're trying to get the last levels now, Chad, to level 80. Level 80 is so important because from level 80 on, I can essentially wear all my all my uniques from 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 like all my uniques, right? Because a tier 80 would probably be better where I where I just don't one hit die. I'm scared. Leave me alone. No, out of my way. <laughs> Don't touch me. I'm innocent. <laughs> There's a version with Petrify too. Uh, I prefer Grizzly Rage, personally. I, I just like the skill Grizzly Rage, if I'm honest with you. Now, 80 getting closer. I mean, this is going to be 75 for us. Easy life. Oh wow, I just I just killed the I killed a cultist, Chan. He never had a chance. He thought he had a chance, but he never had a chance. I'm just here to pick up loot and pick up more loot. 75, ladies and gentlemen. This is going this is going efficiently as we imagine it to go. I mean, this dungeon is probably just one of the worst dungeons because it has like all of these random spawning enemies who are just like, oh surprise! Like you didn't you didn't count on this, but we were just waiting for you the whole time. Why are you moving so slow? Because I'm going to ruin it. Also, we're not squishy, guys. This is a tier 90 dungeon with level 75. So, so I'm, I'm not moving slow. I'm, I'm just, I'm a druid. Sir. 
How dare you make fun of my movement speed? I am I am just I'm just a druid. Druids move slow. I had this dungeon. I actually like this dungeon for my for my necro build to just zoom through umbral ring. Still hoping for a max roll umbral ring. This one is after killing enemy with shred, your next rebel skill is actually pretty good, isn't it? Still can't find better boots. Boots are set in stone. No better weapons as well. So yeah, I, I do really like this dungeon. So we could take uh, movement speed on the boots to actually make ourselves a bit faster. But I'm not sure if that is necessary. Even though dungeon under 90, keep 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 90, keep going. I can just keep going. Do those 90s. So we already have a Tempest Roar chat. We have uh, Fists of Fate, right? We could, by the way, put on Fists of Fate just for the YOLOs. Uh, we still need to get better gloves in total. We also got Hunter Zenith too. Your Bloodlands build is nice. Thank you, Mar. I really enjoy my Bloodlands build as well. It's doing a very nice job. Destroy the Corrupted Hearts. Wait, isn't this dungeon here absolutely awful? Yeah, it is. I'll be having to just stay as as far away as possible from anything. Ah! I just, I just have to stay as far away as possible from anything. Stupid cool red teleports in front of my face. Lee! Pony! Oh, you died. What? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, you died to corpse explosion. Oh, no. A blood bluster. The worst enemy. Polarize with the build you reach 100 with in season one. Honestly, it's even better now because you you just have like the, the amazing uniques from Duriel. I mean, I can't, I can't wait to put on my Banished Lord's Talisman because my Banished Lord's Talisman is just going to transform this, this from like, from like very, very, very good to very, very, very broken. In like, in like literal no time. Right? And we're going to go like from, from merely just, just being like decent to absolutely incredible madness. Wasn't aware of Ball of Lightning Storks always so close to death. Oh, you are absolutely getting destroyed by these. Oh, green. I was just going into that wall so I would be able to use my fury. But what happened is that I forgot that the wall just does this to me. We're going to find the Druid build. This is the Druid build we've been using right now, but we'll actually be revising that. I, I see already potential to improve the Paragon board and not only the Paragon board. Um, there's also potential to just in general improve the build. So this is like the, the original existing build. But I already have, like, I already made a few alterations to oh, shit, to improve the build for me. And to just make it more fun to play. And if there's if there's one thing I'm looking for, it's more fun to play. Because it's cool if you have a very high damage ceiling, right? Like, I mean, 20, 30, 40 million uh, crits is cool. But but end of the day, what you also want to have, not only 20, 30, 40 million crits, you, you want to be able... Oh, shit, I just took myself here. Uh, you don't want to only have 20, 30, 40 million crits. You want to also be able to survive, right? So I, I prefer like like a bit more sensible approach to just like straight up. Okay, that is 75. Yeah, that poison from the dungeon is definitely hurtful. But poison is like hurtful to everyone. There's like nothing you can do about poison. If I get hit by that fire, I'm in like that fire just has to like go remotely past my body and that's it. Fire doesn't even have to hit me. Just has to literally like touch my booty and I, I just die. 
Poison, poison. Uh, 25%. It's 25%, but it's 35%. So don't worry. Everyone sees 25. Oh, well, I, I didn't expect to die there instantly, but there's no reason. I, actually, that, that was an expectation of mine. I should have I should have expected to die there right away. I'm just I just like to be too greedy, chat. What can I say? Flee, pony. Flee. From the clutches of the goat people. Ah, you thought you had me? You didn't. Technically, I can get like really, really high, high level cool items. Really? Uh, when you said Necro's damage scales with HP, is this cause of Empire things or in general? No, uh, overpower. Overpower damage scales with HP. So I didn't say Necro's damage. But when it comes down to Blood Necro. Scales with HP. Uh, blood, 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 blood blisters stress me out, Chan. I'm, I'm walking back. Don't worry. I get it. <laughs> I'm playing bluster and currently overpower up, is up to around 900. 900 is already good. I mean, around, around level 100, you want to have like a couple thousand overpower. Oh, shit. Oops. So around, around 100, you want to have like around 3,000 overpower. Wow. We got, we got decimated there, sir. Yeah, that, that 90 dungeon is a rough run, I feel like here. Oh no, don't you, don't you kill me. I'm innocent. Oh, what? what? Where, where did we die from? <laughs> where, where you, you're lagging. Yeah, I feel that too. Get distracted with arc, so only up to level 72 now. Come on now. Well, the new arc, is it like the new arc survival thingy that I have like not seen a single thing about because I was not sure if I actually like it? What, what level is recommended to have start doing Varshan? 75. All right, technically level 60 if you have someone to help. Technically level 60 if you have someone to help. But you could also go for um, 75 if you want to do it alone, right? What will it be? Okay, no, no, no. Mm. No, no. No. Mm. Overrise, overpower damage, intelligence. Well, this this is almost good, right? It's almost good. In worst case scenario, I could re-roll the. Yeah. i be putting yours and horror over. I'm making a bone spirit build. Should grass remains on amulet or serration? <sighs> Depends on if you're actually going to be playing it with banished lords, talisman, or without. Primax. Think about it. Uh, yours and horror. My helmet is not upgraded yet. I have a like. I have an absolute shitty helmet, and because I don't care. Literally, like they, they're all. Okay, let's see. We have this one done. 
have that one done. I mean, we could we let me quickly just kill like two vampires here to pick up the thingy. Which character glow purple? Because you haven't prime subbed yet, and he has a terrible illness, and this illness can only be overcome by your prime subscription. It might be a player highlight that you can set under gameplay settings and player highlight, but I think it's it's definitely a terrible illness, and and like yeah, um, he's gonna die unless you save him. I need more time. It's on you. To choose between pain and salvation. Rip the druid. Yes. We're so close, chat. We're so close. Back to the drawing board. You know what? Going going through this is quite nice now. I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's quite quite good. You know? With well, the any en enemy density this area has to offer. Right? I mean one 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 uh <laughs> one overpower is always gonna be hitting everyone. Thank you, Dozen Vodka, for your support, for your subscription. Thanks for pushing us forward. Also, Nuke Alpaca, very appreciated as well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for saving a poor druid in need. Uh, thank you, shit. I hope you're enjoying also that we're not just playing Necro and we finally... Yeah, bitte. Where is that? Where is Aria? Eingeschlafen ganz schnell. Come on, dich runtergeschickt. Come here. Du musst hier auf die zwei. Zwei. Jetzt musst du drauf drücken. Oh. Okay. Alle Platz gemacht. Kannst du noch mal? Jetzt noch mal. Nochmal. Nochmal. Ja. Dann los. So easy a four year old can play, chat. Komm mal, los. Ich noch mal mehr. Ich kann nach oben gehen, dann kann man noch arbeiten. Ich bin noch ein bisschen fertig, machen wir es. Schnell, wir sind im Finger. Mach mal. Oh, guck mal. Du hast gefunden. Baum. The beard has grown a small person, that's true. Ich würde sagen, du bist mir aus dem Bad rausgewachsen. Das? Really playing? Oh, she's pressing the two button. Just come on. Oh, I see me. Come on. Super. Come on. That's come on. Very good. This might be the best way to level up if we're honest.
Du schmeißt doch die ganze Zeit schon Sachen um. Was glaubst du denn, was hier passiert, wenn du die zwei drückst? Macht der Bär einmal Boom. Ja. Müssen wir uns jetzt müssen wir rotieren. Musst du auf die linke, linke Taste drücken. Ja. Da bei der Maus. Ja. Mal. Aufdrücken ohne die Maus zu drücken. Und jetzt nochmal. Ah! Müssen wir nochmal machen. Okay. Just trying to teleport away. Okay, nochmal. Und. Ah. Hm. Nein, das ist der böse Mann. Wollen wir den bösen Mann mal umschubsen? Okay. Aber wir gehen jetzt zu dem Baum. Der Baum gibt uns eine Kiste. Das ist der magische Baum. Kiste. Kommen Sachen raus. Warum? Mhm. Ich in den Baum rein. Das bin ich. Genau, das ist besser. Genau. Bro. Hier, hier ist die Kaka. Das sind noch nicht die bösen. Das sind die, das sind die bösen. Die bösen Banditen. Und jetzt mache ich hier. Oh no, I don't have a malignant heart. No. Gib mir einen Moment. Oh, I can't make a malignant heart. Kann ich nicht. Kann ich nicht. Ich habe einen Fehler gemacht. Du bist so ziemlich schwer. Einer Punkt. Okay, there I am, back again, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the slight interruption. That was my four-year-old. She's amazing. Let me tell you something. She is amazing. She's the bestiest. I love to see this bonding between father and daughter. I mean, she, since she's two, uh, she's been playing New World with me. So like the when when New World came out and we had like the first tests and everything because end of the day New World you're running through lush forests right there's animals everywhere and she just really she just really liked pushing over piggies you know she enjoyed that so it's like you know uh you 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 can you can push over piggies with me so we we bowed him down we got, we speared him down we <laughs> we everything and she's been always with me there And since then, she has a she has a love for computer games. Of, oh, I might die. Oh no. Okay. You know, she's she's a love for computer games. She's she's enjoying when we when we play something in which she can help in any way. You know, in any capacity. Oh, I mean, do I could I could tell my daughter obviously that we're murdering hordes of demons here, but that's not the point, right? You gotta, you gotta tell them like in a, in a children-friendly way that you're, that you're, you know, murdering demons. <laughs> When again, perception, right? 
We've never we have never killed a single thing in a single game. Even though even though my daughters are quite acquainted with death because one of their grannies has died, you know? And since one of their grannies has died, they they have like sometimes they're a bit weird <laughs> in terms of like they're like when we're grown up, you're also going to die and we're like no. Well, you know when when you're grown up, we're just as old as grandma and grandpa. And then, like, you're just like, when you die, I'm going to take care of Arya. And I'm like, yeah, sure. But that is, like, in many, many trillion years down the line, you know, when we'll ever die. It's, it's, it's interesting, you know, when a granny dies, but that has, can, can have for an overall, like, you know, perceptional effect. You're not murdering demons can't die you're sending them home i mean they die and then go home so semantics but i'm with you did i just get shrunken chan <laughs> it just looked like I, I shrunk i shrank a duty my essence already up or does essence not go up that fast i might not get to the level 80 today chat i am so sad i just need level 80 to be able to present you the full power of this build if i don't make level 80 i'm gonna be eternally saddened Okay, whoever is like like throwing this at me, please stop. I must wait a moment. Oh god. I wasn't aware that we're gonna be having like literal hell like rain down on us continuously. that potent blood are you running a potion uh yes i have an xp potion running right now i am forgetty spaghetti but i am not that forgetty spaghetti I'm not ready. Oh. Oh, you all get absolutely demolished. What is it like? One hour. One hour, Chan. One hour and four levels. It seems it sounds doable. It doesn't it doesn't like sound completely undoable. Just just unlikely, you know? Oh no 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 no. Oh You just really wanted me, huh? From the left and from the right. Do not appreciate, boys. Okay. Yeah, Ch Shanling Shrine is insane. This potion essence stack, everything stacks. Potions, essence, uh, like, like everything. the the new mother's blessing xp boost that, that's why that's why it's so good to level right now because everything you do stacks every every possible multiplier multiplies oh shit 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 Ugh. what are you no 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 uh, 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 uh. 
We are not, we are not doing this. No, 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 we were not. Jesus Christ. I was not ready. You can have type one and type two essence active. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Ooh. A Dildoro, thank you very much for your subscription and support. Dildoro, great to have you there. Also, yes, chat, we will have a video up about this druid tomorrow, no matter what, if I reach level 80 or not. I would just rather prefer to reach level 80 to show you, like, what it can actually truly do. Because right now, without level 80, it would be a little, like, you know... Uh, do you already find the butcher? No, I haven't found the butcher. I would assume that I should be doing well against it. I mean, I, un, unless I meet him, obviously, in a way too high nightmare dungeon, as we're doing here right now. I mean, technically, technically, we should be doing the 30s or something, but we're obviously doing 40s because we can, you know? The main reason why we're doing 40 is because we can not because we should, not because that's the smartest thing to do. It's just. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Please stop bothering me. And stop slowing me down. You just got the ring of sacrilegious souls from a nightmare dungeon. Well, take it. Happy little accidents. You love to see it, right? And you're all dead. Wow, that was a 700k. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Fuck. I was like, I could I could potentially survive this, you know? Oh, come on. Really? You spawned me back here? Why? Back here, chat. Why back? This dungeon with its respawns can be such a drag. Use blood mist to become immune. I mean, that's the that's the problem with the druid, right? I mean, oh, hello, hello, sir, ma'am. Is my helmet just sinking in my body, Chan? <laughs> um, asking for a friend, but is my head inside my body? Um, we'll either survive this now or not. I guess that was even more XP. I'll take it. I'm a turtle bear. I'm a turtle bear. Turtle, turtle bear. So does Druid not have any good way to make things vulnerable? And that's why you're playing the metamorpho- Oh, that's great. Here, Chan. Okay, watch this, ladies and gentlemen. The freest XP farm you will ever seen. God, I love these. Also, this is definitely cheating, Chan. With this build right now here, it's just not cool. Because I just kill everything and I can't run out of essence. <laughs> I know it's not okay, Chan. When that happens, you should back out and, and not not abuse it because that's it's just, you know, not nice. 
to abuse the easy experience. Pick up gloves currently because gloves is the only thing I kind of need. Gloves and rings. Yeah. Get like a whole level from that chest. Yep, it's insane. Like how, how much you, you can garner from, from one single chest. I won't complain though. I'll just take it. If I'm honest with you, I won't complain. I'll just take it. Scourge of the land. One overpower, two overpower, three overpower. Four or five overpower. Oh, that was a good old 900k overpower. <laughs> We'd love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. We'd love to see it. Could dominate leveled up. So level 76 in six hours? Yes. It's quite quite something. But no, it's not today, actually. Like, so we had yesterday already some levels, but we made some very good levels today. So not not all levels were made today. But like Druid is generally slow, you know? In the in the in the way to get here, Druid was slow. And then we picked up like in speed quite crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh, attack speed. Free ranks and pulverize. Hmm. Don't you worry. Thank you, Nova, for your help. It's really appreciated. Uh, landslide, overpower damage, critical spike damage with earth skill. Oh! 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 Oh, if I could re-roll that landslide into... Huh. It could actually work. If I couldn't re-roll that landslide into pulverize plus three... That could actually work. Hmm. Inferno. Let's see how Inferno is. Thirty-five percent active. Yes, doing very well. Also, greetings to everyone, by the way. Thank you for these amazing viewer numbers today. For all the subs, for the lurks, for the chats, for everything. I did actually not plan to play eight hours of Diablo today. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, sure, we're going to play some Diablo today. We're going to have some fun with Diablo today. But by no means did I plan to play this much Diablo. But turns out that when you're actually having fun, you just keep going. Huh? I'm not sure if I would get more XP if someone would pull me through higher Nightmare Dungeons. I'm, I'm like generally not sure if we did actually get more XP from that. I feel like I'm I'm just I'm just like for for my level when I do a, a level appropriate dungeon I'm also going through relatively fast. I'm not actually sure if it's faster. You know what I mean? If we're getting good XP, you know? Oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, now it's, I'll just have to wake up tomorrow, even earlier, to do some leveling in the morning to get the last levels done. Because the wife will definitely need me today. This is this is big. nah shit too much fire damage. I was hoping to get like one more dash and then we could do this. There's so many powerful builds due to them buffing overpower damage. I think like them they didn't buff overpower damage. They just made overpower work properly the way it's supposed to work. You know that's how we have to look at it. 
No, no, no. Uh, legendary. You should still keep using, uh, um, like, um, Iron Maiden. Yes. Still not sure why you did spawn me so far away. Hello. <laughs> it's just fun when you don't have to like worry about any opponent. Because you know you'll just eventually overwhelm them. I don't think this dude is gonna like go with me, so I'll actually have to fight him. You know, once once in a while I cannot make use of my mother's embrace. Right? Once once in a while mother's embrace is not doing what it's supposed to do. Like on these on these one opponents, that's where you need the umbral max roll. Thank you very much. Where you would need the umbral max roll. Oh, we almost forget that one. I mean, imagine how annoying that would have been. What is back here? Do we have some more enemies to kill? Oh, no, no, no. The double fire enchantment comes here again. Oh, fucking hell. It's like when he's fire enchantment, that's fire enchantment. They come together. I just, I just have like, I don't, I don't have it. You know, I don't have a chat. I'm not that fire resistance. I, I need a fire resistant potion, but I don't have a fire resistant potion. I don't have fire resistance going on. Okay. What I'm hoping for is just to like triple stack my overpower. And then we're just going to triple stack overpower. Kill that. So we'll activate this, and then I'll do one overpower, two overpowers, three overpowers. You know, that that's what you're just going to do then, in this case. Just stack your overpowers and make sure to use them. Oh god, he's lightning enchanted and fire. That's, that's why he's so annoying. Now I finally understand. Oh wait, what? What? Why did we take so much damage there? Weird. Okay, we're waiting for this to stack. This is stacked for pulverize. This is 16 stacks for overpower. Right? And we're going to do this and that. And then boom. Boom. And boom. Down. Yeah. Worst case scenario, just wait a second. Human form dead. Yeah, but why did I go into human form? That's the thing. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm per permanently not human form. What happened that I went to? Oh, that's happened. Did I press earthen bulwark and then forget to go into non-human form? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes so much sense. Now, now I see where my... Oh, I never thought about the implications. Interesting, because it's also less armor then straight away. Yeah, that makes... It makes so sense. I need to wait right now. Oh. Poor guy. Shouldn't you have four stacks for OP and the banish would make a fifth? Yes, it's going to be absolutely crazy. 
You're gonna have like so much overpower. What? What kill me? I wasn't even looking at my HP because I was like, there's nothing that can kill me there. This is a trade-off you'll fight till the end game. No, nah, it's okay. I mean, like once you once you understand the earthen bulwark and the way how how that does, and that you're going to the human form, you just gotta you just gotta position yourself accordingly. That's the whole thing, you know. Repair your items. My items are not broken. Please understand that this is the orange broken. The red broken is the broken. The orange broken is merely scratched. Oh, not good. Not good. I mean, it's also not a problem, but what I want to do is I want to get him in. I wanted to get him in multiple people so we can we can just zoom through. No, that would have been so nice. I wanted to get all the, the thing to be a long fight. No, I think we had this because we do millions and millions of damage, you know, so so it would make sense to actually go for it. And uh, I can't do Leviathan small, I remember. So it will make, we'll make total total sense to go for it because we, we could just like, you know, zoom in through and then go shoot through the four people and then get our essence back and then shoot through the four people and get our essence, you know? And you've never seen my... You, you, uh, what's wrong with Leviathan's Maw? Uh, I don't have the Stronghold done yet. It's the only thing that's wrong with this. I just, just haven't done the Stronghold uh, of it yet. Oh, no. I can't do it. And you essentially gotta like use the bulwark and then instantly swap over to you know until i until i did the dungeons like i i never thought about that yeah the human form could be a problem in any capacity but now now that you know now now that i now that i experience this it actually makes perfect sense it's an interesting interesting hold up uh, we are we are damaged incarnate mm-hmm 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 Done, done, and done. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Da -da -da -dun, dun, dun. Oh, this is gonna be very bad. Um, for them, call an ambulance. Not for me. Right, Chan? Favorite meme of all time still. Yeah, we're 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 going places. Very fresh meat when you're in Nightmare Dungeon. I mean, honestly, with my with my Giga Dot Necro, I don't fear it anymore. Because I just figured out that the Giga Dot Necro it can't just die to the butcher. Which is which is a really nice thingy. So Giga Dog can't die to him. Butcher can't kill me, essentially. Right? Wait, did I have a, like, do I have two dungeons in a row now? That dude and the... Wait, I have two of them? You're giving me two? Usually you get one of them, but not both. Holy. You're making it complicated for me, that's...
I'm just pulling them through multiple units. Oh shit! I was I was just so good. I was so good. I was on vibe. We had this covered chat. No, that's so annoying. We're just we're just having like them very nice. What's your thoughts as the strongest build overall for a noob? I mean, Pulverized Druid is pretty simple to play. I'm not sure how difficult Blow of Lightning Sork is actually, like, from a difficulty standpoint, is to play. Does anyone know? Huda Barb? Yeah, Huda Barb could be. Honestly. We're talking about, like, like strong and simple to play. Like, you know, not, not complicated. I mean, Necro is really strong, but honestly, Necro needs Necro needs you to to too many rotations. Like you know, there's like you gotta you gotta understand how to how to like you know corpse explosions, shadow shadow damage, all that kind of stuff. I mean, bo bone okay, bone spear is pretty simple. Let's be fair, bone spear bo bone spear is can, can be played with one button essentially. I guess Bone Spear Necro. My savior. I mean, people think Necro is squishy, but I think anyone that thinks Necro is squishy is just literally playing it wrong. Necro is actually the furthest from squishy. Actually, one of the most tanky characters in the game. <gasps> what? No! Very unlucky. There, there was like too much other damage going on. Yeah, Necro has never been squishy if you build it right. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, people think Necro is squishy, but they literally played wrong. But again, barbs are simple, but on the other hand, barbs have to always be in the face of the enemy. And a lot of people struggle with that playstyle, right? I've been Necro since D2. Yeah, I'm, I'll also only play Necro. Unless I play my Druid here right now. To just give chat a little bit more than just one class experience. Okay, this one is horrible right now. Because he's just going to get beefed up by everyone the whole time. You know, he's going he's gonna to essentially summon things around him. And they're going to buff him up. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. This is this is a very unfortunate Avenger dungeon right now, if you think about it. Okay, so he's just continuously getting buffed by the lads around him while we're trying to kill him. This could be a problem. Uh, since, so since I use Metamorphosis in combination with T-Bolt's Will, what skill should I use to replace Earthen Bullrock? Uh, why would you replace Earthen Bullrock? I, th I think you can still use Bullwark. I mean, Bulwark is still, like, helpful to have. Okay, dude, you're just doing way too much damage. This is not okay. Stop summoning lads. We need, we need him staggered. No, we were about to get him staggered. God, the lat summoning is such a problem. I think I would probably need the metamorphosis power for these fights to just get a bit more extra damage right now. 
You know? You could switch your skill to the bear one to not go into, uh, never. Can you upgrade your potions? I don't think that upgrading potions would change much in this fight here right now. Because it has more to do with, like, the, the unlucky attribution of uh, how things are just running currently. Oh, wow. I did not expect you to noob me. Uh, doesn't the XP bonus for punching buff your weight class cap before 26 levels? That's not true. So, like, how do I put this now? Uh, every minion has a base XP. It drops. Mm, you get a base multiplier. The, the multiplier is capped that you can get, but the base XP is not capped. So you can get infinitely higher base XP, essentially, but you can, like, it only gets multiplied until point X. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Oh, and obviously Glyph XP just goes up. So so you just go for, for even more Glyph XP because why, why would you not, you know? Go for more glyph XP. That's kind of how you have to look it in. Okay, we almost made it, Chan. We have another 30 minutes left. And there is... Two and a half levels missing. Oh. This, this explains so much. Never thought about it, but this explains so much. That, that you know, going into your human form would be... Would be a downside to a degree. Adventure! Oh, this is, this is a shitty event. Because the opponents are shitty. Like, if this was, if this was, like, other opponents, like, not Thorn Beasts... One could think about doing this. Honestly, with Thorn Beast. Mm. Probably the worst event in existence. Thorn Beast and these uh, bears and stupid, like, mosquitoes. Useful, useful, useful. Those greedy adventurers had it coming exactly. What were they doing there anyways? Ah. I didn't want to leave him alive, John. He, I know he was innocent, but there's no innocent. Interesting part about Druid is, like, I've been playing Necro now for such a long time, right? And everything in my Necro build is, or most of my Necro builds have something with lucky hit, lucky hit, lucky hit, right? And now, now I'm playing Druid and it's like, does lucky hit even exist? Is there anything Druid needs lucky hit for? At least in the Pulverize build. I'm pretty sure there are other builds that can actually work with lucky hit, but the pulver Pulverize build just needs nothing lucky hit related, you know? Nothing. It's 
very unusual for me. I'm not sure how to deal with that. Okay, we get the next board. I'm not sure what it's actually called at this point. Open these gates, Mr. Gorbachev. What's up, nerds? Do you recommend using Petrify and Light Game with Druid? Mm, no, right now not. Uh, yeah, Stormcloud Druid uses a, a lot of lucky hits. See, that's that's the interesting thing. And right now, I haven't seen much use for Petrify yet. But again, there is two versions of this build. One that can run the crap of Petrify, the other one that doesn't. Make your educated, uh, you know, decision. If you want that or not. I'm, I'm just... I'm just destruction chat. I am death. I am death. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops. 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 Maybe. I should have not done the Estela Biblioteca there. Oh no, come on now. I was just about to turn this around. This time, this greedy adventurer had it coming, Chad. Okay, we are almost 78. Ooh, 30 minutes for two levels, Chad. I mean, not if I keep dying to poison. Like, that, that's literally like, I walked into a shadow pool in that poison pool. Come on, what did I do there, chat? What did I... Wake up, pony. Wake up. Yeah, that's... That's that's what I had to do. You know? I had to get in the vibe. Get the mood in. Just they, they they just literally get it like smashed against the wall, poor guys. So I think Petrify would bring you back to human form, correct? Wouldn't it? I mean again, like I'm I'm not the the ultra druid expert. I'm trying to develop into an ultra druid expert, guys. Right now I am the the necro expert that knows everything about necro related right but we are growing our druid knowledge rapidly to understand everything what we're doing and then to deliver you the best builds possible because i do really like doing this and deep diving into everything chrono druid uses uh, chrono druid uses lucky okay to know. Uh, Lucky it is good for reset companion skill boon. Hmm. I remember that one. I finished uh, my first tier 70,000 nightmare on pure summoner. Bacon. I I command your tenacity. Uh, we need the earth skills deal. Yep. I command your tenacity. We're keeping keeping on. To keep on keeping on. Eat it mausoleum. Feed it super easy. Almost super easy, wasn't it? We can do it, chat. We can do it. Also, this this whole leveling run is also going to be on YouTube to rewatch if you're interested in that. Uh, and I'll be making sure to create a mobilitics guide as soon as possible for you guys. So you have this going on. And if everything works the way I want it to be, chat, then tomorrow we're going to have also the whole comprehensive guide for this druid, kind of like in a in a video form. So you you also have this like, like you know, video up. Because a written guide is interesting, but a video guide kind of goes down on all the intricacies usually. Because often often in the written guide, like you miss you miss some some important details, right? And you're just like, 
But sir, what about what about FYZ? I'm gonna keep quick guns for later. I mean Sandrakin tomorrow. Probably. Not today anymore. Oh, let's go. No. <laughs> I'm an XP is XP, right? You give it all to me. Isn't that her? I know. If you follow a build guide, I did have a build guide that I checked out to get the inspirations for this. And then I already altered the build guide as I was leveling up this. So the base idea is from my friends over at Goblin Inc. I mean, again, it's just pulverized druid, right? So it's, it's not like the, the hardest thing to come up with, but the, the base idea is from them. And I already started altering the whole concept a little bit because I didn't, I didn't like the way they were producing, um, essence so uh, or fury or yeah fury uh, not fury a uh, spirit so i wanted to produce spirit a little bit different or a little bit more reliable especially for the leveling aspect um so i changed things up a little bit This one was a good one. This one was a good one. How do you like Druid? I'm enjoying it tremendously because it reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of Necro, to be honest. Like, the way how... The way how... Shit. The way how Overpower works reminds me of, of Necro. And that, that makes me happy because we all know how much Pony loves Necro. And now I have something that plays similar to Necro. You just yeah yeah sure 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 this is what you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna have me like like locked in and then you're gonna oh this is gonna take ages oh god really 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 again Thank you very much. Holy God. He just, he just like soaks me dry while, while, uh, all that thing just hurts me. Yeah, I still have the fury stuck in hat when I tried barb and I didn't like barb. Again, sorry, chat. I'm a barb denier. So I can highly recommend Druid all in all. I think it's fun, but it's slow leveling. Like even with the 35% level bonus is slow leveling. That being said, there is a bunch of um there's a bunch of aspects in the codex of powers that you can actually get very early on that makes druid feel extremely smooth and that's what i want to also mention down in the video how to how to make the leveling smoother because i like yeah the the, the leveling is like you being essentially out of spirit the whole time it's that's like that's like how it feels to level this like oh you're out of spirit you're out of spirit again oh yeah you know what you're out of spirit have you been out of spirit before no now you're out of spirit again that's that's how that's how it feels and right now right now as you notice i'm, I'm like never to the point where i'm like out of spirit i mean that has a lot to do with aspects and also with with uniques but still uh you can you can replicate that to a degree while you're leveling rather easy to be honest good once you get luck with a shockwave it's completely changes honestly it was already different before the shockwave but shockwave is obviously what you need uh, vampire powers are pretty big for leveling druid yes you essentially just have to get hemomancy that's like the thing so when i when i do the guide right now i'm probably gonna be like talking about like how how to make the druid leveling smoother because it's like really painful and then and then like go down on the end game aspects of this build because right now from like again that's that's what i would like to show you today guys 
Because from, from the way how I judge the power level of the build right now, I should be able to kill Uber Lilith on level 80. Now I might be I might be expecting too much, but reasonable it should be possible. So yeah. We'll see. And you're all dead, you little shit. Godness, why is Shockwave just so cool? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I start to believe, John. Are you anti-barb? I try to like barb, but I, I just can't. I, I tried. I literally tried to like barb, but I can't. I, I cannot like barb. I, I tried everything. I, I don't want to be anti-barb. I, I just can't. How fast is leveling right now? So for, for this point here, I have taken now in total 10 hours, roughly. An hour to get to this point. Uh, I could have been here faster. So, so the reason it's it's so slow, quotation mark, is mainly that um, I'm not ready yet. is mainly that I didn't use the aspects the way I should have done that during leveling. So I could have definitely leveled smarter, and I made my own leveling just slower, essentially. But that that's like I needed to I needed to essentially understand the synergies of the class first before I could level faster if that makes sense, right? Because now 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 I fully understand how the druid works. Now I fully understand the synergies. And I can finally just just level faster. Because and you know I I could also make a recommendation for you to level faster because I understand. One thing I haven't checked though is, is the race of powers, resource, offensive, defensive, vigorous, um, barrier, shape-shifting, basic, cyclonic, mending, disobedience. Sadly, it's not in here. That would have been really useful because well, what I'm missing is the damage from earth skilled slows, but is that utility? No, wait, is that utility? Yeah, so that's crazy because you have the you have the aspect of the quicksand and you have the umbral aspect here and you can just enchant that on a ring and you would essentially be leveling 40 times faster. Yeah, that's crazy. Because right now, like damage from Earth skill slows enemies, okay? Then when you slow an enemy, one essence. Then your pulverize is an earth skill. These three are all in the Codex of Powers. You can enchant them on an amulet and on two rings from the very beginning on to just completely scale like crazy. At any time. Sounds good, right? And then you continuously just go crazy. And as soon as you get the, the shockwave one, you, you're even better, you know? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we just made half a level in that. We have at 40, we have 20 minutes left. Starting to believe. The problem with this dungeon here right now is it doesn't have the biggest enemy density. It's kind of like stretched out so that my abilities, which are liking it when people are stacking up like little, little shitters, I don't work as efficient as they could because the people are not stacking up, you know?
Hihi. Hihi. Perfection. Do you have Whispers to hand in, maybe? No, I don't have Whispers for now. I mean, I could get the Whispers really fast. To use Umbral, Ramaging, Warbeast, and Rings, and Rehabilitation, the amount of bonus Lord Talisman is acquired. I mean, right now, I just use nothing on my amulet. <laughs> Rasta. I mean, we're, we're, we're so what do you have to understand this, guys? We're doing this with no, no pants aspect. The helmet aspect is non-existent. Um, my, my amulet is, is like, has nothing on it because I don't, I don't care what my amulet has on it. So, yeah, uh, we're, we're not, we're not min-maxed in that regard. Why? Because it simply doesn't matter. It still works. So, yes, we, we could just, on our amulet, put a bonus damage one and do even more damage right now. I Sorry, I had to close my eyes. What happened? Mistakes were made. Am I still alive? <laughs> I'm actually not sure if it's faster if I kill everything in the dungeon or if I should just um just rush to the end and take the end of dungeon XP, to be honest. You know? Oh shit. That was just a little bit too much damage straight away. So I'm I'm not sure if I should just, you know, rush through over What? Why are you spawning me here? That's bullshit. I literally killed everything on the way. What, what is that? Because that single guy survived? Sirs or ma'ams? We're, we're on a tight schedule. Tight schedule. We're going to get another 17 minutes left. Do I, do I look like I'm joking? I'm just, I'm just sniffing incense and I'm drinking potions like there's no tomorrow. Just funny when every single goddamn attack is overpowered, Chan. I mean, we don't have to kill him. But there's there's something really relaxing about killing that poor guy who's just sitting in this corner. Okay, we cleared everything. This 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 heathen's key, we cleared everything, Chan. Is there more? I mean, come on, if, if I'm already here, might as well. Action. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's quite nice if you can do one level in 10 minutes or 15 minutes, right? Blood Bishop. We gotta be careful because we all know that the Blood Bishop can actually kill us. If we don't look out for his, like, uh... Yeah, we need to look out for that. Because that one can kill us. I love these I love these overpowers when they're hitting. Yes. Oh no 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 bad 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 Damn. It's like so funny because he just suddenly loses all his HP, right? You just you just go from like from like defensive to offensive and he just vanishes. I have no time to sell my equipment. No! I just need to throw everything away. Here, let me just put that amulet on so I just have something. Here, no, when you have fortify, your earth skills are plus three. 
Done. I, can break that down. I probably just disenchanted good gauntlets. I'm pretty sure I did. Had no time, chat. So 70 minutes till what? Till till I need to, you know, like pay attention to my family. <laughs> The T minus pony needs to pay attention to his family. Like the problem is I need to get 80 right now so I can put on all my gears so I can show you what the build can do. Like this is the conclusion I need to find for us as, as everything together, right? This dungeon is usually like insane enemy density, right? Yeah, this this dungeon is actually really good. Like for for experience, this one is insane because it just goes like down in in like like you 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 can essentially not not fight here. Like you you're you're always forced to engage everyone because everyone is just everywhere. This just wasn't lightning storm. Things would be a bit better for me. Yeah, nice. 79, chat. 79. Okay. Come on. Pray pray for me, chat. We got we got 12 minutes. T minus 12 minutes. And the problem is then we also need to beat the seasonal campaign. But I need to get level 80 so I can give you the guide tomorrow, chat. No level 80, no guide. Out of my way. I'm busy. I must wait. It's going to be my first Druid guide ever. Wow. I'm so excited. People are probably not going to believe me. But that means, you know what I'm going to do tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to be busy trying to kill Uber Lilith. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be waking up. And I'm going to be starting to kill Uber Lilith at 3 a.m. in the morning. With level 80. Because that's what you do. To prove that. Like, I, I need a... I need a standout argument for my... For, for the guide, you know? Like, like a banger to... to a banger to start the video with. Like, level 70 Uber Lilith now. You're insane. Get ready for the abattoir of Zier. You know what I mean? Can't just be a simple like this is this is a good druid build. We need we need to, we need to do something stupid, something crazy. I mean, tier one hundred dungeon wouldn't be possible, but that's simply down to um, the survival in tier one hundred dungeons. That's why that's why realistically Uber Lilith would be possible because you don't actually need to survive versus her much. So much. <laughs> oh God. Poor lads. You have a minion build to link. A minion druid build or or what we're talking about right now. Min minion build for Necro is is on, on the YouTube. It's called it's it's a minion slash infinimus build. It is extremely efficient. It can it, it kills Uber Lilith surprisingly fast, and it does also clear tier one hundred dungeons. You notice why I like this dungeon now, Chan? Because the enemy density is just something, right? And if you're just looking to get XP, Renegade's Retreat is truly... Not something to love about. Ow! 
Wait, I, I, I didn't slay a keeper? Oh, God, I forgot to slay a keeper, Chad. Uh... So generally, all my builds can be found on the YouTube, right? Uh, Meme, good to see you there. Fi happy you finally caught the life. Well, great to see you there, brother. I'm happy you managed to catch the life. Don't worry, there will be many more lives. When I'm trying to go YouTube also live every day, but on YouTube, it really depends on if I'm able to make a thumbnail. <sighs> because yes, I, like you could just go live with some generic ass, ass thumbnail, but I, I just, you know, like I'm, I'm a professional where I like to pretend I'm a professional. And I just, I just would hate going live on, on, uh, on YouTube with some just like super shitty looking thumbnail. So yeah, I, I just, it just needs to fit, you know? Epic fun drip build. I mean, what, what do you think? How does it look for you? <laughs> How does it look for you, Chan? I mean, right now, this is just a pure brilliance and overwhelm content and everything. I appreciate uh, all the content you've been pumping out. I'm trying my best to keep it consistent. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get a video out per day, at least every second day, because I think that's a that's a good frequency. I don't want to do multiple videos per day. I mean, my respect to Rob for doing that. My respect for Voody for doing that. I, I guess it helps if you don't have children, you know, <laughs> to 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 do this kind of stuff, to to really pump out multiple videos per day. But it's really something I, I don't want to do because I know I could never keep this up, you know? Just the reality that that pumping pumping out multiple multiple videos per day is it get, gets unhealthy at some point. But I guess as long as, as Diablo is popping, you got to make the bank, right? Whenever if your videos is getting at least 20k views, you you want to you want to pump out as many as possible. And especially if you're young, right? You got to do it get the bag oh ladies and gentlemen i just got unique boots penitent griefs <laughs> cool already have them hey lsr how are you doing i'm 75 with pulver at it. i have chest and helm just wait till 80 for lords yep that's that's what i'm doing right now my, my friend that's why i'm that's why i'm pushing so hard that's why i'm like you know i need to get there oh i got a whisper done Fire. Uh oh. Chad, six more minutes. Come on. Do we have it? <laughs> Do we have it? Not well in town. That should give me a significant boost. Shall we quickly run then to Lilith just to see how much damage we're dealing, Chad? Just out of just out of interest. soon as we get there why is blood boil so good so blood boil has multiple levels of good first every 20 seconds is a free overpower and it's just stupid to not take blood boil but it's actually not that every 20 seconds is a free overpower you have to think about blood boil differing blood boil can be saved up so right now i can run around in the dungeon and blood boil can already be saved up as i'm approaching an elite i can already have blood boil saved up so I can be ready right now that when I approach a certain pack of mobs that I am already going to be overpowering. And that is that is where where it just comes in so handy uh, because you, you just know, okay, I got triple overpower saved up or for example, for Lilith phase two. So if Lilith goes into phase two and it takes a couple of seconds, then your blood boiler will also charge up and will be ready to, to straight up overwhelm her. And don't underestimate that. Of having that essentially straight up ready. And Blood Boil also makes these tiny explodey bombs. And these tiny explodey bombs can crit when they explode. And I think they can also overpower when they explode, but they can definitely crit. There's no question about that. I'm really surprised that we also at 8,000 HP already. Like, not, not having, like, min-maxed HP at all, right? But we're all already at 8,000 HP. Just crazy to me. You're playing right now in leveling and you're having a lot of fun. I think leveling is right now rather brilliant, so... It goes super fast. I mean, I can't wait to level my second Necro to 100. 
because like at, at this pace we're gonna be level 100 with a druid tomorrow and then we're gonna make another necro 100 maybe, maybe even a rogue but i don't think i want to do a rogue this season because like re realistically for the abattoir of zero i'm gonna have then two necros with two different builds because that, that's my plan, right? The Abattoir of Zir is coming, so I can give you blood and shadow builds for the Abattoir of Zir. Maybe even a bone build. Chat, maybe finally a bone build. If I if I have... Oh, I forget to hand that in. Man, Mag, thank you for the... Tw what? $20? I was, I was like, thank you for the $2. <laughs> okay, sir. No. Can't be, can't be hurting out $20 there. It's a lot of money, sir. Thank you very much. That's really kind of you. Having watched and learned from all the Necro experience, I have to say, watching the Druid run feels so slow, but I tried four times with Druids and just can't. See, this is Pokesmod. This is like, wait, please for tomorrow, uh, because I will give you, I will give you the competitive rundown on how you will enjoy your level experience, hopefully. Because I can tell you that even for me, who knew what I was signing up for, who knew where I was going for, that there was a world where, where I, I struggled a bit. But realistically, now uh, we're at a good good pace, and we could have made the leveling smoother. Was the game a D four? Name the game D four D four do 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 D four. By the way, I shouldn't look at my chats. Chats, you are legion, guys. What's up? Boom, 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 boom. It's funny because you jump into these guys, right? Then you then you have them deal 70%. Was it 70% less damage, right? Yeah. So you, you essentially jump into them. You're like 70% less damage, you little shit. And then you start just nuking them. Right? Brute is main here, 70% less damage. And you're dead. So, uh, yeah, I hope this looks fun for you, chat. We get resistance to all elements. I think my resistance to all elements is finally shaping up to be quite nice. Look at this, Chan. Wow. Damn. Damn. Without having a special element thingy actually going on. That's nice. I started so shitty, but now with the Paragon board, like, slowly getting, getting uh, into place... Oh, 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 he ate that 700k. He ate that 700k, Chan. It absolutely pooped on. Not even the slightest sorry. Oh, hello there, everyone. Name's Ponyhoff. Came here to. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good. Good that we talked about that. Oh, yeah, again. One more time. Oh, cool. No, you too. Maybe you. 70% less damage. Boop. 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 Go in bear form. 20% more damage. Right? 700k. You're good. Druid level is still the worst in D4. Druid level is still the... Oh, wow. That was that was a long... Druid level is still the worst in D4, but due to um, the aspects you can actually get from the Codex of Powers, it's a little bit more streamlined. Not much, but but a wee bit more streamlined uh, possible to to make the Druid not that much of a drag. Especially then with the, with the aspects from the um, Codex of Powers together with the blood harvest and being able to essentially get items that you can aspect so much and being able to get the pulverized thingy faster uh it's it's kind of like shapes up to be yes still slow but not as atrocious as it could potentially be ladies and gentlemen we made it Okay, let me let me just run away from this because we want to just end, end, end the dungeon really quick. Look, 
the whole two minutes to spare, dude. I didn't believe into it, but we actually made it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Honestly, I love it as pulverized the whole time. I love it as pulverized from level one to here. And it wasn't like every capstone dungeon done with pulverized everything. And it just felt good. It was fun. we do right now is we get this one leveled now we're gonna teleport back to give it shot <laughs> pulverized for leveling that it works so good i mean again if you if you have enough patience uh you're you're getting a guide in i mean like in not not in 24 hours but like in 16 hours you're getting a guide for me so now we can finally put on the banished lord's talisman uh, we can put on the Bot Slayer's Crown, the low roll. And didn't we have another T-Bold's Will? Did I not pick up, like, another T-Bold's Will yesterday? Wait, lock out. I need to, I need to give myself T-Bold's Will for a second. <laughs> Let's hope that the login is not scuffed right now. I was I was sure I had another yeah I had another T-Balls will here. Just just for the just for my dread so I don't have to, you know. So this character didn't exist yesterday at at uh, at 7 p.m. It didn't exist. Uh is Doombringer viable in Infinimus plus Litless? Yes. But it's it's still hard to fit in. Okay, let me let me just quickly up, update my items here receive socket receive socket receive socket uh rubies royal rubies one two three Okay, now suddenly my my uh, life is 8,000, which is still low. You know, 8,000 life is still low. <gasps> one thing I didn't think about, Chan. <gasps> no. Well, there's one thing I never thought about. But how do you how do you survive as a druid Lilith um Lilith one shot waves? Not while I'm in town. But I'm so used to blood mist. But how do you survive it as a druid? When she when she does her waves, I guess I can use my dash to to dash out of one. Yeah, I have to dodge. Wow. Well, oh, that's a luxury. Like Necker definitely has. Well, that's gonna be a whole new thing because I finally have to learn how to actually dodge them. You know, because usually I I like I know when they come and I know how to avoid them. But now I have to actually dodge them. But, so let's just see how much damage we deal in phase one. And now, now again, let me let me point out what's gonna happen. I'm gonna walk up to Lilith, okay? And I'm gonna have full three overpowers. Right? John? Full three overpowers. So we get the one saved up, second saved up, and the blood boil saved up. So what we would have to do right now, that, that would make the most sense, okay? They'd be using our skills here to already push our fortify a bit higher. You know? We're, we're, we're using Grizzly Rage to push fortify to the max. 
so that when I face against Lilith right now, I'm fully fortifying. So I do already significant damages, right? The only thing we're missing is crit right now. Literally, literally missing crit. Oh, look at me, Chan. Oh, what, what killed me? Oh, did I forget to heal? Oops. So that, that, that was, that was good. I mean, just, just from like, I just wanted to understand like how, how well would we be? Our biggest problem right now is if you look at our skills, we have 18% critical strike chance. We need more from the gloves. Our gloves need to give us critical strike chance because realistically we want to go for critical strike overpower super slammers, right? And that's what we're missing. So we have good overpower damage. We're doing decent overpower damage. But we don't only need overpower. Right? Oh, also against Lilith, Mother's Embrace is useless. So that's also something to to uh, to to keep in mind. That that literally Mother's Embrace is completely useless against her. Uh, so that one also needs to be swapped out. Interesting. So see. Two, two alterations to make because this one is uh, this one is completely useless. Also, Umbral is actually completely useless against Lilith as well. So slight changes, but we could we could already hurt her. And I think if I move some things around, it might even be possible. So we'll see about that. That being said, I'm done for today. Yes, I need to run. My family is waiting for me. But we get to level 80. I can finally show you the potential of the build tomorrow. How we're zooming through Nightmare Dungeon. How everything is working. So thank you for coming, watching, lurking, chatting, hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow, same place, same time, same place. And until then, I will just wish you a fantastic time.